<gasps> oh, one more minute and it'll be three days without a single catastrophe. Three days without a single seismic explosion, chemical reaction, or glass of spilt milk. I can't stand spilt milk. <laughs> Did you know you haven't crashed or smashed anything in three days? What can I say? I'm off my game. Oh, how I've dreamed of this day! Mom! Dad! No, 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 no! Watch this! We were so close! What the...? That's it? A bird collar? <laughs> it's not a bird collar. It's a vocal intonator replicator. By modulating audio frequencies of the various species, it alters your voice so that it speaks their language. Or in this case, chirps. Hmm. Bird, squirrel, emu, dog! <laughs> woof, woof. Hey! Dookie understood what I said! Yeah, he's good like that. We made it! Three days! A new test family record! <laughs> and to show how much we appreciate you girls working on quiet, constructive inventions... And Johnny for, uh, not being so Johnny lately. We're gonna take you out tonight any place you want. <laughs> so, figure out where you want to go. It's your boat. Yay! Let's go get ready! Boat! Sir Lancelox, the largest selection of pizza and lasers in the Tri-State area. Here we come. We dream on. We're doomed to a dinner of boredom with a side of bleh. Ooh, but they said you can go anywhere you want. No, 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 no. They said we get to vote. And whenever we vote, Susan and Mary win. One vote to see Roboticeratops versus Octopillar. Awesome! And two votes for Girly Kissy Kiss the Musical. <laughs> That's one boat to vacation aboard Scurvy's sunken submarine, and two boats for the real quiet reading ranch. Yeah! No! One to ride the Uber Ultra Space Coaster, two for the Tunnel of Math. No! What are you complaining about? I don't even get a vote. Look, why don't you just tell Susan and Mary they owe you one? They'll never listen to me. But maybe they'll listen to each other. I don't think I like where this is going. This is going to Sir Lancelux. Listen and learn, dog. Wow, Mary, the vocal intonator replicator is one of the best inventions you and Susan ever made. Thanks, Johnny. That's really kind of you to give poor little Susan some of the credit. She tries so hard. Why, oh, that two-faced... You mean it wasn't a team effort? Susan did about as much work on it as she does on everything else, which is nothing. Oh, and remember our secret. Tonight, I'll vote to go any place you want, as long as it isn't Sir Lancelot's Pizza Arcade. Ugh, more like Lancelot Yuck. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm smarter than Mary, but I think you know. Hmm. And don't forget, whatever you do, don't vote to go to Sir Lancelot's Pizza Arcade. You know, I can't stand that place. So. Hmm. I'm really surprised the girls insisted on coming here. <laughs> I am loving Sir Lance a lot. But Johnny, you shouldn't have lied. Why? No, lying is bad. I'm manipulated. Not as bad. Besides, they shouldn't invent something they don't want me to use. Nothing good ever comes out of lying or manipulating or anything that's not completely truthful. Right. Oh, my! Doesn't get better than this, dog. <laughs> You hear that? The sweet sound of nothing exploding? Yep. <laughs> kind of quiet in there. Too quiet. Maybe they need the master manipulator to liven things up. Hi, Hi Johnny. Johnny. Keep it to your side of the force field. You couldn't drag me to your side with a fission-powered pork claw. Like you could tell your fission from your muon-catalyzed fusion. Oh, it is on now. It is so on now. Okay, that's not good. Time to come clean, Master Manipulator. No way! Now there's two labs. Two labs means twice the amount of cool science -y stuff. It's a self-contained 3D gaming chair with a motion simulator and hydro-cooling drink dispenser. You made this in less than a day? Less than five minutes. I wasn't being held back by what's your name? What'll it be? Space battle? Aerial dogfight? Mutant melee? Surprise me. Oops, 
Whoopsie, forgot to carry the six. Well, that's a surprise. Oh. 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 Just in time to test my new hover shoes. Whoa, you made those quickly. She who shall not be named wasn't here to slow me down. We'll start by gently hovering 3.2 meters off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, forgot to carry the seven. Oh, without each other, Susan and Mary's inventions hurt. Still think manipulating isn't as bad as lying. Hey, Johnny, I just built an underground drill that can withstand molten lava. Let's get out of here. Uh, why should I run? If she can't test that lava death drill on me, she's gonna test it on you. <laughs> minute to test a piranha-proof diving suit. I've got to get them back together. Hey, you know who's really good at figuring things out? Mary. Sorry, don't know anyone by that name. <laughs> you know who would love to help you with this? Susan. Why would I need her? Just a suggestion. You know, I think Mary would like... I'll bet Susan could... I can't get them together. Only one thing to do. Uh, do the easy thing? Stop and say you're sorry? No, nah, I'm gonna hide. And that was my second guess. Well, this is a pain in the butt. What? That we're hiding in my cramped, dirty, underwear-infested closet for the next 20 years? Well, there's that. And there's something causing an actual pain in my butt. <sighs> and this is a pain in both our butts. But what giveth pain can also taketh pain away. Right, because telling the truth if is so time-consuming. It's showtime. need each other. You need to say you're sorry. If only... <sighs> if only I could! But I'm not brave like you, Johnny! Oh, brother. Well, like Dad says, it's always the right time to say you're sorry. Oh, this is sorry. Mary, what's wrong? It's just not the same without Susan. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, Johnny. You're the best brother a girl could ever dream of. And the worst actor ever. Huh. If you could, give her a message for me. Tell her. Man, you stink at this. Hey, you stink! Oops. <gasps> I'll show you who stinks! Take that, you scientific star! <laughs> what? Why, I should have finished this long ago. Put him up! That's okay, Johnny. You don't have to defend her. Johnny wants nothing to do with you. Let go of Johnny. You let go, intellectual imposter. My IQ is higher than you can even count. You wouldn't know string theory from string teeth. Susan, Mary, stop fighting and let Johnny down this instant. I think he just said meatloaf's ready. Let's go to dinner, dog. What are you hiding? Your vocal intonator replicator? Johnny! <gasps> it's been him the whole time. So, we're not mad at each other. We're mad at him. <laughs> we could just forget all this. No! Let him have it! Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah sure. I kind of sort of maybe lied to rig the boat, but you're as much to blame as me. What? Uh, the vote? It's never fair. Every time we vote, it's always two against one and I lose. Huh, he's right. 1,246 votes and Johnny's never won. But I only count 982 votes. <laughs> Forgot to carry the two. Thanks. Sorry, Johnny. We didn't realize. Why didn't you just say something? No one told me that was an option. <sighs> From now on, we promise to make family votes fairer. So you're not mad at me? <laughs> 
One more minute. Oh, so close. Johnny, we're expecting an important delivery. We ordered some special scientific material for an experiment. So if the doorbell rings, answer it! Yeah, yeah, no problemo. Did you hear a word they said? Uh, something about things and stuff. <laughs> Just go get the broom. Oh, okay. okay, Hugh, stay calm. It's probably just a dream. Take a deep breath. <laughs> huh? It's not a dream! It's a nightmare! <laughs> there. Huh? That's really all we need. I think we might have overordered. What are you going to do with the rest of it? Huh? It's all yours. We have a Johnny. A talking dog and ten tons of sand. What do we do? I love Front Yard Beach. There! Castle Dookie is finished. You know, we have a lot of sand here. I think we can go bigger. <laughs> now we're talking. That's bigger. Race you to the sand throne. Ah, we're going to be king of sand. All hail Johnny the Sand King. And for my first kingly act, I hereby knight you, Sir Doket of Beach. You are as kind as you are sandy, my lord. <laughs> okay, I'm curious. Angar, touche, other sword fight words. <laughs> As my farm. Very nighty. Nice sandcastle test. You mean, your highness, king of the ultimate sandcastleness? Whatever. Can I play? My trusted knight, Sir Duketh, has advised me that yes, you can play. Cool. I'll be a knight too. Yeah, no such thing as girl knights. What? That's dumb. Of course there are. Girls make awesome knights. Right. Listen, sissy, there's lots of things girls can do. It's just being a knight isn't one of them. How about being the royal cook? Uh, what? <laughs> How's the sand taste, your highness? Hey, give me back my castle. Not until you admit the girls are better knights than boys. Even if there were girl knights, there's no way they'd be better than me and let me in! Uh, no. So, we have two choices. You could just admit that you're wrong, the easy way, or we can spend the rest of the day trying to get back in, the harder, make Dookie tired way. Hmm, the second one. We're doing the second one! Huh, <sighs> there. The living room is officially sand-free. Hi, Dad! <laughs> What was that? Extreme heat turned sand into glass. And we just did it with lasers. Ooh, lasers. We can use those. I'll take ten to go. Hold on. We don't just hand out lasers without a good reason. Okay, Sissy took control of our castle, and now Johnny needs your sciencey brain's help to get it back. Hmm, maybe we should help Johnny. Castle stealing isn't very nice. I know, right? All I said was girls can't be knights. Say what? <laughs> Will you stop saying things? We don't need science to get the castle back. We can do this the old-fashioned way. Climb, dog! <gasps> nice try, Ted! One, two, three! Sandcastle charge! Ah! Technically, we were inside the castle. Can we be done now? Is that a yes grunt or a no grunt? Okay, it was a no grunt. And wouldn't it be easier to sit down and discuss this whole thing over a coffee rather than catapult? Ready, set, catapult! <laughs> Hi, sissy. Nice catapult! Are you ready to say I'm a better knight than you? No. I'm a better knight than you. Who's the better knight contest? Winner gets the castle. Hmm. 
Okay. And when I beat you, you have to tell everyone that you were dot beat by a girl. Yeah, blah 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 this. You're on. So what's the contest? Oh, you're going down. Okay, you win this round, Test. Bullseye! <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> what? Sissy wins this round. <laughs> On your mark, get set, joust! <laughs> oh, no. Charge! Proclaimeth a tie. <laughs> okay, we tied. Now what do we do? We have an idea. A dragon? Where'd you get that? Made it. What? How? A little dino DNA, a few bird chromosomes, a dash of angry badger for attitude, and bam! Dragon. Whoever can tame the dragon first wins the castle and the title of greatest knight. Uh, can we have swords in our wood? No, you might hurt yourself. Besides, our dragon isn't that dangerous. He doesn't breathe fire or anything. <laughs> okay, maybe not our best plan. You think? Yeah, but we're stuck in here now. I got this. Training a dragon is no different than training a dog. I trained Dookie and he turned out great. Watch and learn, my sandy subjects. <laughs> That's the last of it. If I see one more grain of sand, I'm gonna... Hi, Dad! Uh, Hey, dragon! You hungry? Nice, dragon. Good. Help Johnny win contest. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, he's not hungry right now. Let a real knight show you how it's done, Test. It's all about commanding authority, leadership, showing them who's boss. All right, dragon, listen up! <laughs> Special delivery for Mr. Dragon! Sissy, run! <laughs> wow, its fire breath is so hot, it turned the sand into glass. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Test. Yeah, well, I figured I can't win the contest if you get all roasted. Huh. So now what? We're stuck. Hmm. I've got an idea, but we're gonna have to work together. Okay, you go to the far side of the yard. We'll take turns drawing its fire. Hey! Fire breath! Woohoo! Over here! Hey, Ugly! Over here! <laughs> can't hit me! Okay, let's see how well dragons can run on glass. Hey, come and get me, dragon! I'm delicious! <laughs> Quick, use a rope and tie him up! I've got a better idea! Whoa! Awesome! Whoa, whoa. Come on now! Whoa. Are they gonna come back? could forget about the whole girls can't be knights thing because they can totally be knights. Sissy wins! The castle is all yours. If uh, Johnny can keep it, he's a pretty okay knight too. Besides, who needs a castle when you've got your own flying dragon? <laughs> oh, and here. See ya! Yeah! Hey, look! A glass castle!
castle! Awesome! You know, I have always wanted a castle made of glass. There, I'm finally finished. Won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> Castles, they're not all they're cracked up to be. I've lost my sheep. Where are you, sheep? There you are. You are not Bo Peep, and those are cars, not sheep. La, 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 la. I'm off to see Grandma. You are not Red Riding Hood, you are Johnny Test. Wait, what happens at Red Riding Hood? A wolf! I am not saving you anymore! Ow! Time for school. Okay, I'll save you one more time. Go and put your normal clothes on. Johnny? Well, this is his 100th episode since you sprayed him with your fairy tale spray. Mm -hmm. Johnny has not had 100 episodes. Really? Here's episode 98, Johnny Bo Peep. Episode 99, Little Red Riding Johnny. And now, this. Yep, that makes 100 episodes. The fairy tale spray was meant to be used on Kill. So he would think he's in a fairy tale and fall in love with Princess Us. Ah, but you didn't use it on Gil. You tested it on Johnny. And what fairy tale is Frozen Boy? No idea. Even though he's in a fantasy state, his vital signs are normal. However, none of the antidotes we developed so far work. <laughs> well, we better cure him back. Dad's not gonna like a catatonic son sitting at the dinner table. And dinner's in one hour. Come back to us, Johnny. We love you, and we can't figure out how to stop this stupid spray! What was that? What beat? Johnny's emotion meter. It rose when Susan pleaded with him. That's it! If we can create a more powerful connection to his physical world, that might overpower Johnny's fairy tale induced mental world. Aha, great! What does that mean? If Johnny hears real stories by the real people he's closest to, his emotions will snap him out of his fairy tale world. A stories from who? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he was so young and such nice skin and so full of life. <laughs> you know he's not dead, right? <laughs> Then, why are we here? To tell your favorite Johnny story and snap him back to reality. Well, it was when we first met, which many people think it was when you invaded Area 51.1 as Johnny X. But it was really six months earlier at the Pork Belly Supermarket. Olive oil. Olive oil. <laughs> Where's the... <laughs> yeah, faster, faster! Right, you can't blast him. He's a kid. Now, we just need some oil for the potluck dinner and... Bingo! That's corn oil. We need olive oil. Well, maybe the olive oil is behind it. <laughs> Forget the oil, just get that kid! You guys looking for uh, this stuff? Oh. It was with the salad dressings. Oh. An extra virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Even though everyone thinks he's crazy and has bad hair, <laughs> Jenny always thinks about others and has a great heart. <laughs> Anything? He needs more real stories. <laughs> Susan Test! I have! <gasps> oh no! He was so young! So full of life! He's not dead! Well, what's the problem? His brain is stuck in a fantasy state, and we're trying to get him out with personal Johnny stories. Kill the emotional music! It was the first day we met. I had fallen in love with a girl in my class named Susan, and I told her, I shall make you mine. As soon as I took over the world, 
T minus one minute to lift off. <laughs> you Jane! You better not be trying to take over the world again! <sighs> no, Mom! Sorry, Bling Bling Boy, but you will not be taking over the world today. Who are you? And what's with the tights? I am Johnny X, and my sister said you freak her out and send me here to stop you. Oh, that's nice. And chew on this! <laughs> Okay, the kid's a freak. Time to dismantle his missiles before they take off. Oh, darn it! Cover me. Hey! What's all that racket? Just me stopping your evil son. But you're too late, Johnny X. <laughs> no! You, Jane! What did I tell you about trying to take over the world? Eugene? His name is Eugene? Now you lose your volcano lab, your inheritance, and you are grounded! Now go to your room forever! Oh, yes, Mother. <sighs> Wait! Mrs. Bling! I was trying to take over the world, not Eugene. I... What? What? I am a madman and tried to use your son's lab for my evil plan. He was trying to stop me. Right, Eugene? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Taking over the world plan aborted. Oh, well, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now get off my island, strange type wearing boy. Easy on the ear. <laughs> I will never forget his sacrifice. But it didn't wake him up. Well, it was an amazing story! But we need more! Johnny Test, Test, I am here, here to, to destroy, destroy you. you! Wait, he's already dead? What a rip! He's stuck in a fantasy state, and we need to tell Johnny stories to shake him out of it! Will is always the first to visit Master Mittens in the hospital after his attempts to destroy Jonathan fail. No, same here. Uh, and he introduced me to Toes. Yeah, great stories, but they're not working! Come on, buddy, come out of there! It's your best buddy, and we're trying to save you! Like you saved me that day at the pound. Can you make this quick? It's almost dinner time. Don't rush me! The dog pound was a cold place. And even colder when you're an old mutt and not a puppy. <laughs> I had been there one year when he walked in. We want a puppy we can train properly. Purebred and non-shedding, of course. We got all kinds of great dogs here. Too growly. Too poofy. Too stuck up. <laughs> oh, look at this one, Johnny. He's cute. What else you got? Yeah, that's it. No, unless you count Duke. But uh, you don't want him. I can't look! He's hideous! He's been here a year, but he's not gonna be here much longer. Oh, somebody adopted him, huh? No, because nobody is adopting him, if you get my drift. Oh. Tell us more about the puppy. He's a purebred doodle. Easy to train and doesn't shed. What uh, kind of dog is he? That is the Western farting mutt, whose last day is probably today. Is he friendly? I bet this puppy is friendly. I don't know. No one's ever asked. We'll take the Western <laughs> farting mutt. <laughs> <laughs> then you took me home, and your sisters realized I was a pooping delinquent, and then they turned me into this, and then they made a fairy tale spray, and wake up, buddy, wake up! Wait, we sprayed it with the fairy spray and we have to end the fairy tale to wake him. Dookie, what color was the dress Johnny wanted to wear to school? Uh, pink. Uh -huh. Johnny's stuck in the Sleeping Beauty fairy tale. Quick, somebody's gotta kiss him to wake him up. Oh, no. There are a lot of things I'll do for Jonathan, but that is not one of them. Well, there's gotta be somebody who will do it. Why are you all staring at me? Sissy, Johnny's under a spell and only your kiss can wake him. I am not kissing Johnny. And there's nothing you can do 
to make me and get out of this journey! I always did think he was kind of cute. Don't tell him I said that! Girl germs! Infected face! I need some disinfectant! And wait! What are you all doing here? Jerry's back! <laughs> Your dad must not be very good at hiding your video games. It's not about my ability to find things. It's about my awesome super senses, which are on fire today because Renegade Pilot 6 comes out. Don't you have Renegade Pilot 5? Yeah, and 6 is better than 5. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's 20 for 1 trade-in day at Game Guide. So I need all the old games I can find. Yeah. Ooh, a surprise leftover taco. Mmm, taco chime. You can still smell the delicious. Mm, all I smell is grease, questionable meat, and dirty socks. Yep, everything that makes taco chime D to delicious. Hey, look! Okay, there's one last place to look. One. Why would there be any video games in here? We wouldn't waste our time with games when we can invent Giga Goggles! Giga Waddles? Giga Goggles. We've combined advanced optics with precision laser correction to give the wearer hyper-enhanced vision. Right. But what do they do? They turn everything into HHHD TV quality. Oh! 19, 20, 21. You've got 21 games, Johnny. Let's get to the store before they close. Yeah, we have till 7. Plus, those giggly goggles will make Renegade Pilot 6 even more awesome. I don't know, Johnny. I... Whoa! Everything is so clear. I am gonna fool you. No, Johnny! Hey, what happened? Shut them off. I can't see anything. Johnny, we weren't finished with them. The goggles have side effects that include temporary loss of vision. What? But I need my eyes to go by Renegade Pilot 6. And also to see stuff. Relax. It'll wear off in an hour. But, but Game Guy closes in an hour. Now we'll never make it in time. It's okay, Dookie. I may not have eyes, but I have legs, ears, hair, a nose, and a mission. Just like that guy in that movie, Man on a Mission. Great movie. Way better than the sequel, Man Stays Home. Well, consider this the threequel. Man uses other senses to reach Game Guy by 7 p.m. Now that's an awkward title, but I'm in! Plus, you know this town like the back of your paw. Let's roll! <laughs> Look, Johnny left one of his silly games. Huh, let's look at it, so we can mock it more specifically in the future. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lead the way, Dookie. You know this town like the back of your paw. You said that. I have no idea where we are. Then it's time for my super senses to kick in. I can smell taco chime. That's just a few doors down from Game Guy. I'll just follow the taco scent, and Renegade Pilot 6 is mine. But, Johnny, I... No, Dookie. No talking. I must focus. Like a ninja following the smell of tacos. <laughs> hmm. I don't smell tacos. All I'm getting is sewer. Ah! Sewer! No! Ah. Hmm. Now I smell a runaway rickshaw. Run away, rickshaw!
<laughs> nice gorilla. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah, Johnny, help! A love struck gorilla's got me! It's climbing up a super scary skyscraper! Ah, oh, man. Why does the coolest stuff always happen when I can't see it? Ah, it is not cool! It's crushing my fragile bones! Shout out directions! I'll find you! Up here, Johnny! Go up! All right! Forward! Up that ladder! Kick that barrel! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Up that other ladder! Okay, now go... <laughs> Dookie! Dookie, where are you? Okay, I need backup. Susan! Mary! I need help! No! We need help! Our plane crashed and we're trapped on a mountain! There's a ton of lava flowing towards us and we've only got one magic parachute left! No sweat. Just run from the lava and click A and B like your lives depend on it, then parachute away! Thanks, Johnny! Bye! What? No, hey, wait! I need help, too! What a great brother we have! Johnny, look out! <laughs> My super sense is tingling. Which means Dookie is in trouble! Uh, <laughs> look, you're awesome, but this is moving kind of fast for me. <laughs> Gosh, you know, powder blue is so not my color. <laughs> On second thought, I could pull off blue. <laughs> I can still smell taco chine. Ah! Help me, Johnny! She's pressing me to settle down! God, she's pressing my bladder, too! Don't worry, Dookie! I'll save you! <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's kind of awesome! At last! We've painstakingly replicated the awesome fighter jet from Renegade Pilot 5. Yeah, but Renegade Pilot 6 is out today, and I hear it's even more awesome. Can't we just enjoy the moment? Where am I? Oh, wait a second. I know these controls. It's Renegade Pilot 5! And now, the ribbon cutting! I told you not to make the jet launch when you cut the ribbon! I didn't do that! Well, one of us is Debbie. And last, I can use my strongest sense of all. My flying the jet from my favorite video game sense. Warning, warning, collision ahead. Activate autopilot. Autopilot engaged. Voice control activated. Autopilot, rescue dog from gorilla on top of skyscraper. Affirmative. Locating dog, gorilla, and unfinished structure. I'm coming for you, Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Catch, Johnny, but who's flying the plane? Autopilot turned on. <gasps> and I thought what we had was real. Taco time! I smell it! There it is! And it's almost seven o'clock! Which one's the let us down safely button? Uh oh. <laughs> Sweet. Autopilot engaged. <laughs> Johnny's here, just in time. Hey, I can see. One copy of Renegade Pilot 6, my good man. Sorry, you're too late. I just sold the last copy. No! To those two girls. 
We got so into the game, we just had to have the new one. Well, I'm glad I can have an influence on you for a change, but this won't stop you from inventing awesome stuff, will it? Of course not. In fact, we fixed those Giga Goggles. No more loss of vision. Sweet! Hearing seems to be the problem now. What? Johnny and Dookie will need perfect concentration to win gold for the Mixed Species Street Luge World Championship. Susan and Mary's hands. What? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> Hello, sisters. Hey, Gil. If that's who you really are. Oh, hey, Johnny. Didn't see ya. Only a vice for Susan and Mary. Ah, Gil. Huh? Go away, Johnny. Not till Dookie and I get some answers. It's hologram Gil. Robot Gil. Evil Twin Gil from an Evil Twin Universe? Would you bodacious babes want to see me apply bodacious body lotion? Seriously, what did you do to him? Will you go away if we tell you? Throw in a week of math homework and you've got a deal. We made an attitude alternator. It reverses the neurological synapses on the cognitive side of the brain, altering the subject's decision-making process. Can I get an English to Johnny translation? It makes people do the opposite of what they'd normally do. Just a hard neurological adjustment to make Gil go from ignoring us to adoring us. And now that you know, get lost! Too bad the girls wouldn't let us borrow that thing. Why? So Gil would rub lotion for you too? No, because I had to borrow it on my own. <laughs> Whoa, teenage girls doing remote control brain surgery is one thing, but you having it just scares me. Hey, get that mud away from my store. I hate dogs. Hey, ya fella. How about a nice, juicy steak? On the house. I love dogs. <laughs> Sorry, Dookie. What were you just saying? Doggy eating now. <laughs> Doggy loves steak. <laughs> steak! Butterfly! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy those free video games, boys. Better free! Best invention ever! Johnny! I've got to create an important presentation for work, so I would appreciate some quiet. Johnny! I found your dirty clothes in the hallway. Hey, you told me not to leave my clothes on the floor in my room. Johnny! I cannot work with all this noise! <laughs> Johnny! I'd yell at you more, but whispering makes it sound ridiculous. Man, are they on edge. I bet they'd feel better after a little adjusting. I'd feel better if you didn't mess with your parents. Come on, look how unhappy they are. I just cleaned this floor! What does it take to get some quiet so I can work? Is that Slimebot Slugfest 4? Awesome! Dad, Mom just made a mess on the floor. Messes? I love messes! Dad, Mom, I gotta say, I like your new attitudes. Best invention ever! <laughs> Come on, you crashed us again, Mom. We can't level up if we're dead. You're so serious. Relax! Video games should be fun. <laughs> again. Blech. The stink factor's getting a little high in here. Hey, Dad, the trash in the... Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, you and the Dukester are just in time for my meatloaf parfaits. Yeah. So good, you can't keep the flies away. I think that's a sign to clean up. Clean? <laughs> Why clean? Just gonna get dirty again. Hello? It's your mom's boss. Uh. <clears throat> yes, this is Mr. Test. Mrs. Tess can't come to the phone right now. Then where's her presentation? Well, it's uh, almost done. Almost? You tell her I'm coming over right now. And the presentation better be finished, or else she's fired! Well, that sounded bad. Hmm. 
That's also not a great sound. I'm just thinking. Still waiting for something that sounds good. So this makes people do the opposite. If we zap them again, they'll go opposite again, making them go from crazy to normal. Huh. There's a strange logic to that, but your logic has a less than stellar track record. So, I'm giving this back to your sisters. Or not. And two. Gimme. Let go. Come on. And you let go. No, you let go. Hey. I love the way you girls talk science. It makes me want to embrace thou so. Hold me so close that I may enjoy thou so much our eyeballs pop out. Too much kill. You forgot your parfait. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Feeling okay? How do you think I feel? I leave you alone for two minutes and look at this place! <sighs> Garbage on only one side of the room? No dirty socks anywhere! Johnny, do you think I don't have anything better to do than filth up after you? It's gonna take me all day to trash this place! Didn't see that coming. Where's Mom? Do you want a photo, dude? gonna do any more thinking. This isn't so bad, and it'll probably wear off soon. Any minute now. Health inspector, those your pigs? What pigs? Oh, those pigs. I'm gonna have to cite you for unlicensed farming, violating the maximum height for a pile of garbage, that rare hair disorder, and I'm condemning the house. Have a nice day. Not dirty enough. Just not dirty enough. Geronimonga, again! <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Maybe we'll get evicted before your mom's boss gets here. Hide us! Come back, fair dudettes. Let me hold thee for all of eternity and have our three hearts burst. Huh? Tis destiny. No! No! Wherever thy brains and beauty go, they cannot escape mine hugs nor mine heaviest breath. <sighs> Johnny, what did you do? I may have borrowed your attitude, Alternator. Johnny! Look, there's plenty of blame we can all lay on Johnny, but now would be a good time for you girls to show us the reverse of this thing! Uh, I... There's no reverse. <laughs> We'd ever want to change Phil back to not noticing us. Hey. All we have to do is figure a way to return the brain synapses to their normal state. Can you do it fast? We're at a bit of a time crunch. Hey, your mom's boss is on his way over here. He wants to see her presentation or she's fired, and if she's fired, we'll be thrown on the street. If we're thrown out on the street, we'll be forced to live in Dad's garbage igloo. What igloo? Hi, kids. What presentation? <laughs> create an entirely new image for her company? Okay, here's the plan. Mary, you work on reversing brain synapses. I'll finish Mom's multi-million dollar presentation. You and Dookie clean the house. Oh, why do we always get the hard job? Hmm, let me think. Maybe because you caused this mess? Right. Okay, the house is clean inside. Now to start cleaning up the mess out here. Ah, we can't compete with heavy machinery! So we get it to work for us. Great job, Dad. The yard is disgusting. Thanks, son. It's good to know my hard work is appreciated. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking about the rats. The rats? Poor little guys. Had to leave their home at the city dump because we took their garbage. I, I never thought of it like that. Dad, let's give till it hurts and donate our yard full of trash to our animal friends at the dump. <laughs> You're a good boy, Johnny. We'll do it! Well, the yard is looking pretty good. Yo, your mom's boss is here. On it. Here it is, Mr. Mogul. Mom's new image for Incorporcorp. That's it? The logo? I had to come all the way out here to see that? Boring snoring! Where's the fun? Lila? Explain yourself. Mogul, you need to stop all this work, 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 and just play! Play? You mean the customer should think of us as the company that plays? Yeah, that's totally what Mom means. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotcha! Oh, awesome! I'm looking! 
Kit, Ms. Stuffiness, notify the board that from now on, Incorporcorp is the company that plays! Oh, and put Lila down for a raise! Yeah. Stop! I've been waiting all my life for you! I reversed the alternator! Come back! Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, girls I've never seen before. Guess I'm going to a toga party. Letters! Uh, you. What happened? Don't you know? Your boss was here, and he loved your presentation. He did? I don't even remember finishing it. Johnny, how many times do I have to tell you not to leave the peanut butter on the counter? <laughs> we can explain. Johnny! Dookie, my good man, what business must we attend to this fine day? Ahem. Let's see. We have video games at 11, reservations at the kitchen for grilled cheese at 12.30, and... Oh, we've managed to squeeze in some bike riding this afternoon. Mm, we have a very full schedule. Well, let's get to it. Are you going to answer the door? These aliens are going to disintegrate themselves. We have a very full schedule. Spray. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. Hello, Jonathan. Hey, bling bling. You look weird. You lose your bling bling bling? I'm. I'm broken! What'd you do? I don't know. There was a giant robot, a disgruntled badger. Anyway, a lot of mother's expensive things got badgerized. Now she's trying to teach me about something called the value of a dollar by taking away all my money for an entire week. So Bling Bling is broke broke? She's making me live the next week as, as a regular kid. <laughs> now that I'm regular, I can't pay people to think and do everything for me. And I'm going out of my mind. You're the only regular kid I know, Tess. Show me how to survive. I don't know. Maybe if you bribe me, but you don't have any money. I'm desperate. Okay, how about you let me stay and, uh... Oh, I'll promise not to bother Susan for one month. Why would I care? <laughs> you have to help him. Eugene leaving Susan alone would be a dream come true. All right. Invisible sisters. Yeah, last week he sent me chocolates, but Eugene was the filling. Yeah. And if you do it, we'll give you 20 Susan and Mary bucks. You can spend them on access to the lab, experimental equipment, or general sisterly favors. Hmm, how about I pay you 20 Susan and Mary bucks for me to not spend the day with Bling Bling? <laughs> I'm taking that as a no. <sighs> okay, let's do regular kid stuff. Ooh, goody, 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 goody! Why is your regular TV so small? It's tininess hurts my eyes. Oh, pushing buttons is hard. This regular controller cramps my hands. Where's your cranial input controllers with head tracking and scalp massage? Ugh. What kind of cheese is this? Uh, the grilled kind? I need artisan tilaggio and gruyere. <laughs> These bubbles are so coarse. I only drink Red Gush Platinum. It's super refined, super expensive, like moi. Mm. Oh, I have to pedal myself? Don't you have some kind of robot or butler or robot butler to pedal for you? Ugh, I knew being a regular kid would be bad, but it's much worse than I imagined. Goodbye, Jonathan, and good luck with all this. Breathe, breathe. It's okay. The day is over. Bling Bling is gone, and we never have to see him again. You're back. Why are you back? Hello, Jonathan. I'm bored again, and I demand that you play with me. What? You hated everything we did yesterday. Yeah, well, it turns out I hate being bored more. Now, are you going to play with me? Or perhaps your sister Susan is around. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! 
Ow! I uh, haven't seen her. <laughs> this controller's broken. <laughs> this sandwich is broken. <laughs> Not to my liking. Good day. <sighs> you should tell him normal kids don't have phasers. Yeah, do you want to tell him that? Me again. Still bored. I know you're in there. Can't take it. Johnny, freaking out. This is not funny. No, it's funny. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> I gotta say, it's pretty great watching you, Dean, bother somebody else for a change. Need I remind you, Invisible Sister, I am doing this for you? Hey! We gave you Susan and Mary bucks, and those don't grow on trees. Yeah, we print them off the computer. It's very boring out here! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! You think you can take over for a while? Nope, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Oh. Look on the bright side. It has been exactly one week, which means Bling Bling won't be grounded tomorrow and he'll quit coming over. You did it! You're right! I did it! I did it! I can't believe it! Why are you here? Late. But you're rich again. Oh, Jonathan, don't you know that life isn't all about money? It's about good times with good friends. Now, carry me to the kitchen and make me lunch. I don't think he's gonna leave you alone, ever. Hmm, he's gonna have to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Mastering the art of clog dancing. On me. You are present! And you are the best! Thank you! Come on, huh? No, oh, I can't play because I'm grounded. Man. <gasps> My condolences. For I too know the bitter punishment that is grounding. Stay strong, Jonathan. I'll see you on the other side. And that is how it's done. You are playing with fire, my friend. I'm not playing with anything, because I'm grounded. <sighs> Everything's back to normal. Who knew being grounded could be so relaxed? <laughs> Don't worry, Jonathan. I'm saving you from your grounding. Um, thanks? I'm taking you back to my island, where we'll be free to have play dates forever. My turn. My ride. This is nice. You, me, bling bling, a terrifying robot monster. Why don't we do this more often? <sighs> Riding bikes is so much easier when you have an expensive robot to pedal for you. Isn't this fun? Fun! Are you starting to understand what Eugene puts me through all the time? Susan, where are you? We're on bling bling Buck's shoulder. Get us out of here! Do we have to do everything for you two? That would be great, actually. <laughs> Enough playing for today. Hey. 
Eugene, look, it's cool you want to come over and do regular kid stuff, but all day, every day is just too much. Also, you're kind of not very nice. Yeah, I suppose chasing out a giant mechanical likeness of myself would qualify as not very nice. Say, where'd you come from? Never mind. Well, no matter. Riding around in that expensive robot reminded me how much fun it is to be rich. So I'm going back to doing what I love most. Sweeping my sweet Susan Keg off her feet with my jetpack. Say what? Wait, you said you'd leave her alone. Oh, yeah. See, I kind of lie sometimes. See ya! Oh, Susan Keg! Oh, I love thee! Okay, now things are back to normal. <laughs> mm. What's up, genius sisters? What awesome experiments are you backfiring today? Eating cereal again, Johnny? Not just cereal, giant oats. It gets your day off to a big start. You need to eat a more balanced breakfast. Hey, this is balanced. It has cereal and marshmallows. We mean a real breakfast, balanced with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, vegetables are overrated. We have just the thing. Our new lab garden, complete with super soil. This garden enhances anything that's planted and makes it grow giant-sized. Observe. Try some fresh albino asparagus. It's good for you. Yum! Or I can eat the fruits and veggies in giant O's, which are in marshmallow form. He's right. These marshmallow berries are amazing. They almost taste like they're real. Wait a sec. That look means either you've got something incredibly awesome or incredibly painful planned. Yuki, if that garden can make super gross veggie seeds grow, what can it do with giant O's marshmallow berry cookies my cereal? Stop! Johnny, don't you dare put that cereal in our super soil. There's no way to know what will happen. Sure there is. This way. <gasps> the soil must have reacted to the cereal's fortified whole grains, and the cereal also contains fortified beans. That accounts for the accelerated growth. Blah, 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 blah. Science talk for awesome cereal stock. We should climb it and see what sort of cereal adventures await. Dookie. Way ahead of you. Wait for me and my delicious cereal. Fine, go climb up. Yeah, we don't care. Can't hear you. Recklessly climbing a giant cereal stalk. <sighs> Feels like we've been climbing for like a hundred hours. I can't feel my paws. <sighs> hey, I thought you didn't care about exploring my cereal stalk. We don't. We're doing this for science. Can science spare a couple of seats? <laughs> You to the top! You're on! It's just like the back of the box, where you have to follow the trail through the giant's cloud kingdom. And find one of the giant secret treasures inside. There's some marshmallow maze. The berry fields. I want to go to the cookie caves! Hmm. The super soil seems to have accurately recreated every aspect of the cereal. Since the cereal came to gigantic life, this box has got to lead us to a gigantic prize, too. Technically, this is all scientifically impossible. Come on, it's a cartoon. Roll with it. Nice giant. giants are good. Oh, he's not a grumpy giant. <laughs> Feast thy taste buds on my marshmallowy cookie berry delights. <laughs> Say, Big G, mind if I get your autograph for my box? My pleasure, tiny flaming headed lad. Thanks. So listen, I'd hate to dine and dash, but we're on a treasure hunt after all. <laughs> Last here hunting for my treasure. Yeah, we are. Have any tips? I hear the riddles are. No, 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 Mr. Giant, sir. Johnny didn't mean that. Hey, be my foe, not fun. You're after my treasure, so you better run. Wait, seriously? You're so nice.
place one second ago. That was before you plotted to steal it, my treasure. Prepare to be squished and made into a part of my new treasure's breakfast. So you are a grumpy giant, you think? Run! <laughs> find their way out of my marshmallow maze. <laughs> now what? I always knew it would end against a marshmallow wall. Wait, this is the marshmallow maze. We just have to make it through here so we can get to the next clue to the giant's treasure. Uh, shouldn't we be getting out of here alive and not worrying about a dumb treasure? First of all, treasure is never dumb. <laughs> you were saying... Run! <laughs> We're trapped in the corner of a marshmallow maze. There's no way out! Unless you have two flamethrower pens and roast your way out. Hey, can I get one of those pens when we get back? Stop talking and start hiding in the very, very field! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> if we seek the giant's treasure, this you must do, how Barry the Blueberry find his lost shoe. That's not a riddle, that's a chore. Yeah. Hurry, the giant's on his way! Ah. Dookie, quick, smell the Blueberry's foot so you can track his scent. Uh, no way am I smelling that Blueberry's feet. There's no telling where he's been. <laughs> he's been in a delicious clown world. Now snap, dog! Yeah. Mm, very delicious. <laughs> This way! <gasps> there it is! Oh, I'm good. Thank you, travelers. The treasure you seek is in the cookie caves. How do we miss that? I'm okay! Three, five, four, fished! Now it's your turn to get squished! <laughs> Look! The treasure must be behind that door! No treasure. Come to Johnny. Uh-oh! It's locked! What a rip! Aha! Call you! Super strength caused his own super demise. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Dude, lame. Let's go! <laughs> Guys, we can't ditch him. Look, he may have been trying to stomp us with his giant feet, but he's the mascot of my favorite cereal. And I know down deep, he has a big heart. And it's made of marshmallows. Oh, all right. Time to roast some cookies. Oh. Oh, I'm free! Oh, thanks, guys. I could have been stuck there fee fi fo ever No problem. We couldn't have left you like that, big guy. <laughs> thanks! No squish! Hey, we just saved your life! You ruined my marshmallow maze! Look! The giant's fist cracked open the treasure door! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, hey Mr. Giant! Over here! It's open! Let's go! There it is! The giant's treasure is... A Choco Chopper! Okay, that was convenient. Again, it's a cartoon. Go with it! <laughs> Be five, oh, bum. I'm tired of rhyming and I'm just gonna destroy you now! Somebody fly this cereal prize! <laughs> We all know how this story ends. How? We 
we chop down the cereal stock with a choco chopper, and the giant falls to his marshmallow defeat. You fee-fi cloud wreckers will be squashed under my bow bum! He has us blocked off from our weapons. What are we gonna do? Sammy feels good. I no longer have the urge to squish you, tiny whelps. <laughs> I want to hug you! <laughs> yeah, it's still kind of squishing us. The reason for his grumpiness must have been because he had sugar rage from only eating cereal. Huh. I guess it is important to have a balanced breakfast. Oh, I'm pleased thou hast showed me the importance of eating healthy. And Dookie is glad thou didn't squish us. <laughs> 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 Let's surf away together, my rad dudette. It's perfect! This is so gonna be the best gill fest ever! Let's make sure we have everything. Gill banner? Check! Box of trans fat free gill cookies! Mmm, delicious. What's with all the gill junk? Uh, hello? It's gill fest, our annual weekend devoted to gill next door! I thought that was every weekend. It is, but this one has gill buttons, gill masks, and talking gill toothbrushes. Wait, are you recording this? So, did you get us the authentic gill t-shirt we requested? Only if you got the thermonuclear stink bomb I requested. In my hand is the power of 100 million stink bugs. I now have powers far beyond those of mortal men. What are you gonna use it for? No idea. I found a golden gill hair! Gill alert! Gill alert! What is that? Looks like a for sale sign to me. Gill is moving! <laughs> so, does this mean the parade is canceled? <laughs> Everything's canceled, including the lab! We're shutting it down! So, uh... Yeah. He was our inspiration. We only invented things to impress Gil. What? No more awesome inventions? What about me? What about my needs? I got needs, and I need inventions. We have got to stop Gil from moving. All out of Gil. Sources were correct. This is an interesting turn of events, and excellent news at that. For if Gil moves away, my dear sweet Susan will have more time to focus on her last remaining romantic option. Mama. Hey, what are you doing in my daydream? I'm not. Whatever crazy plan you're cooking up, forget it. It's not happening because no one is going anywhere. Oh, really? Well, we'll see about that, Jonathan. Don't worry, Gil. I got you covered. I'll simply explain to your parents that it would be too traumatic for you to move away at such a tender and complicated age. But, Braham, this move is my idea. Say what? This bra was born to run. Gil's got to get out there, see the world, expand my horizon. Besides, you ever notice all the weird stuff that goes on around here? My name is Gil. Gil! Gil! You weren't supposed to see that. No idea what you're talking about. You can't leave Pork Belly. It's the greatest place on Earth, and I can prove it. Come on, Gil! But I'm only... Well, then, I'll make Johnny's tour to Pork Belly a tour disaster. Then Susan will be exclusively mine. <laughs> the Pork Belly Paved Way. The great escape park everywhere. Too bad you're going to get creamed when you whip around in a bowl full of whipped cream. <laughs> what the? Whoa! 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 
Dude, real whipped cream. Awesome. Yeah, it happens all the time here in Pork Belly. And Pork Belly's the only place you can get Red Gush fresh from the tap. Adding these concentrated carbonators to this already bubbly brew should make this stop on the tour positively explosive. What's the dial thingy say? Why are you still here reading this dial thing? Uh oh! Serves up Red Gush style! Righteous! Biggest barrel ever! Uh oh. I must confess that this operation has not quite gone as planned. <laughs> Let's see how much you like the loop-de-loop, -loop, if it never ends. <laughs> see you around, fellas. Are you alive? Oh, best roller coaster ride ever! Woohoo! No way you're gonna move away now, huh? I'm definitely moving away. But what about all the cool things we just did? We just did them. Now, I've gotta find new adventures. Thanks for the fun day, Broham. Hooray! We had a great tour of Pork Belly. But he's still moving. Yo, Broham, I have to go to the store and buy some onions. Oh, I love onions. Uh, can you hang here for any potential buyers and tell them to buy my house? Yeah, sure, whatever. I knew I could count on you, brah. Oh, I hope it's a bad day for buyers. Wait, if no one buys Gil's house, then Gil can't move. No buyer, no Gil movie away. Uh, you must have something in the lab that can scare off buyers. Oh, do we? Let's start with the hollow choo choo gram. See, now you're thinking. What's a hollow choo-choo gram? Oh, we've heard that this is one of the quietest neighborhoods in all of Fort Belly. Yep, it's pretty quiet, all right. Except for the train. Hello, train. <laughs> On, it only comes by like 30 or 40 times a day. Thank you for your time. <laughs> To the girl's scarinator, we can scare off fires all day. Haunted house, huh? I'm not afraid of anything. Just look at my biceps. Fear and not. <laughs> yeah, they may need some help with this one. On it. Hey, I don't see no ghosts. A joke. I pulled scariest stuff out of my nose. <laughs> hey, tough guy, knock it off. They work really hard on this ghost machine, and I, for one, think it's pretty scary. A talking vampire dog? Uh oh. Looks like the whole town showed up to buy Gil's house. Ha! Not to worry. The microclimatizer will scare them off. Rain's not going to do it. Leave this to Johnny. Uh, Johnny, no. You'll overload the... Johnny! Ha! We did it! No one's ever buying this house. Check out my new sign, Johnny Brah. Well, this is it, I guess. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Dookie. 
by girls I've never seen before. Thanks for the memories. I'm Addy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never see you again. <laughs> Say what? Hello, new home. Wait, that's your new house? Correcta mundo. I figured this is a good place to expand my horizons. I meant to tell you, but then, uh, I forgot. Bill's still gonna live next door! Awesome! But then who bought... Greetings, neighbors! You bought Gil's house? Yes! You see, without the commute, I'll be able to focus my attention and spend all my time wooing you, my dear, sweet Susan. Oh, Susan, you hide your emotions so well. It's not always easy to know what you're thinking. I don't like you. You stink! Yeah, it's still unclear. Stinks, huh? Brother. But you gotta respect their commitment. Bro ham. <laughs> build, build, build. Building for Johnny. Build, build. This is a bad idea. You mean stealing my sister's construction drones or having them build a human pinball machine? Um, both. Human pinball time! Uh -huh. Johnny Test. It is I, Dark Vegan. The powerful but largely misunderstood alien tracked on this planet due to a cruel twist of fate. Let me guess. You're here to destroy me and claim victory at last? I am here to destroy you. And yes, to claim victory at last. Prepare for battle. All right, I'll battle you in a game of pinball. Well, I was a bit of a pinball wizard back in my day. Terms accepted. Now, what do we use for a pinball? You! What? Well, this is a bit different than I remember. Have you done this before? Tons of times. Is it safe? No idea. Ready? Actually, I do have one. <laughs> wow, he is bad. I heard that. Good thing he tested it, and you know it's not safe. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit it, this looks fun! Not fun. Cool. You got the high score! Okay, easy, easy. Careful with the suit! Another pass! I shall return to my original objective. Before I was lured into this pinball boondoggle. Your destruction! Don't worry, he's terrible at being bad. I'm gonna miss you, Johnny Test. Not! See? Let this. Dead batteries again? What's the point of rechargeable batteries if no one ever recharges them? <laughs> hey, time out. Who's the kid? No idea. Who are you, kid? I'm Jeffy, your number one fan. Say what? Number what? I have a number one fan? Who gets me a snow cone? Number one fan? What's that all about? I've never heard of a number one fan. How does one acquire said fan? Wait, where did everybody go? Johnny eating my snow cone and walking down the street. Woohoo! Johnny getting the mail. Woohoo! Cartoons. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about Jeff. Huh. Yeah, you're just jealous because you don't have a number one fan. I am not jealous, but I do think that... Huh? Well, well, Johnny Test. What a surprise to see you. What do you mean? I live here. Exactly. And that is why I am here to destroy your home. But first... Tell me more about this whole number one fan thing. It intrigues me. <laughs> what does he do? Well, he brings me stuff, mostly snow cones. Thanks, but we have talked about expanding the menu. Expanding the menu! Woohoo! Woohoo is pretty much everything I do. Woohoo! Which is nice. So I'd have to say it's um awesome. Yeah, I want someone to say woohoo when I do stuff. I've never been woohooed. 
all I ever get is, will we be going back to our planet? My allowance is too small. <laughs> I want a number one fan, too! Congratulations! You are my number one fan! Now get a foam finger, get me a snow cone, and say woohoo! Uh, Come on, say it! Whoa! Look who's got a number one fan now, Johnny Test! Me! I win, Johnny Test! Yeah, oh, stupid batteries! I'm out of here! Ah! He's no number one fan! Why not? Well, you threatened him! You can't force someone to be your number one fan! Jeffy's here because he wants to be here. And I'm amazing and you're not. Huge difference. Huge difference! Woo! Hmm. Plus, you're never gonna see that number one fan again. He probably quit his job, sold his house, and retired to a tropical island. We've been talking about doing this forever. Thank you, Dark Satan! Our epic battle is not over yet, Johnny Test. I attacked you, you counterattack. I will now counterattack your counterattack. But you will not counterattack my counterattack of your counterattack of my um... attack. Right. Oh, stupid battery. <laughs> this is not over, Johnny Test. I will destroy you, and I will get a number one fan. Okay, admit the whole number one fan thing is weird. Come on, Jeffy's awesome. And now Vegan is mad at you, and bad things happen when Vegan is mad at you. Bad things. Yeah, but mostly to him. Besides, do you see Jeffy? No. Do you see a snow cone? Unfortunately, no. It's not like he's here all the time. So relax, dog. I've got this all under control. <laughs> From now on, I'm gonna be just like you, Johnny. I'm gonna wear your clothes, too. Look, I even have a dookie. Okay, number one fan is now officially weird. Hey, where do you keep your socks? You have to get rid of him. I know that. Today I begin auditions for my number one fan. Now it is a volunteer position, but who could put a price on the chance to follow around a villain like myself? Small well, yet it was simple but complicated. I'll do it for a million dollars. I said it's a volunteer position. How about two million? Nobody gets paid. Now somebody be my number one fan or else. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to threaten them. Johnny had a dance playing game! Woohoo! Snow cone? No, oh, Jeffy, you're back. And sure, I'll have a snow cone and. What are we gonna do? First, I'm gonna lick this snow cone. Mm. About Jeffy! Yeah, I know. This is no way to live. No matter how tasty these snow cones are. Maybe he'll stop coming around if we just avoid him for a while. Yeah, if he can't find me, he'll forget all about me and go back to his house, which may or may not be a giant snow cone factory. Exactly. Operation Hide from Jeffy so he gets bored and goes back to his house, which may or may not be a giant snow cone factory, is officially underway. So, as my number one fan, you won't say woohoo whenever I do anything of interest, which is very often. Trust me. And instead of snow cones, you will serve me toast. Because I love toast. Well, what's in it for us? Well, uh, how about a great big bag of I won't destroy you? Darn, I did it again! I threatened them. That's what I do. It's who I am. That's my act. I must return to my primary mission. Destroy Johnny Tess! This is perfect. We're safe here in the lab. State-of-the-art locks, steel doors, security cameras are everywhere. Jeffy can't possibly find us here. Look, I make snow cones that look like you. It's okay. You can't get in. So, you're just gonna spend the rest of your lives here in the lab? That's the plan. Wait, that's a horrible plan. There's no TV here, no video games, just sisters in science. I'll go mad, I tell you. That's bad, that's bad. If you don't want Jeffrey cheering for you, just find someone else for him to cheer for. It's called the transitive property of fanism. Fanism? Just made it up. Yeah, but who? But to whom, you mean? <laughs> 
Sorry, I forgot to knock. You think? Silence! I have come to destroy you, Johnny Test. Hey, I know how you can get a number one fan. Okay, you can talk. No, you just have to be exciting. You know, do exciting things. Like what? Again, you're sure this is safe? Again, I have no idea. If memory serves me correctly, this did not go well last time. You're gonna be great. But I do get dizzy easily, and I am prone to... I changed my mind! Wow, he's amazing! <laughs> No. Toast? Huh? Woohoo! <laughs> I win! I have a number one fan now, and you don't. I have defeated you at last, Johnny Tess. Woohoo! Dark vegan walking down the street eating toast! Woohoo! I think we should warn him. Nah, I'd hate to ruin the surprise. Now we can get back to life as normal. No more vegan, no more number one fan. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Welcome to the Pork Belly Halloween Hullabaloo Trick or Treat Contest. <laughs> this year, whoever collects the most candy will win their very own Air Big Rock Candy Mountain. Wait, are we in a contest where whoever gets the most candy wins even more candy? Not just any candy, an entire mountain made of candy. Huh. Big rock candy. First, you climb it. Then, you eat it. Then, you camp on it. Then, you eat it again before you kayak. If you keep describing it, you won't have any time to win it. Ready, set. <laughs> yeah, but how does this thing work? Oh, 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 oh go! <laughs> Come on, Dookie. We gotta hurry. Wait. Where's your costume? I'm going as a dog. That's funny. Listen, until Trick or Treat becomes Trick or Doggy Treat, I'm not interested. Besides, you're not gonna get much candy wearing that. Uh, what? I'm a knight. Your costume's terrible. Relax. As long as I'm wearing something, I'll get candy. What are they gonna say? No candy for you! Your costume's terrible. But it's Halloween. In my day, we earned our candy with clever costumes. This is all you get. An onion. And only because it's stale. That's the lamest costume ever. Hey, now that's a costume. Oh, hey, sissy. Ooh. Trick or treat. Oh, what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> that's right. This awesome costume has already earned me three bags of candy. <laughs> I got a birthmark that's more clever than that costume. I'm a knight in shining armor. Yeah, good luck with that, Tess. <laughs> Are we going where I think we're going? Yeah, I thought so. Please, how could you deny a sweet young boy a costume on Halloween? Well, I guess we could let them try the suit of a thousand faces. It's only a prototype. Untested, unpredictable, possibly dangerous, and almost certainly unsafe. So, it's perfect for Johnny. Exactly. The suit uses electro-hologram technology, <laughs> which produces a lifelike simulation, making the wearer appear completely different. So you mean I can look like anything I want? Well, sort of. All you have to do is push the button on your chest. A jellyfish. Really? <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> a bigger jellyfish. <laughs> Great. It's a prototype, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Blast off! Let's pillage some candy! <laughs> Aren't you a little old for trick-or-treating? Give me your candy or be destroyed! No, please. I really, really, really want that big rock candy mountain. You are making me sad. 
That's your costume? I'm a marooned alien raising a selling teenage girl. I can't afford silly costumes. But you don't eat candy. I don't eat meat. I love candy. And soon the Big Rock Candy Mountain shall be mine. It's showtime, dog. Now that's a costume. What is that? I'm a prototype. Hey, Dookie, I'll bet with this costume changing thing, we can hit the same house multiple times. Great suit. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Get it? Strengths. Hanging. <laughs> Love it. <sighs> Just give me the candy. This costume changer thingy is awesome! I'm gonna totally win Big Rock Candy Mountain easy! Guess again, Tess! <laughs> Say what? <laughs> oh, winds away and this candy's heavy and I'm running out of fuel! Candy storage! Store your candy here! Free candy storage! Perfect! <laughs> children with your silly old customs. Have your fun, but rest assured that Big Rock Candy Mountain will be mine. Get real, Eugene. You got no costume, no candy, and no chance. As my dear mama says, never do anything that you can get someone else to do for you. Yeah, well, I don't see your servants trick-or-treating for you. There's no way you can win. Okay, you twisted my arm. I will now reveal my master plan. <laughs> Thank you for all your candy collecting. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. You see, Johnny, it's trick or treat, and I chose trick. <laughs> so as we say in the candy business, so long, suckers. <laughs> Something tells me we're not calling it a night. No, we're getting our candy back. The queen is not amused. It's go time. Never separate a vegan from his candy. Never. <laughs> Well, let's see what I get. Well, at least I got a bell. <laughs> let's roll! Stop, or else. Well, I can see everything from up here. Great. Out of jet boot fuel. Figures. Guests, sorry you can't stay for dinner. Sissy, grab my hand. Now let's slow this rig down. Am I not surprised? Look out! <laughs> I think that's the last of them. <laughs> huh? Thanks for saving me. That would have really... <laughs> well, at least I still have toast. <sighs> so this is what the trick part of Trick or Treat is like. Wait, that's it! Well, well, bling bling. It looks like you've had a very busy night of trick-or-treating. Oh, I'm positively exhausted. Now, 
Can we get this thing moving? Just announce that I'm the winner and hand over the Big Rock Candy Mountain edible play set. Clearly, the winner of this year's Halloween Hullabaloo is... Eugene! <laughs> Mama! Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Uh, hey, where'd you get the lizard? That's not important! Did you steal that candy? Oh, steal is such a strong... Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, yes, okay! You tell the mayor that this candy belongs to Johnny Test and that he should be declared the winner! Is what your mother saying true? Oh, well, now... Ow! Yes, okay! I took the candy! As punishment, I want you to rub your belly and hop on one leg! And do a hundred push-ups! Push-ups? Oh, but mother, I... Oh, well, now, there'll be plenty of time for belly rubbing and their yeah, push-ups later. Right now, we have a winner to announce. If this candy belongs to Johnny Test, then I have no choice but to declare him the winner. Congratulations, Johnny! Johnny? Oh, wait! That's me! Tricked you right back. And now for my candy. Hold it, Test. A huge heap of that candy is mine. And perhaps you forgot all my candy in there. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Mayor, that candy belongs to all of us. We're all winners. Except Bling Bling. Oh, well, then I declare everyone but Bling Bling the winner. Happy Halloween. So, winning candy in a candy collecting contest is all right by me. Backyard Candy Mountain is so sweet. Happy Halloween, everyone! Come to the dark side, Johnny. Ways are no match for a bed eye night. Prepare to. No. Something's not right. What is it, Johnny? School test? Alien invasion? Free steak? Oh, please say it's free steak. A disturbance in the toy kid continuum. Dad is giving away my toys. And he's got Robo Rex with his bubble metallic arm blaster. Oh, come on, Johnny. You haven't even played with Robo Rex in. <laughs> He's got Triceratops squeeze! <laughs> Thanks for the donation, sir. And just a friendly reminder, all donations are final. <laughs> Not a problem. My son doesn't even play with his stuff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, woof, woof, woof! Did Dookie just talk? It, no. You must be hearing voices, Dad. Mm. It's the only explanation for why you would give away my Robo Rex. I didn't give him away. I donated him to a good cause. Besides, you never play with him anymore. That's not the point. No one comes between a kid and his toys. Mm. Come on, dog. We gotta catch that truck and get those toys back. <laughs> mush, Dookie, mush! Ah, uh, woof. You're right. We're gonna need more speed and weapons. To the lab! Much! Woof, really? I gotta get my ears checked. Huh? Perfect timing. A new subject to test out our new five-minute freeze ray. No time! We need lasers and rocket boards to get our toys back from the donation army. You want us to give you weapons so you can steal from a charitable organization? It's not stealing when they're my toys. <laughs> But you don't even play with anymore. That's not the point. No one comes between a kid and his toys. The answer is still no. <laughs> Playtime's over. Let's rescue some toys. Johnny, I don't like this rocket board thing. Uh, maybe we could slow down. Like to a thousand miles an hour? Not a chance. There they are. Shoot the tires so we can catch them. <laughs> It's hard to aim with my eyes closed in terror, Johnny! Shoot first! Aim later! <laughs> How did I do? We need to get closer! Excuse me, Mr. Donation Dudes! There's been a horrible mistake! My dad accidentally gave you my Robo-Rex! 
Robo-Rex? That the one with the bubble matronic arm blaster? Yep. Oh man, that thing is sweet. So you'll give it back? Not a chance. All donations are final. Sorry, them's the rules. Johnny, I can't see! Get your hands off my eyes, dog! I can't steer! <laughs> yeah. So, they want to play it the hard way, huh? Something tells me this is gonna get ugly. Thanks for your generosity. Your toy stealing days are over. Um, we're picking up donations, not stealing. That, that's stealing. <laughs> You'll never catch me! <laughs> Let's just see about that. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Let's go, Dookie. <laughs> Pardon me. Wow! What was that all about? Oh, I bet someone came between a kid and his toy. I've come to your rescue, Roborex. Hey, no stealing. It's not stealing, it's mine. All donations are final. Final! <laughs> <laughs> New dog smell. Great! The soap shorted out the rocket board. They're getting away! Nobody's getting away with my Tricera squeeze. Uh, I think you should open your eyes, dog. No way! Shooting first, aiming later is my new thing. I said freeze! <laughs> Did I get him? If we can't get our toys back from the truck, we'll get them back from the warehouse. Hey, I'm here to get my Robo-Rex back. Is that the one with the super sweet bubble matronic arm? Yep. So you'll give it back to me? Nope. All donations are final. Besides, you probably don't even play with it anymore. That's not the point. We're taking it back. Not if I stop you first. Stop us? You and what army? Huh? Didn't see that coming. Really? It is in the name. Donation Army. Army? You're wearing all junk and carrying squirt guns. You're not an army. Soldiers, ready, aim, fire! <laughs> Thanks for the donations. <laughs> we can't take that army head on, so we're going stealth mode. Ready, dog? Catch them completely off guard. You mean like this? Oh, come on! Move out, troops! There's more donations to pick up! Pick up, huh? Hmm. Johnny's got a plan. <laughs> We're in. Look! Our toys! Over the toys and nobody gets wet. Not a chance. Fire dog! Fire when ready, boys! Ah! <laughs> I've been hit! Oh no! Dookie! Come on, let's go! No, go on without me. Take Tricera Squeeze. She needs a better life. <laughs> no way, dog. If we go down, we go down together. <laughs> They're on top of us, Johnny! We're done for! Then it's time for a game of marbles. We need more firepower, boys! Switch to grenades! Yeah, that's not good. You think? Jump! We're cornered! 
There's no way out, Johnny. Don't give up now, Dookie. We've got him right where we want him. We have you completely surrounded. I suggest you give it up now, kid. Never! Whoa, this place has everything. Even a white flag. We surrender! Hey! Robo-Rex and I have been through too much for it to end this way. Yeah. Tricera Squeeze and I have been through a lot, too. <laughs> hey! We're waiting! What's it gonna be? Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a flashback! All right, troops! Move in! <laughs> What'll we do? We're trapped, outnumbered, and have no weapons to fight back with! Except for Robo-Rex's bubble metronic blaster arm! That's it! But, Johnny, you haven't used Robo-Rex in a long time! Will he still work? Shoot first! Aim later! Well, it is kind of my thing. <laughs> Here goes something! Yeah! <laughs> Did I get him? See for yourself, sharpshooter. Okay, okay, we surrender. You can have your toy back. Oh, oh. Hey, we did it. Awesome. <laughs> See, no one comes between a kid and his toys. Just promise me one thing, kid. Promise me you'll play with that toy. That's not the point. Sure it is. I bet you have lots of toys, and there's tons of kids who don't. Plenty of them would love to play with the Robo Rex. I just hate to see it go to waste. Huh, I guess I do have lots of toys. This is why I fight the good fight. So long, Robo-Rex. Hope you like your new home. Feels good to donate toys to kids who will actually play with them, doesn't it? Sure does. I'm sure some young pup will love Triceraquees as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs> A kitten? No, 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 not a chance. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no no hands! Johnny, you are gonna clean your room right now! It already is. No buts, mister! I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks to the new RoboVac mom gotcha. RoboVac ready. Oh, okay then. Hold tight, riders. We're about to clean the stairs. <laughs> Girls, stop! Stop wrecking the lab! We're not. We're testing our new ultimate simulation room. This is an experiment gone wrong, but now we can test any experiment in any environment. So now we can test our tests before we test them. Oh, so nothing needs to be cleaned? No. Okay, then. I'll have your lunch ready in a sec, dear. Already taken care of. Thanks to the girls' new Meat Master 2000. Bon Appa Meat. It makes fresh meatloaf in a snap. Now, where is my cell phone? Bon Appa Meat. Mmm, not bad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Johnny, big game is coming up. What do you say I show you my patented screwy screwball pitch? No, thanks, Dad. RoboVac's been coaching me. <laughs> Give me two laps, sport. <laughs> Nice work, son. I guess all my chores are done. Honey, I'm starting to feel a little unneeded around the house. Aw, oh, sweetie, I'd stay and listen, but they need me at work pronto. Your job needs you, huh? Oh, that's it! I'll go get a job! Hey, Dad, what's with the suit? I'm off to get a job! Whoa. Really? Seriously? Are dads even allowed to work? They are! Especially since this dad will be needed at a job. Unlike at home, where his self-sufficient family no longer does. Wish me luck, kids! I'm getting a job! Go oh, for it, Dad! How do I get a job? Relax, Dad. We know lots of people that can help. Your extensive cleaning background will make you the ultimate spy in charge of cleaning collateral damage after our weapons tests. You're hired! Wow! Just call me Agent Clean, General. Oh, speaking of clean, let me start by tidying things up here. Uh, no, wait, no, that's the missile! I think I need to take a sick day. And that's why I'd be the ideal addition to your team. Excellent. I see you have a history of thwarting Johnny Test. We're looking for people with that kind of experience. Welcome aboard, Mr. Test. Thanks, Mr. Vegan. And here's a happy to join the team meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf? Prepare to be annihilated, meat eater. <laughs> Mr. Vegan, your 
230 is here. Send him in. Hey, Dark Vegan. Hey, Johnny Test. Prepare to be destroyed. So does this mean I don't get the job? Um, we're moving in a different direction. <sighs> what do you mean I don't have good references? I'm your husband! We have a policy of not mixing business and personal lives. Good day. Ooh. What time's dinner, honey? Meat Master says seven. <laughs> Come on, Johnny, put some lead in it. Feel the fire. Give me the thunder. Fire! What? No, you were vacuuming too hard. That was so a strike. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Johnny, if anyone needs me, which they never do, I'll be in the house being useless. Remember to take off your shoes. <sighs> Looks like your dad struck out at getting a job. Which means we have to help him, and I've got just the plan. To the lab! I predict this will go badly and somehow put me in mortal danger. Totally. But relax, you've got nine lives. You're thinking of cats. There's no time for thinking. We've got to help Dad! So you want us to create a fake office so you can give Dad a job? Think you can handle that? Of course we can. Hello! Geniuses, behold our new simulation room, where we can create anything, like an office for Dad to work. And it's all controlled from here. <laughs> awesome. All right, Dad, welcome to Work You Go Incorporated. Do you feel like you're not needed at home and are looking for a job, but no one will hire you? Yes. Do you have a passion for cleaning and a talent for meatloaf? Yes. Is your name Q-Test? Yes. Then come work for Work You Go, Inc. Just look for the building that's not fake and doesn't have tubes that take you to a lab. Apply now. Woohoo! I'm getting a job. <laughs> I'm getting a job. I'm getting a job. Hello? Hello? Welcome aboard, Hugh. First, we'll need a business report on Meatloaf right away. Yes, sir, Mr. Bossman. I'm on it. We've been looking for someone like you, so keep up the good work. Oh, this is so going on my acting reel. Excellent. The simulation is working perfectly. Which means Dad is happy and we are awesome. Yeah. And I get to help Dad feel useful and play video games. This is the best plan ever. <laughs> Here's the meatloaf report, sir. I also took the liberty of preparing several samples. Great work, Tess. <laughs> so then the guy says, if that's meatloaf, then where's your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Meat. Meatloaf again, Meat Master? Good morning, girls. Uh, Dad, can you please make us? Can't. Need to go to work. I've been promoted to the head of the meat and loaf department. Hey, Dad, can you help me with my pitch? Robovac's kind of a harsh coach. Ow! I am the ball. I would, son, but I have my donut weekly today. Hugh, Dookie has fleas. <laughs> Robovac can handle it. <laughs> Let's go, cupcake. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm off to work. Bye. Mom? We, we want, want Dad, Dad back. back. I don't think we can, kids. He's found his cubicle kingdom. It's hard to leave that useful feeling. Wait, that's it. Dad went to work to feel useful. So all we have to do is show him how much we need him. Sounds like we need to create a little anarchy only Dad can fix. Kids, it's time to make a mess. Destroy, destroy, must make mess, destroy! A little adjustment to the Meat Master should do the trick! <laughs> Didn't see that coming! <laughs> this ought to put a stop to things. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe we overdid it. You think? Oh. 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 Mm. This better be about donuts. Dad, mm. you've got to get home quick. The house is a mess. We're under attack. And do you like? Oh, God, I'm going to drown in a toilet. I'm on my way. My family's in trouble. Terry, cancel my co-worker small talk. I'm going home. <laughs> 
looks like a job for Super Stay-at-Home Dad Man! We're cornered! Yeah, maybe we overdid it! <gasps> Dad! All right, you misbegotten meat creations! No one messes with my family! Special glaze! <laughs> Honey mustard. Dad! Plunger attack! Go, Dad! Destroy, destroy, must make this. Destroy, destroy, destroy! Oops! My bad! Bling, 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 Monster. Ah! You're out. Nice pitch, Dad. Super stay at home, Dad man. Away! Ah! Wow, Dad. I had no idea you were so hardcore. That's my job, son. Listen, Dad, about your job. Yeah, I know. I've got to get back to the office. Aww. To tell them I quit. <laughs> After all, I've got the best job in the world right here, taking care of my family. We love you, Dad. Oh, I love you, too. And you kids are grounded for two weeks for trying to trick me with a fake office. What? You knew? Well, you have to get up pretty early to pull one over on Super Stay-at-Home Dad Man! Yeah, the name could use a little work. <laughs> Friends, Pork Bellions and Countrymen, uh, this year's Pork Belly Days Festival is going to be, as the kids say, a double. This year we'll have an exciting event that I know you'll love. A face painting booth! <laughs> Wayne! Oh. Wait, I wasn't finished! Uh, uh, break out your accordions and tap shoes, cause we're having the first ever Pork Belly's Got Talent contest! Still lame! Still not finished! The winner gets two sacks of money! Two sacks? Okay, three sacks! <laughs> Got yourself a show. <laughs> that is some serious burpage. Yeah, but burping to the letter D just isn't big enough to win the contest. I need something bigger, better. Better find it fast, because this is what you're up against. <laughs> There's no net. We agreed on the net. No, we agreed on no net. Nets are for wimps. Oh, really? Then what if we fall? Well, we won't fall. Uh? <laughs> we're okay. Well, before they lost confidence, they were actually pretty good. But not as good as this. Oh, come on. Even his abs have abs. Watch me rock and hear me play. win this talent thingy. Uh, what exactly is your talent? Well, besides destroying... Which you're terrible at. I will find a talent, and it will be awesome, and then I will destroy you! These guys are serious. I gotta find an awesome talent. And fast! Yes! Bobo! Bobo? My bestest friend. Before we rescued you, 
With two older sisters, a work-obsessed mom, and a neat freak dad, I could always turn to Bobo. How are you gonna win with a puppet? A talking puppet? We're gonna win with the most ultimate ventriloquist act ever. Right, Bobo? Right, Johnny. To the love! Hey, Super Sisters! I need something zappy to zap Bobo with to make the killerest ventriloquist act and win the competition. Oh, the reanimation pod is over there, but it's still in the experimental stage and is highly unstable, so... Too much information! Bobo's Johnny's bestest friend forever and ever. Bobo's alive! Thanks, guys! Now, let's win us a talent contest. Killer abs. I know, right? <laughs> okay, Dookie, just pretend to be the audience. Ah, got it. We love you, Johnny! Crowd noise! Crowd noise! <laughs> Watching Weave Johnny Test. I'm about to juggle ten. That's right, ten anti gravitation juggling balls. They take a while to come back down. Yeah, while we wait, do you want to see what a real routine looks like? Yeah, whatever. Hey, Bobo, what's three trillion times sixty-four spazillion? Ouch! Math makes my head spin! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, I understand. It's funny because his head is actually spinning. <laughs> it is spinning. I mean... I will defeat you, Johnny Test. Get some rest, little guy. We have a big day tomorrow. Thank you for bringing Bobo to life. Bobo owes Johnny. You can pay me back by helping me blow away the competition tomorrow. Okie dokie, we'll blow him away. The judges are gonna love Bobo. I mean, just look at him all curled up in his box with fluffy fur, advanced targeting system, precision lasers, and missile pods? He must have raided the lab last night. Quick, turn him off before... <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. Uh, Johnny, look at this. Cool. Bobo learned the letter X. Or more like, he's gonna blow away the competition! Yeah, that's not good. Let's go, dog! Welcome to the Pork Belly's Got Talent Contest! First up, we have Mr. Black and Mr. White and their awesome high wire act without a net. <laughs> Wait, uh, we agreed on a net. No, nope, still no net. You see, you never listen to me. I do so listen to you. No, you hear, but you don't listen. Blow, blow, blow you away now. <laughs> don't judge me. It's a big fat zero for me. I give them points for the unitards. Yeah, the unitards were a nice touch. <laughs> hey, uh, anyone seen a cute fuzzy toy about yay high and armed to the teeth with advanced weapon systems? Wing <laughs> Wing, don't go out there. I've got a killer act. Literally. Oh, you're so afraid of my talent. You're trying to keep me off the stage. Time for Bling Bling to go bye-bye. You mean I'm on? But... I'm not even warmed up yet! Another big fat zero for me. But it really stuck the landing. Gotcha! <laughs> Please give a warm round of applause for the Aptacular Guild! <laughs> yes, oh, he's absolutely Aptacular! He's gonna be absolutely obliterated. <laughs> Why is your cute little fuzzball trying to destroy our cute little fuzzball? Don't ask 
ask me. This is all your fault. Our fault? Yeah. You let me put him in that zappy, smoky thingy. Now he's alive and programmed to destroy. Wait, what? When did we do that? When you were oogling Gil's abs on your creepo vision monitors. Oh. Now you gotta help me stop Bobo. <laughs> by disrupting his destructive program. Yes, we can stun Bobo's circuits with a loud sonic blast. Oh, sure. Let's just order a sonic blast from the Sonic Blast Store. Did that roadie just talk? One sonic blast coming right up. We need to secure him before it wears off. Sure, let's just order some rope or a net of some kind. Tell me about it. Fine, you want a net? Here's a net. But you had one all along. Why didn't you just bring it out? Because I wanted to push you to push us to be the best. No, you do care. Mind if I borrow that? Now, all we need is a rocket that we can secure Bobo to so we can launch him into space. Behold my talent! I will use this rocket to destroy an asteroid that is about to destroy Earth! Do you have to go? No, just some sort of looming global catastrophe. Probably just another false alarm. Carry on! Quick, tie Bobo to the rocket! Cower before my talent, Johnny! <laughs> Look at all the people! Fire the rocket! Bobo's coming too! <laughs> Johnny's got talent. That's not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair. Got talent. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's got talent. Yes, I'll take that to cover your bill for the damage to the stage. I could have built a five-bedroom doghouse with a fire hydrant in every room. Huh? Curse you, Bobo! Yes, and welcome back to Asteroid 32B's Got Talent. And our next act is a real killer, presenting... Bobo! Boring. Boring! Boring! Uh, even saying boring has gotten boring. Extreme animals! Extreme excitement! Only at the Extreme Zoo! Not boring. The only zoo that puts you in the cage with extreme animals. Just imagine what you could do. Go on. Imagine! But I really want to see where this goes. Hey, sisters who I love. Want to come to the Extreme Zoo? Free passes. I'll even let you give me superhuman speed, strength, and breakdancing skills. Sorry. We're busy saving the world from planet-crushing meteors. Let's get this plutonium into the meteor pulverizer stat. <laughs> you really should get that fixed. Tell Gil I always loved him. That went better than I expected. In three, two, one. Ah! Hmm, we can fix that. Now, off to the best zoo ever. Worst zoo ever. And it's not even a real zoo. It's a petting zoo. Well, I don't get the whole zoo thing, but the petting part I love. <laughs> I know, right? It's so relaxing. It makes it hard to actually do evil. Good thing I'm ambitious. Ah! Why do I have a sudden urge to nibble carrots and poop pellets? 
And why do I smell like butt? <laughs> ah! My evil plan to turn you all into lame petting zoo animals worked perfectly. <laughs> Oh, looks like we're all victims of highly effective advertising. I couldn't say no. Who knew we were all such fans of extreme animal encounters? I did. And now that you're powerless to stop me, I'm going to use the Test Sisters meteorite pulverizer to blow up the moon and scatter it over the Earth, creating my own planet-sized litter box. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my sisters were doing? Social networking. They should really check their privacy settings. Anyways, mittens out. I am hopping mad. Yeah, this situation really stinks. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that's just me. We need to get out of here and stop him before he gets to my sister. Sounds good to me. I'm in. But first, any thoughts on my goatee? It totally completes your face. Give me your hand, guys. <laughs> Or, uh, hoof? Huh? <laughs> Nothing escapes on my watch. Back to your cages, fuzzballs. Hey, who are you calling fuzzball? You taught. Look, let us out of this lame zoo. Talking animals can only mean one thing. Your aliens trying to invade our planet. Run, dog. I mean, skunk. Ah! <laughs> Get back here. Breaks. Incoming. Meteor. Uh, initialize pulverizer. Fire when ready. Meteor. Pulverized. Incoming. Pizza delivery. Open main door. Tip pizza guy. Neat. We didn't order pizza. Don't open door. Don't tip pizza guy. Not just as I thought. A trick. Oh, give me that pulverizer. Not a chance, Mittens! Initiate anti-cat defenses. Yarn ball! Yarn ball! Yarn ball! Yarn ball! Yarn ball! We gotta slow him down! Mr. Black, quick, head about that food dispenser! And ruin my perfectly symmetrical bone structure? You do it! Here I go! Use your horns! Oh, yeah, right. Oh, quick, Crikey! Hey, wait up! Ever heard of a little saying, leave no man behind? You mean, leave no alien behind! Attention, all visitors! Be on the lookout for talking alien animals. They are extremely dangerous. Family at 12 o'clock. <laughs> cock a doodle doo. Stop those aliens! We'll never escape on foot. Hurt their hoof. How about on a meat mobile? Hot diggity dog. Seriously? What? I've always wanted to say that, and that was the perfect moment. <laughs> Gaining on us. We've got to slow him down. Let's give him the works. How about some dogs to go? Fire! Uh oh. We're out of street meat. You want ammo? I got ammo. Crocky! <laughs> now you've got egg on your face. Seriously? What? This could be a problem. You think? Never play chicken with a chicken! Oh! Guys, a way out! Oh, no! Don't run through there! I'll never catch you! Stop! It's a trap! Run! Save yourselves! Three down and two to go. Who's got egg in the face now? Still just you. Boy, oh. Boy. Red dot. Gotta catch a red dot. Get back here. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Let's speed this along, shall we? The season finale of Upton Abbey is at 6.30. Quick! Let's get out of here! Why leave? 
The party's just getting started! I think we lost him. Yeah. <laughs> Earth will never be yours, aliens. I'll deal with this freak. You escape by doing what rabbits do best. Poop pellets uncontrollably? Please don't do that. Nibble through the net and use those powerful legs of yours to save Susan and Mary. <laughs> now, you want to catch something evil and alien? Catch this! I'm no alien, but that smell is definitely from another planet. And now, for you. If you destroy his ray gun, it will turn you normal again. Thanks, Albert! Ow! You foiled me this time, Johnny Test! But the Earth will be my litter box someday! Mark my words! Not on my watch, talking alien kitty! Albert! <sighs> Coming, sir. We're back to normal! Ah, 100% pure dog. Hey, did that dog just talk? No, I have a rare hair disorder. <laughs> boring, boring. Ever wanted to wrestle, Gators? Not boring. Ugh, here we go again. I call this family meeting to order. If this is about the half shark, half alligator I may or may not have set free, it's not my fault, it's theirs. What? You asked us for it. But you created it. Responsible sisters would have said no. He's right. You're grounded. But that's not what this meeting's about. Well, if it's about the giant sinkhole in the backyard, it wasn't us. Johnny took our sonic sound cannon and tried to strike oil. Actually, it was to create waves so I could surf in the pool. You're grounded, too. But first, we're going on vacation! What are you groaning about? Trip discount trips are great! Great? Like climbing Mount Neverest for free by working as Sherpas? Or stowing away on a zoo supply ship? Or knitting camp, but we knit mittens and scarves for two weeks! Those scarves will keep you warm all winter. Look, kids, your father wants to go to the Upchuck Geysers, and we're all going whether we like it or not. The Upchuck Geysers? You know, that could be kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be a good place to test our portable geothermal power plant. No, no, no experiments! I've waited my whole life for this vacation, and nothing's gonna ruin it! Wait a minute. You've waited your whole life to see the ground sneeze? <laughs> when I was little, we tried to go, but my Uncle Lou's RV broke down before we got there. And that's exactly why we're recreating my failed childhood trip in an RV! An RV? Sweet! I've seen awesome ones on Lifestyles of the Rich and Roaming. I bet our RV has a jacuzzi, satellite internet, oh, and a personal chef. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no personal chef in that. Oh, I was wrong. Not only was it cheap, but they threw in two weeks of free food! As much French bread, hot sauce, salami, and sardines as we can eat! Well, at least we won't starve. No, but we might barf. This is gonna be a great family vacation! And with no TV, no video games, and no lab, nothing can ruin it! Nothing! By combining our forces, we can finally destroy Johnny Test! And make him pay for all the times he's foiled us! Yeah! 
Especially that time with aluminum foil. <laughs> Worst Johnny Stopping Evil Force 5 barbecue ever! We've had problems in the past because we were underarmed. But now, we will destroy Johnny in a barrage of overkill! <laughs> Airball! All right, Johnny Tess, we're here to destroy you! Come out with your hands up! Hello? Johnny! You haven't got all day, you know! Hey! Nobody's home! Where'd he go? I believe that's them, sir. Road trip! Mm -hmm. Sorry, I always wanted to yell that and never had a reason. Brilliant! We'll battle him on the road! But we'll need the element of surprise. If only there were a way for us to blend in, yet still be intimidating. Ooh, idea, idea. Can we be a biker gang? I always wanted to do that. Ooh, yes. Us in cool pleather jackets will surely destroy Johnny Tess. I know. Pleather makes my biker gang look absolutely fierce. Could this be any more boring? Probably not. But we've decided to kill time by building a smartphone out of what we could find in the RV. Yeah? How about you build a brick I can throw through the window to escape? I don't know why you're fighting this, Johnny. This is Dad's dream. The wheels on the RV go round and round, round and round. Well, round it's and my round. nightmare. Um, does your nightmare include a biker gang? <laughs> Prepare to be destroyed, Johnny Tess! Are you kidding? This is awesome! Dad'll totally run for home when things start exploding. Hey! Over here! Come and get me! Are you sure about this, Johnny? If you go home, you're gonna be grounded. He's right. Haven't you noticed Dad has been in a good mood this whole trip? He hasn't gotten mad at all! Yeah, Dad in the RV says, pack, 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 pack. It's true! Pack, he pack, hasn't pack, wagged pack, his pack, finger pack, or put his hands pack, on his hips once. Whoa! You're right! We need to stop those bozos from ruining Dad's vacation! But how? We don't have our lab. And our phone only works with the RV. Hmm. Then it's time to play with our food. <laughs> how about a loaf to go? <laughs> Ice is nice! Not... <laughs> Stupid dog, cats love sardines. Yeah. So do birds, sir. <laughs> um, someone want to tell me how we're going to keep fighting off those bikers with groceries? We're going to have to take a stand and face them. But we'll have to figure out a way to make Dad stop when and where we want. Bet we can if Dad thinks we're enjoying the road trip. Hey, Dad, there's a lot of neat things to see on the way. I was wondering if we could stop at the world's largest toaster. Toaster? Now that's the spirit, son! How do I look? Nice and toasty, I bet. <laughs> Johnny Test, it's time to meet your doom! Yeah, okay, but don't you want some giant toast first? Oh boy, do I. Toast coming up! No! It is a toaster! Did I mention I love toast? Like 50 times already? Ow, ow, hot! Oh, it's hot! We have got to get out of here! <laughs> oh, this is a ball. A ball of yarn! <laughs> you may have tricked us last time, Johnny, but this time we will not be distracted in any way! Ooh, ball of yarn! Kitty, want to play? Now! <laughs> This is a barrel of fun! <laughs> you've tricked us with things we love, but this time you've done yourself in by giving Brain Freezer unlimited fuel for the icing. Attack! Care for a little spice with your ice? <laughs> Hot sauce. Oh, a chuck gun. 
Advisors, we made it! Aha! Mm -hmm. Now we've got you! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> pretty sure we do! <laughs> Albert! Uh, uh, sorry, sirs. Moo hoo ha. Now it is we who have used your vacation stop against you. When the clock strikes noon, you'll be the ones flying through the air to your doom! <laughs> Say, who wants a smoothie? Well, a national monument's as good a place to die as any. Too bad this geyser doesn't have an escape ladder. Nope, but it could have an escape rope like the one that's holding the RV door on. Any chance you can connect to the RV with that smartphone? Yep. I set up a remote connection to the RV's old cruise control system. Oh, great. I finally make it here and somebody's parked their RV right on top of the geysers. Uh, I think that's our RV. Got it! Uh-oh. Oh no! The geyser's about to explode! If anything's gonna ruin Dad's vacation, it's having his family steam cleaned by one of the wonders of the world! Not if we surf our way out! Grab the rope! Huh. I don't understand how it got here. Maybe it wanted a better view. Hey, mister, that's your RV? Yes, but I didn't park it here. Well, please move it. We're expecting sweet revenge to blow any time now. I'll move it, honey. Having come all this way, I don't want you to miss the show. Now, where did the kids go? We're alive! They're alive! Attack! <laughs> yeah, I should have kept my mouth shut. What are we gonna do? Let's show them what the geyser looks like on the inside. for you. Ah, great. I missed the geyser. What? After all that driving? You kids ruined your father's vacation. Not if I've got any hot sauce left. Ooh, hot sauce. Uh-oh. Ah! I hate that hot sauce. That's it? Oh, well, back to the RV. What? But we just got here. And we saw it. Dream fulfilled. Get in the RV. Who knew that your sneezing can make Dad so happy? Yeah! Ah, science. Is there anything better? I wasn't here. Hmm? Whatever. Huh? Uh, Johnny? Shh. I'm tracking. Tracking a dog wrapped in toilet paper? No. The mysterious and elusive mutt mummy. Oh, well, he went... Da -da -da -da. I have to find him using my monster tracking skills, just like Master Monster Tracker Brock Huntsman. A monster tracker's guide by Brock Huntsman. Johnny, there's no such thing as a monster tracker because there's no such thing as monsters! <laughs> what was that? That would be a monster. And now, we track it. <laughs> It came from in here. I've got you, monster! <laughs> ah! My hair! I'm losing my hair! Look at this brush! It's full of my precious hair! I can't go bald! Only big muscly guys and spaceship captains can pull out the bald look! <laughs> Girls! Daddy needs hair science! Ah! Hmm, no tracker boy in here. Something yummy for mummy. <laughs> Got you with the old monster cage decoy trap. Just like Brock Huntsman would have done. Yeah, it was worth it. Hey, Johnny, drink this. Okay. Probably should have asked what that was before I chugged it. Well, it was a hair growth mixture for Dad. He's freaking out about going bald. But it doesn't matter because obviously it didn't work. Your hair should be growing like crazy. Oh, that's not sitting right. Huh? Oh. Excuse me. Hey, there you are.
you go. His hair grew. Ew, no! It's supposed to just grow hair on his head, not turn you into a gassy werewolf. Awesome! All right, one problem at a time. We need to solve Dad's hair problem before he pulls what's left of it out. Then we'll fix Johnny's gas wolf thing. Right. In the meantime, Johnny, you should stay inside. It's probably not a good idea to go out into the world as a werewolf. You got it, sisters. Hmm. You're not gonna listen, and you're gonna go out into the world as a werewolf, aren't you? You know it, sisters! Look out, dudes! <laughs> ah, I can't slow down! I got this. Huh. I'll just hop and I'll pop. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, thanks, Jenny Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, young gas wolf. <laughs> and the winner of this non holiday affiliated costume contest is. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Hey! Brock Huntsman's here at the mall. I can get him to sign my book! Do you see why that might be a bad idea? Hmm, let's see. Johnny meets hero, Johnny gets autographed, Johnny not seeing any bad ideas here. Or Johnny lets one rip, Johnny turns into werewolf, Monster Man puts Johnny in a cage and charges people a nickel to poke Johnny with a stick. Relax. I just won't turn into a werewolf in front of him. Besides, even if I do, I'll just burp and turn it off. It's a little something I call self-control. How come I've never witnessed this so-called self-control? And that is why I always wear a turtleneck whenever I track vampires. <laughs> now then, who has a book for me to sign? Oh, me, 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 me. Right here. Me, me, here, me. Now then, what, what? Whom shall I make this one out to, hmm? Johnny Test. Very good, then. <clears throat> J O H N. Another N. Come on, come on. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat the last name for me? Test. <laughs> Johnny Test. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. G. idea. <laughs> By Jove! You're a, a, a werewolf! No, I'm not. I have a rare hair disorder. Hey, that's my line. Well, thanks for the autograph. I'll just head on down the road now. Or I could capture you and I travel the world showing everybody that I am the greatest monster tracker ever! Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, hey, look over there! It's twin zombie clowns! What? Where? Hmm. Well then, it seems that the hunt is on. Okay, he's a monster tracker, which means he won't be able to track you if you're not a monster. So burp and turn back into a boy. Nah, uh, I got nothing. The one time we actually need you to be gross and you can't do it! Can we just run now? Yeah, good idea. Ah! Aha! really hurry up on this hair formula. Yeah, Dad's starting to lose it. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> so very pretty. <laughs> He's close. Very close. <sighs> Excuse me, Grannies. Have you seen a gassy werewolf and his hairy, ugly friend? Ugly? Who are you calling a... <laughs> well... Aha! How rude! <laughs> oh, oh. What are we gonna do, J? 
Johnny. That guy's the world's greatest tracker. No matter what, he's gonna find you. You're right. So, if we're gonna outsmart a tracker, we've gotta beat him at his own game. You mean like dodgeball, cards, hopscotch? No, the game of Johnny's got the tracker's book and he's gonna use it. He's clues. Aha. A hair. A werewolf hair. And there are more of them. Aha! A grocery list with a reminder to buy more werewolf shampoo. <laughs> Come now, wolf boy. You're making this much too easy. What, what? Tisk, tisk, tisk. You have to do a lot better than this if you're to outwit the greatest monster tracker in the world. <laughs> Aha! I've got you! This, this is one of my traps! Yep, Chapter 4, The Monster Cage Decoy Trap. Oh, well, at least my trap is a success. It sure is! Unlike me. Say what? I'm sorry I tried to catch you and put you in a cage. It's just... It's just... I never caught a monster before! What? You wrote a whole book about tracking monsters and you've never caught a single one? No! I made it all up! I've never even seen a monster! I'm a big fakey! These muscles aren't real! Ow. My mustache isn't real either! <gasps> Didn't see that coming. I thought if I could actually catch a monster for real, I wouldn't feel like such a fraud! <sighs> well, maybe I can help you. Ladies and gentle sirs, I have traveled the world far and wide to bring you Gaseous Lycanthropus, the Gassy Werewolf. <laughs> Thank you. Mustache. Oh, right -o. All right, drink this and say bye bye to Gas Wolf. Wait, what if I didn't drink that and kept my gassy wolfiness? Uh, nope. <laughs> And so goes the majestic Gas Wolf. And this one's for Dad. Better not come any closer, kids. You might catch bald. Don't worry, Dad. We finally got the hair formula right. No! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh. Well, how do I work? Great! But we're gonna need more shampoo. <laughs> When I bought this ye olde hat for the Founders Day Parade, I got these ye olde sour candies for free! So sour, they burn. Sounds appetizing. You know, Johnny, I'm not sure you going to the parade's a good idea. Why not? Behold! Exhibit A, B, and C. What's your point? In each case, you ruin the parade. Relax, there's nothing to worry about this year. All I'm bringing is this hat and some sour candy. How could anything bad happen? Johnny! Well, that sounds bad. Something looks different. Did you guys get new lab coats or something? No. Someone stole all our stuff! And this concerns me why? Because you did it! What? No, I didn't. Well, if you didn't steal our construction drones and everything else we own, who did? Johnny! Why is everyone yelling like Dad? Because, Jonathan, you stole our stuff! Where's my mega-grabbing gloves and the bling blimp? You totally ruined my gas-filled surprise for Susan! And I need my super suit back, Johnny. Without it, how will I destroy you? And where's my freeze ray and snow cone machine? Why does everyone think I took their stuff? Well, you do have a history of borrowing other people's things. Oh, come on. Name one thing I've taken. My spaceship? Wasn't me. My freeze bombs? Wasn't me. My platinum-plated bubblegum softener? That helps you blow super big bubbles. Okay, that last one might have been me. Okay, Johnny. If you didn't take all our stuff, then who did? 
I bet I know, and I'll show you who. Hey, that's our x-ray gun! Uh, yeah, I might have borrowed it yesterday to see what was in the fridge. You're good. You're clean. Hmm. You ate money? Haven't you heard of a bank? What? I thought they were chocolate. Okay, if no one here is the thief, then who is? <laughs> Johnny Test, I will destroy you! I'm never gonna get to this parade. Okay, what's the deal with... I'm Super Mega Villain Man! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not Super or Mega. You're actually kind of small. Yes, but I knew you'd all come here to blame Johnny and walk right into my trap. <laughs> Johnny Test, I'll capture you when you come to rescue your sisters, like you always do. <laughs> wow, he knows me really well. Get me out of here, Johnny! I'm freezing! No time, dog! He's getting away! Let's roll! You got a license to drive an ice cube? Uh, hello, not an ice cube, an ice dog. Oh, that's different. You don't need a license to drive an ice dog. Have a good day now. Hang on, Doogie! Yeah! <laughs> oh, no. I think we lost them. <laughs> we didn't lose them, we passed them. It's a blimp, not a rocket. Right. Okay, we have to defeat the new villain in town and save my sisters and get to that parade! Aha! <laughs> you really think you can lasso a blimp? I'm wearing a cowboy hat, aren't I? Oops! You missed Johnny Test! <laughs> Nice rope and tex. Now what? <sighs> we are going to crush that new villain. Two, three, go! Have a safe trip. <laughs> oh no. How's chewing gum gonna save your sister? Like this! <laughs> Don't you hate it when gum gets stuck to the bottom of your blimp? I'll save you, Johnny! <laughs> See? We're totally safe. <laughs> We're never gonna get saved. Man, this new villain is good. What's his name again? Uh, supper mozzarella veggie ham? Uh. What? No, I think it was... Silly math violin-y fan. It's Super Mega Villain Man! Ah, no, no, you were right, Dookie. It was Veggie Ham. Pretty clever, Johnny. Getting locked up so you could save us from the inside. Uh, yeah, sure. All part of my plan. He has no plan. But he has a construction drones. Make sure they don't escape. And whatever you do, don't let them anywhere near that vault filled with their stuff. I don't want any of them ruining my plans for the parade. <laughs> That's why he locked us up, so we could ruin the parade. We'll never get out of here. You need a diamond drill to cut through these walls. We have to stop that evil guy before he does evil stuff to Pork Belly and the parade. Oh, I don't know. It's not so bad being locked away together. I think it's kind of romantic. Susan Tess, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. Say yes, and any one of my diamond-studded teeth can be yours forever. Ew, no! Wait, did you say diamonds could cut through these walls? Uh, yeah. Okay, Susan will marry you. <gasps> oh, glorious day! What? I didn't say anything of that! But only if you get her out of here. Oh, I'll get us out! Even if I have to chew our way out! Look, she was right. Diamonds can cut through stone. You didn't believe her? I just thought it'd be fun to see him try and chew through a wall. But it worked! I did it! 
Susan test will be mine! Uh-oh. Oh, well, maybe next time. As if! Well, that didn't work. Oh, contraire. Mm. Hey, drones! Can you fix the wall for me? It's kind of drafty. Sure thing, Johnny. Once a construction drone, always a construction drone. Great! Now all we have to do is get through that vault to get our stuff. I got this one. So sour, they burn. <laughs> now to save Pork Belly and the parade. My toasters. Our spring shoes? My snow cone machine. <laughs> Super sticky string? How are we supposed to beat him with this lame stuff? Well, if there's one person who can turn something harmless into mass destruction, it's Johnny. That's true, and I have the newspaper clippings to prove it. Let's do this. Weird. I thought Super Mega Pudding Can was gonna unleash his diabolical plot to destroy the parade and begin his world domination. I know. This is just boring. I don't know how you got out, but I'm not going to let you ruin this day. Yeah? Tell them that. Now who's walking into someone's trap? Toasters, fire! Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Snow cone, attack! <laughs> For your hero? You know! Surrender now! Your lame weapons are no match for my super mega ones! Oh, yeah? You feeling sticky? Black <laughs> so, who is this evil mastermind? The why? I wanted to stop all of you from ruining another pork belly celebration. I thought without your weapons and inventions, you'd be powerless, but would you still ruin the parade? Uh, you sure about that? Oh, best parade ever! Well, I guess if you can't stop them, you might as well join them. Going to the parade was a bad idea. We saved the day. Who knew Pork Belly would find a super mega battle so entertaining? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, really? Another. This happens every pinata day. Boy, am I glad I bought this Tyson 2000 vacuum. Pinata day is totally my favorite made-up holiday. Mm. Totally. Oh, there you are, Johnny. Yeah. <sighs> You know how I always know where to find you? With the GPS tracking chip the girls implanted in me? No, Johnny. By following the trail of candy wrappers and junk you leave everywhere you go. I sucked up your wrappers from every nook and cranny of this house. Sorry, my pockets ran out of room. Uh-oh. Oops. Clean this up and no more candy! Eh. You know, it's a good thing the Super Action Federation is a team. Because it'd be crazy if they fought each other. Like, totally crazy. But if they did fight it out, Methane Man would totally win. What? Wrong? It'd be the brown flashlight. <laughs> brown flashlight? The guy runs on batteries. Methane Man would drain him silly. Watch! No, it's more like this. The candy! It's ruined! Let's promise never to fight again. That's probably a good idea. Uh, we'll never settle this anyway, since the characters don't really exist. <laughs> but they could. Johnny. To the lab! Oh, you really are the best cleaning system on the planet. And with the plastic wrapper feature, you clean... And 
protect. We're clean as a whistle and staying this way. Ugh. Though it uh, is hard to breathe. Dougie and I need methane man and brown flashlight. Uh, fight! Uh, who's the greatest? Dog. He wants to know who would win a battle between methane man and the brown flashlight. Hmm, interesting. This might be an opportunity to use our latest invention, the superpower chamber. By programming specific character attributes into our bio-organic infuser, we can transfer set attributes into a test subject. That's exactly what I told Dookie. But what does that mean? Step in the machine normal, come out a superhero. But it won't prove anything because everyone knows Gadget Girl is the greatest hero in the Super Action Federation. Please. Miss Blobulous is the best. Oh, you're both so wrong. I mean, don't even get me started. Hey, we could keep arguing, or we could just hop in our new super power chamber, get our character's powers, and see who's really the greatest. You're on. <laughs> Are you spying on me again? Oh, I prefer to think of it as studying, like an ornithologist does a regal bird. Hmm. Oh, fine, I was spying. I'm glad I was, because everyone knows that the greatest hero isn't even a hero. It's a villain, dark gelatin. Sorry, everyone, but you're all wrong. Everyone knows the best hero is Sergeant Spandex. Hey! I was gonna say Sergeant Spandex. But we can't both be Sergeant Spandex. What? You're afraid you can't handle my Sergeant Spandex mustache smack? You can both be Sergeant Spandex because it doesn't matter. Nothing, man, will win. <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Worth the mess. <laughs> Stop my chair! Can't stop the mustache! Hey! Stop leaving goo on my carpet! Mary! Leave the mailman alone! Hey! No firing eye lasers in the house! Why is no one listening to me? Because we are super, and superheroes don't listen to mortals. Unless you still have the power to ground us. <laughs> superheroes can't be grounded. Everyone knows that. <laughs> really? Well, I'll show you, super, to the lab! Aha! With my powers of cleaning, scouring, and scolding, I'll put a stop to this superhero nonsense. <laughs> Of the gelatin! So this is what it feels like to be the fruit in a dessert. Stop! In the name of Dirt Busting Dad! <laughs> Dirt Busting Dad, don't you even read your own comic book? Nah, pretty much just look at the pictures. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Can't stop the mustache! No, but I can suck it up! <laughs> My methane powers will blow you away, Dirt Busting Dad! You're no match for my turbo scrubbers. <laughs> Struggle all you want, but that's a super filter bag. Nothing gets through that. Hey, why do you get to stay super? Because I've got to clean up your super mess super fast. This mess is no match for my super sanitizing powers! Everything's super squeaky clean. My job here is done! Stop! And after I clean up that wrapper... ...and the rest of the town! <laughs> We don't know who won. Sure we do. We've been beaten. And 
vacuumed! Your busting dad's obviously the greatest Super Action Federation character. Johnny, you're just gonna have to accept that you lost to dad. Never! Hank Anchorman here. Cleaning chaos reigns in Pork Belly. As pinata festivities fail when superheroes suck up all the fun! <laughs> Who is this rogue agent of clean, and why is he scrubbing our fair city? Johnny, Dad's out of control. We've got to stop him. Gee, I'd like to, but I'm busy accepting that I lost to Dad. Spare us the drama, Johnny. We have to band together and stop him. Yeah. Fine, I'll help. But after, you all have to admit Methane Man is the best. Fire the chamber up again. Your dentist will thank me for saving you from a life of tooth decay and sticky fingers. Yeah. Put down the vacuum, dirt busting dad. Sorry, Johnny. As long as there's dirt to be had, I can't stop being dirt busting dad. Or priming for some reason. Well, then we'll see how powerful you are without your vacuum. I don't need that vacuum to defeat all of you. I'm dirt busting dad. Time to lighten up, dark gelatin. Ah, hey! <laughs> Let's steam some spandex. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Super sanitizing spray makes Gadget Girl go away. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the breath mess. Dad, stop! Your cleaning is out of control. I'm sorry, Johnny. It's too messy. I just can't stop cleaning! That is one super bad dad. His cleaning's gone beyond a fad. Your dad's been driven completely mad! At least this cleaning is making dad glad. I miss the pants I once had. Stop rhyming! It's making me sad. If dad wants something to clean, I'll give him something all right. I've never seen the city so clean. They should give me an award. Oh. Not yet, Mr. Rapper! Huh, can't believe someone would just leave this hanging around. Huh? Good thing Pork Belly has me to clean things up. Oh, my father! I hope you know what you're doing. Wait for it. Unbelievable. Johnny, did you really think it was okay to leave your junk all over town? And don't give me that exploding pockets excuse again. You're right. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll just go kick back inside the chamber and turn back to normal. <laughs> Dust traps and shrink wraps, is that my chair? Wait, you're filthy! Don't you sit in my... Ha-ha! I tricked you! Methane Man is the best! <laughs> On the bright side, the house and town are really, really clean, so there's really no reason to ground anybody, right? <sighs> so relaxing. Hey, don't miss anything. Well, if nothing else, today's adventure showed us why people don't really have superpowers. Yeah! Power makes people go crazy. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I totally handled the power. <laughs> Please, I'm the only one who can handle it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> totally run him up. To the lab! <laughs> well, a dirt busting dad's work is never done. <laughs> 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 there! Tiny foods on the top, big ones on the bottom. Nothing spells peace of mind like an organized fridge. <laughs> Can't talk, Dad. Duke and I are watching Steam a Cool Weekend Cool with our neat snacks. Ah! Don't get by! Ah! <laughs> Johnny, number one, no duffel bag snack runs. Number two, I need you to get Dookie into the car. It's time for his yearly checkup. Yeah, bad idea. Every time we try to take Dookie to the vet, he gets all scared and goes crazy. Remember last time? Hmm. I've been thinking about this car right all day. The window down, head out, wind blowing all up my snout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get Dookie to the vet. <laughs> Scared or not, it's Doggy Doctor Day and it's for his own good, so go get your dog. Why do I have to do it? Because you begged and pleaded for me to get you a dog and he's your responsibility. I didn't beg and plead. I whined and sulked. Big difference. Your dog needs his checkup and you love him. Now go! Fine. I'll do it for love. <laughs> I see a Johnny, but I don't see a snack duffel. You know, it's...
it's the craziest thing. I was thinking about how much you love snack duffels. Go on. And it reminded me how much more you love car rides. Car ride? Are we going in a car ride? Don't say car ride if we're not going in a car ride. My heart can't take a car ride! Yeah. We are going on a car ride. <laughs> 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 What's behind your back? Nothing. Where are we going in the car? Uh, to the squeaky toy hot dog roller coaster store? Uh, that doesn't sound like a real thing. What's behind your back? A leash! Wait a minute. Dad in car, boy hiding leash. The smell of deceit lingering in the air. You're trying to take me to the vet! It's just a checkup. Don't be a scaredy cat. Watch it, mister. If I'm a scaredy dog. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go run in fear. He knows. He knows. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Dookie, nobody likes going to the doctor, but it's something we all have to do. Like homework or holding in gas at the dinner table. Just trust me. It's for your own good. See, that's where you're wrong. That's where I'm right. You're wrong. No, I'm right. Wrong. Right. <laughs> right. Wrong. <gasps> Did I mention I'm doing this out of love? Love me all you want, but I hate the vet. There are needles, the coffee's cold, and thermometers are supposed to go under the tongue! Did I mention the snack duffel will be coming with us? You can have it, if you get in the car. Oh, so... snacky. So... duffly. <laughs> gotcha! Do you really want to do that? Think I just did. <laughs> Hi, this is Mr. Test. We might be just a little late for Dookie's checkup. It's just a bat! It's just a bat! It's just a bat! This is not a bat! <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Gotcha! <laughs> He just punched me! <sighs> Don't worry, Dad. Huh. I've got him right where I want him. Seriously, what dog does that? <laughs> Snack Duffel. Snack Duffel, huh? Uh-huh. Fast sneakers, huh? Uh-huh. Are gonna keep chasing me, huh? Oh, big time. You gonna keep running? Uh-huh. You ready? Oh. Okay, I'm ready. Get back here, dog! I'm just gonna go wait in the car. Okay, okay, time out. Time out. <laughs> You okay? I need your keys. What? He locked the front door. How does a dog lock it? He's an impressive dog, okay? Ready, aim, toast him! <laughs> I told you we should have had Johnny test them. I'm not sure fusion pulse laser watches are good for toasting marshmallows. <laughs> hey, girls, I need you to look at my paws. They look fine to me. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Let me guess, taking Dookie to the vet? Yep. Say no more. Here, test this on the door. Uh -oh. Think, Dookie, think. <laughs> You're going to the vet. Think harder, Dookie, think harder! There's gotta be something in here. Eh, too army. Too ballerina -y. Why do 
they even have this? How many of these do they have? Ready or not, here I come. All right, dog, you're going to the vet. Nothing to be scared of, it's for your own good. Plus, I want to keep these watch things. Yeah, I don't think so. Wow, he really doesn't like the vet. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's the tests again. <laughs> Can we push Dookie's appointment back another hour? He just flew away on a jetpack. <gasps> He's an impressive dog, okay? <clears throat> Come on, there's gotta be another jetpack or something I can use to chase him. Really? Whatever. Sorry, Johnny. Dookie took our last jetpack. Ooh, how about this? Can it fly? That's the handy pack. And no, it can't fly. It just has lots of arms and looks really cool. How many of these watches do you have? Hmm. Lots. Now we're talking. When you catch up to Dookie, you'll be able to use the homing laser setting on the energy watches to target the jetpack. That way, you'll only hit the jetpack and not Dookie, okay? Hey, okay. In Vet's office, here we come. Um, don't forget it. Okay, now all I gotta do to live my days vet free is fly to Mexico and get adopted by a nice new family. Preferably steak ranchers. <laughs> Ooh, medium well. <laughs> Surrender now, dog, and face the vets! Really? You're gonna laser me to the vet? It's for your own good! This is how you convince me to not be scared? Did you just hold still so I can laser you? You can't make me go to the vet! I'm hungry. You hungry? Starving. I hardly touched my snack duffel. Snack truce? <laughs> ah, good snacks. But snack time over! Don't let her take me alive! You might have heartworms. I might not! You might have fleas. I haven't stretched in weeks. That's a lie and you know it. Let's try a little homing laser action. Gotcha! Uh -oh. ah. Some days I hate that dog. I am no longer falling. Woo. Thanks, dog. Well, you didn't think I'd let you fall, did ya? Okay, so you're brave enough to face a rocket laser chase a thousand feet in the air, but you're afraid of an old man with flea medicine? Huh, I guess I am pretty brave. Brave enough to go to the vet? Whoa, I did not say that. But I want my dog to be healthy and be with me for a long time. And look at my eyes. Come on, for love. Hmm. <sighs> Fine, but only for love. <laughs> wow, Dookie's being very brave. Yeah, well, he is a very impressive dog. Okay, Dookie, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Seriously, what dog does that? Test 7246, our interspecies gene splicer. Test subject, Johnny and Rosie the kangaroo. Ready, go! Uh, not so good to be Johnny. Okay, Johnny, we call this our piñata chocolata. Drink it down. <laughs> really not so good to be Johnny. Commence test of our Kung Fu Johnny clones. <laughs> Can't take much more of being Johnny. Today is a milestone, Johnny. Your 10,000th test. Afterward, we'll celebrate. So, just checking, what did you genetically modify me with? The DNA from an armadillo for armor, 
big horn sheep for smashability, and enough perspiration and drool to mimic a Category 5 hurricane. And why are we doing this? We're trying to find the limits to our indestructible hurricane house, and we hope whatever you turn into will do just that. Feel anything yet? Uh, just a slight tingling in my horns. Horns! <laughs> Say, don't you girls think it's time you stop subjecting your little brother to potentially deadly scientific experiments? Hmm. No. <laughs> I'd say we're only a few crash tests away from rating this house 100% hurricane proof. Hear that, Johnny? Back to the lab! Where we'll be outfitting you with Tyrannosaurus DNA and Razorscopic Vision. Uh, uh, no. Awesome! So let's get started and... Wait a minute! Did you say no? I'm tired of being stretched, slammed, blown up, genetically modified, and forced to kung fu fight six of my clones! Hey! You asked for the kung fu clones! Okay, but I'm tired of all that other stuff. I quit! Yeah, we knew this day would come. In fact, we already have your replacement. Yeah, well, don't bother begging me to stay because I would... <gasps> say what? Meet Crash Test Donnie. He's got precision accelerometers, G-force indicators, and that new car smell. Ah. Yeah, that smell never lasts. Thank you for creating me. You're the best. Aww. <laughs> yeah, good luck, genius sisters. But it's impossible to replace moi. You might be surprised. You will be surprised. Yeah, probably not. Anyway, I'll be living the dream of endless test-free skateboard sessions. Huh? <laughs> Rocket board test 12, successful. Rocket board test? What's with that? Ha, huh. nothing better than my other new dream of test-free junk food feasts. Huh? There's nothing but celery in here. Last Dad's Healthy Kid Initiative. Beep, bop, bloop, bop, bop. A hamburger ray gun? Sweet. You think I can have one of those? Curse. Uh, Nothing better than my new dream of endless test free video games. What was that? Huh? Wow. A video tool 3000? Oh, come on. He's living video games. Everything Donnie gets to test is the awesomest stuff ever! No idea what you're talking about. Huh? Welcome back, Crash Test Donnie! How did the self-propelled Santa sled work, Donnie? Perfectly. Santa gave me a sled full of toys to bring home. Donnie gets to hang out with Santa? That is so not fair! I want my old job back with all the new awesome stuff. I deserve it. I did all the really hard, back-breaking, mind-bending DNA messing tests. Yes, but you also quit. And Donnie never quits. Plus, he's totally indestructible. Fine. I don't need you guys anyway. I already have two replacement sisters, and they're working out great. Keep it down in there, girls! Please take me back! I beg you. All this stuff Donnie gets to do is so awesome! No dice, Johnny. Donnie? Please escort our quitting brother outside. Out you go, quitter. Either your sisters are testing a new human bowling ball, or you've got Donnie trouble. It's not fair. That dummy robot gets to test all the awesome stuff. Remember all the times you ended up miserable because of the tests? Doesn't the bad outweigh the good? Then if I get all the bad and he gets all the good... Well, now you're stuck with him. <sighs> Susan and Mary said as long as Donnie's around, he's got the job. So, all I gotta do is get Donnie out of here and get my job back. <laughs> gotcha! Hello, Jonathan. Hey, Bling Bling. Wanna buy a robot? <laughs> I can buy a better robot than this in my sleep. Yeah, but this robot was built by Susan. It even smells like her. I detect nothing but new car. And that smell never lasts. Ta-ta! <laughs> 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 
Blah, blah. Uh, time for plan B. Postage to Antarctica will cost you $8,000. What? Uh, with this dumb robot? Robot? <laughs> oh, no. No, we don't ship robots. Not since the nightmarish robot uprising of 09. Let's recycle this hunk of metal. No way, kid. We don't recycle robots. Not since the nightmarish robot uprising of 06. Okay, Donnie. While we finish reinforcing the hurricane house, why don't you test our awesome supersonic roller coaster? Oh, yeah. It's good to be Donnie. Well, I guess Crash Test Donnie's here to stay. Who knew it'd be impossible to ditch a robot? Well, robots are machines, and they can do nearly anything a human can do. <gasps> That's it? They're not human, so they can't alter their DNA. To the lab! <laughs> Dookie, hand me those test tubes. I gotta undergo as many tests as I can all at once. Oh, so you quit testing, and now you're gonna do every test in order to get tested on again. You got it, dog. Am I the only one who finds that ironic? If I knew what that meant, I'd probably say yes. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, this can't be good. That test was fun. So, Donnie, you think you can take my place? Affirmative. I heard you're totally indestructible. Affirmative. Well, I'm here to test just how indestructible you are. Bring it on. Donnie can't beat an indestructible dummy. Mm. Indestructible? Of all people, you two should know there's nothing Johnny Test can't destroy. Popcorn? <laughs> I'm the only tester in this house. Then maybe you'd like to test some heavy machinery. Oh no! Powers! Why not? <laughs> you might as well quit, cause Donnie's about to bring it! I can't watch! Uh, I guess I am just a quitter after all. Psych! <laughs> Johnny never quits! Johnny. I quit. You can't quit. You're indestructible. Uh, uh, uh. I'm indestructible, not crazy. I'm out of here. Bop, bop. So, do I get my old job back? Of course. <laughs> to be honest, we missed you. And you're certain Johnny say quoi. Johnny say what? Ready for your next test, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Thousand thanks, kind sir. <laughs> I shall remember your heroics forever. <laughs> and I know just how. <laughs> and that is what makes Pork Belly great. Our town was named after some old dude's tattoo. Oh, that was awful, Johnny! You can't just make up history. It's important to know the real thing. Stuff like what the pilgrims used to hunt. Who stopped the clowny rebellion of 1967? And how Pork Belly really got its name. Wait, so you're saying it wasn't from a tummy tattoo? Did you even read your history book? I read the cover. Twice. 
You have one night to read this whole book and find out what really makes Pork Belly great, or else. Or else what? Or else I'm shipping you off. Ah, <laughs> sweet. I could really use a vacation. To the full time reading ranch. Ah, give me that book. <laughs> I smell something. Feet. And uh, funk. Yeah, that'd be my feet. And failure. Johnny, you haven't started your homework, have you? Oh, reading is so boring. Hmm. I'll get to it right after this game. And this sandwich. And this staring contest. <laughs> Man, this guy's good. And this good night's sleep. <sighs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Ahem! Don't you think you're forgetting something? My homework! Why don't you say something? Hmm. I'll never be able to get this report done. Unless... Your sisters just happen to be working on the exact right invention at the exact right time. Spingo! To the lab! Behold the easy peasy reedsy! It scans text with advanced optical character recognition and then applies proprietary algorithms to all... Uh, that makey makey no sensey sensey to Johnny. You scan a book on there and you can watch it on here. See Captain Ahab chase Moby Dick. Witness Thomas Edison's experiments firsthand. Totally breeze through this lame history book without even opening it. Sorry, Johnny. The easy peasy readsy isn't finished and it's too buggy to use. Oh, well, looks like you're actually going to have to read actual words. Wow, that's buggier than we even thought. And once again, we're accidentally zapped into a world filled with perilous doom. Relax, dog. Look, we're in the history book, and that big one means chapter one. Oh, this is gonna be good. I don't know, Johnny. Your sister said this invention wasn't finished, and we do have a poor track record of decision-making. We should go back. Yeah. Let's go watch and not read some history junk. Well, I always wanted to be in a history book. Just not, you know, inside a history book. Oh, and look, we're dressed for our own funeral. No, we're in oldie timey pilgrim times. Yeah. Teacher Man said something about the way pilgrims hunted, so. Huh? Didn't see that coming. It is because it's of my camouflage, brethren. Sweet. Hey, pilgrim dude, my name's Johnny. And I be Baron von Bastan. Don't mind me, I'm just hanging around, unable to move, with a super itchy butt. <laughs> Did that beast just speaketh? Uh, he's no beast. He has a rareth harith disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to have shot your non-beastith, but this camouflage allows me and my people to hunt well, eat well, and settle this land. Oh, dude, I can totally use that. Camouflage Pilgrim Pork Belly. But it doesn't seem it's to help me hide from those maidens I've never met with before. Ah, fun face, Tan! Ah! Visual aid! Oh, I am so getting an A now. Let's keep going. Yep. I've located them. They've just started Chapter 2, and they're moving fast, but surprisingly not dying yet. We've got to find Johnny a way out before the inevitable danger begins. You ever notice we're way better at helping Johnny get into trouble than getting him out? Maybe that should be our next invention, the Getter Outer. Hmm, that one sounds improbable, even for us. Okay, that's the sixth gate we've been through, and I'm still the only one that thinks they mean perilous doom. <laughs> Y'all gotta hide me! They're coming! <laughs> Let me guess, you're the biggest wimp in the West. And they call me the Cowardly Kid, and you gotta get them their cows away from me. Oh, I get it. He's scared of cows. Cows, cowardly, very clever. <laughs> I'll save you if you stop squeezing me. Moving this way, straight ahead. I'm one sixteenth hurting dog, you know. <laughs> hey, no left turn. Keep it moving. Hey, coward. 
desperately. You really should find another line of work. Oh, I hear you, pardoner. Yeah, but all that's out here are evil scare cows or cute snuggable pigs. That's it. From now on, Cowardly can raise pigs instead of cows. Bye. God, I will! And from now on, you can call me... Jiggly Piggly Boy? <laughs> Ow! Pork Belly! Wow, I never would have guessed the town's name came from something so gross. Ahem! That's some one so gross. This lasso is way fun. Got one! There was actually a clowny rebellion of 1967. <laughs> Who knew Pork Belly history stuff would be this awesome? I wish it would never end. It's weird. Johnny's history book adventure doesn't seem to be dangerous at all. It actually looks fun and educational. <laughs> I spoke too soon, didn't I? Oh no, the end of the book is in sight. If we don't find a way to get them out, the end of the book means the end of Johnny and Dookie. I've got an idea. Uh, what the heck is that? It's a footnote for my sisters. Oh, I get it. Foot delivering a note. Footnote. Very clever. It says, whatever we do, don't go to the end of the book. Why? What's at the end of the book? How would I know? I never read books that far. What if the end is like the end and we all die? Don't worry, dog. We don't have to go to the end. We can just go back a chapter by pushing through. <laughs> <laughs> I told you those gates were bad! There! I just deaggregated the syntax of the auto-reader function. Now the book's progress should slow down enough for Johnny to... Ah! Or maybe you just kind of sort of did the exact opposite. Um, why is the whole world moving past us? Fast? Uh-oh. Maybe if we go backwards, we can stay still. <laughs> Tiny! Bicycle! What's up for? Joyce! <laughs> <laughs> the end is coming! We're doomed! Now you see, this is exactly why I don't read. <laughs> this is it! So long, Johnny! It's not over, dog! <laughs> we're alive! <laughs> but now dangling in a black abyss with nowhere to go. Guess we're still history! Wait! That's it! It's not the end if we write our own history! This one's gonna be our chapter! <laughs> oh, I think I like this chapter, Johnny. There's a lot less death, darkness, and dangling. And a lot more steak, doggo mine. <laughs> Doggy love Johnny history. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's back! But how? He's a genius. He's making up another chapter of his own history. And if he made up his own history, maybe we can make up his rescue. And I know just what to make. Hey! Get aboard the Getter Outer Express. Love, Susan, and Mary. Well then, let's go. Get her out of here! So, it's not just one thing that makes Pork Belly great, it's everything. Camo tan pilgrims, pig snugglers, clown rebellions, even improbable escapes. Oh, very good, Johnny. Until the last part, none of that crazy rocket stuff happened! You're wrong, Mr. Teacher Man. This is Pork Belly, where we make a own history. Behold, the hardest math problem in the world. If any of you can solve it, you can have recess for the rest of the day. Ha-ha! Chuck. Okay, let's see. What part of divisible number is equal to? Let's put this there and minus this in. Hmm, 42. The answer's 42. What? Keep it congruent, Mr. Teacher Man. Lovely bouquet, but it could use two sprigs of Cornish dill to offset the tartness and cleanse the palate. Hey, you're right! Johnny, lately you seem to know an awful lot about everything. 
What's so weird about knowing that King Charles made Blasco Nunez Vela the first viceroy of Peru in 1544? Uh-huh. Uh, what's a viceroy? I don't know. Wait! I do know! Ah! Ah! Dookie! What's happening to me? Uh, I'll give you two guesses. Just because you think someone performed highly experimental cutting-edge augmentation on your brain, you instantly blame us? Uh, yeah. Fine. So remember this morning when we did that experiment to make your cereal taste better? Hmm? We kind of sort of used you to test an experiment we're conducting for the general. A minor cranial brain augmentation. You gave me brain surgery? Excuse me, minor brain surgery. And we're sorry for lying to you about the whole cereal thing. But it did taste better. The general wanted to see if we could connect someone's brain to the internet. So last night, we downloaded a tetraholographic representation of the entire internet through a process we call atomization. I'm sorry, once again, in English! We shrunk a laptop with the internet on it and engineered it onto a microchip. And ta-da! We invented the internal internet chip. Now that it's attached to you, your brain can directly access the sum total of all human knowledge. Hmm, you don't say. So, now that we know it works, we need to give it to the general. <sighs> we should have told him it was about cereal. Time to give this thing a real test drive. The internet can be dangerous. It's filled with sketchy sites, spam, spyware, and viruses. Be careful, Johnny. Oh, I'm all about careful. That belt would look so good on me. Then you're gonna get through us, Tess. All of us. And we know karate. Mm hmm. Hmm, well, I know karate, ah! Muay Thai, oh! Kung Fu, Fight! and Kabawera. Ah! <laughs> Johnny loved the internal internet chip. Monsieur, we don't serve ducks. Je sais. Mais je veux deux crème glacée pour moi et mon chef. Merci beaucoup. Oh, you speak French. Two ice creams coming up, monsieur. Translator app. <laughs> Hockey stick, basketball, video games, water skis, yo-yo, generic MP3 player, headphones. You want anything, dog? Yeah. I want to know how you're going to pay for all this online shopping. Listen and learn. Free MP3s! Music, coming out of your mouth. Honestly, Johnny, how is this going to pay for your online shopping? You're amazing! Take my money, kid! I'll save my money! <laughs> oh, that's how. Internal internet chip, I love you. Uh, don't you mean the general's internal internet chip? And you're not supposed to use it the way you're using it. Johnny, what's wrong? It's nothing. I... You didn't catch a virus, did you? I'm fine. Huh. Ha! What do you call that? Virus detected. Auto restart. Oh, what did I tell you? You got a virus! Johnny? Johnny? I'll save you! <laughs> that kind of tickled. Ugh, this thing is infected. Yeah, we better give it back to the girls. Leaving out the virus part? Wait, you're not gonna tell them? Of course not. I've had enough trouble for one day. Well, I won't be a part of this. Hm. Here you go, Johnny! Chip works perfectly. Yep, perfectly. Right, Dookie? Hmm. All righty. I'll just give a little test run and see how it works. <laughs> Operation Super Secret Internet Navigation is underway. Hey, cool. What's that about? Super soldiers, spy hackers, cyborg commandos? Sorry, Johnny. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> No, Professor Tickle, will you ever catch that red dot? Your tax dollars at work. 
Well, looks like everything worked out. And best of all, no one got in trouble. Right, Dookie? <laughs> Virus detected. Auto restart. Down. He's gonna restart and everything will be fine. See? He's just gonna press that innocent looking red button and make everything all better. Nuclear missiles armed. Ready to launch in 10 minutes. Or destroy the world. You know, whichever. General! Wake up! This could be bad. The virus is shorting out his brain! And he's I should have mentioned the virus. Now I caused the end of the world. Doki and I are both really sorry. Hey! If this wasn't the end of the world, I'd say I told you so. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I love saying it. I told you so! Great! We're gonna give blue to Adams because of you, Johnny! Yeah, sorry. I really... Wait, Adams? Doesn't this Adam thingy send stuff into the internet chip? Yes, but I don't see how. Oh, no. Send me into the chip. Who knows the internet better than me? I can stop the virus. No problemo. It's never been tried before. We don't know what will happen. There could be unexpected consequences. What? Worse than blowing up the world? Good point. I'm in the internet. Whoa. -ho. You know, it's way less cyberspacey than I thought it would be. Now what? You've got to find the virus and destroy it with the antivirus. We're uploading it now. Pointy. Pitiful human! Hmm, yeah, not what I thought a computer virus would look like. Behold, the nuclear missiles will destroy your human world! When this progress bar reaches 100%! Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> that pop-up just popped me in the face! <laughs> the one that wanted free MP3s before. <laughs> it's like he knows my every move before I make it. He must be using spyware to spy on Johnny. He needs help. I have a firewall. They can't help you, Johnny. No one can! <laughs> Nuclear destruction in four minutes. <sighs> Too bad I never give up. Even if I have no idea what to do. Email for Johnny Test. Johnny Test email. Oh, I, I think that's for... Uh... Over here! Yeah, I was gonna say. My mistake. And there's a file attached. Sign here. I thought you didn't want to be a part of it. Oh, I couldn't leave my best friend hanging. <laughs> Pop-up blocker. Huh? Huh? Let's do this. Nuclear destruction in two minutes. <gasps> and fast. Got the point. <laughs> uh, mm, sure hope I remember my passcode. Nuclear destruction. I burned it. <laughs> well, everything's back to normal. Good work, girls. What with all the saving of the world thing. But uh, where's Johnny? <laughs> You're not in a spy movie. But, Dad, I gotta beat Kung Fu Spy Guy. For the last time, no video games till you finish your science project. And turn off that music! Oh, that's better. No spy music past seven. And no reggae before eight! 
<laughs> Too bad you put off your science project by making that elaborate series of pulleys. Yeah, stupid good-for-nothing pulleys. I need some Kung Fu Spy Guy. And I need it now! Well, experience tells us that if we stand here long enough, your sisters will come by with some new contraption that'll solve your problem. So, let's just wait. Eh, let's break into the lab instead. Oh, you are so the smart one. <laughs> oh, you are so not the smart one. <laughs> Did you really think you could sneak into our lab using an elaborate series of pulleys and some spy music? Johnny, if you expect to sneak in here, you'd need a device that could convince everyone around you that you're a super spy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean a device like... A new theme-ometer! Behold the theme-ometer! Wow, it makes its own fanfare? No, that's our fanfare-ometer. <laughs> the theme-ometer utilizes harmonic sequencing combined with brainwave alteration to evoke various cinematic atmospheres. Can I get a science to English translation? It's melodic frequencies adjust brain perception to create various filmic styles within reality. Can I get an English to Johnny translation? It makes real life just like a movie. Oh, now I get it. But can you say it again just in case I still don't get it? With the spy setting, you could totally do a better job sneaking around and get whatever it is you're after this week. Yes! <laughs> but we're testing it ourselves. Oh. We're using the musical setting so we can have a romantic dance with Gil next door. Oh, Gil. Oh, bar. The thermometer will adjust his brain receptor so he'll think he's in a romantic musical. <laughs> It'll be full of singing, dancing, and kissing. Yeah. Ah, my least favorite things. This is just embarrassing. My least favorite thing. <gasps> Idea! Okay, hold it. You're my sisters and I care about you, so I've got to tell you, your dancing is terrible. It is? Oh, yeah, it's epic, awful. You better get practicing if you want to impress your leading man. Right, Dookie? Oh, yeah, I always practice before I impress my leading... I'm going to stop talking now. See? You need practice. <laughs> So let me guess, we're gonna play Kung Fu Spy Guy now. No, we're gonna live Kung Fu Spy Guy. Aha! I've been expecting you, Mr. Test. Spare me the contrived dialogue, Dr. Parent. Hand over the controllers! Hmm, you'll have to get past my laser range first. <laughs> Your evil appliance parent, but you won't escape my time bomb. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's watered by my own spices! Honey, why are you petting the meatloaf? Why are you not petting the meatloaf? Maybe you need a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> so, video game time or. Hmm. Fake kung fu or real kung fu? Something tells me you're gonna go with real. That thermometer could be our best. Invention yet. Instant romantic musical. Oh, how I've dreamed of a romantic musical starring Susan and moi. <gasps> With their thermometer, my dream will be sweet, sweet reality. Ah! 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 The thermometer! You must honor the privacy of my sister's blue green son. Read my badly dubbed lips. Yes, Master Ted. If you spare me, I am forever in your debt. Aha! Aha! And now, onward to the next movie. Ready, Dookie? Yes, Master Tess. But can we stop at a barber shop first? That device works! Hmm. I'll swipe it from Johnny and be able to mind control Susan into smooching with me. Oh, this calls for an evil cackle. <laughs> And now, to set the romantic scene. Hey, where's the thermometer? <gasps> Johnny! Mmm, corn dogs. Nature's edible dog. Mmm, <laughs> corn dogs. Nature's edible dog. Hey, that's my corn dog. And my line. <laughs> <laughs> well then, maybe we should settle this the old school way. <laughs> Mind 
control device. I need that romantic musical setting to get my dance with Susan. Wait a minute. My control device? Romantic musical? Wester? What about a sports movie setting? Uh-oh. Give me that theme thingy. Ah! Didn't see this coming. Ah, I don't want it. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Johnny, is this the part where everything goes bad? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my... Hand over that device, partner. I hate saying I told you so. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I love saying it. I told you so! Quick, Johnny, change the theme! Uh-oh. Run, Donald, run! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're toast, Dookie. Each setting is worse than the last. Just like all movie sequels. <laughs> well, Dookie, guess it's time for our last words. Does horrified screaming count? I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> Yep, nothing can get in here. Nice, elaborate series of pulleys. What have you two done? Relax, girls, we've got this under control. I'm just gonna smash this thing to bits and everything will be fine. You can't smash the themometer. It's designed to cease functionality only after the culmination of its trajectory. <laughs> One of the themes must play through to the end or everyone will stay themed forever. Would've been nice to know that a little bit earlier! Oh, Susan, Mary, have you met our friends, the werewolves? Okay, so we need an ending. How do horror movies end? Everybody dies! Romantic musical? Dancing! I've lived a good life. Let's stick with horror. Hey, Johnny. Hey, werewolves. Hey, girls never seen before. Whoa! Look out! <laughs> I don't want to die before beating Kung Fu Spy Guy. Johnny, what's going on? We're grooving to a crazy song. How long is it gonna last? I hope this movie theme moves fast. We need a kiss to break this trance. Susan, won't you take this chance? Kiss kill. Kiss kill? No, I don't think I will. A sooner might choose death. Soon, because I can't take much more of this corny musical. Listen, bling bling, here's my plan. Kiss my sister, be a man. <laughs> Should have gone with the werewolf breath. Oh, my dearest Susan, your lips are so much softer than I ever could have imagined. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna faint a little. <laughs> We do have that amnesia ray. It'll kill the memory, but not the germs. Well, that was easy. And the world's returned to its righteous order, just the way I like it. Aha! Uh -huh. Mr. Test, it is I, Dr. Parent, back for my vengeance. No, Dad, we're done with that. Spy theme's over. I know. But I just love this eye patch. Right. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some Kung Fu Spy Guy to play. Not so fast, Mr. Test. Have you forgotten about your science project? <laughs> Are you ready to finish that science project yet? Never. Yeah, still better than homework. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, do these military super weapons you built meet all of our specifications for speed, armor, and weaponics? Yes, General. As well as all your specs for ridiculousness. Is there a reason we had to build the battle cart from Cartwheelie 7? Squee! Johnny must have cart. Johnny must race. What the heck is a Cartwheelie 7? The only video game better than Cartwheelie 6. But now, we race it for real. Race? Yeah. 
Voila! An exact replica of the Cartwheelie 7 Greatest Racer in the history of the Racing Racers Cup. That's the worst trophy ever. And it will be mine. Drivers, take your car! <laughs> Ready, set, wait! We want to race, too! Hey, what's with weird cards? We're racing super awesome video game cards with super cool buttony stuff. Ooh, count me in. <laughs> I like super awesome video game cards with super cool buttony stuff. I'm in! Thanks to your parents' tax dollars, the military programmers uh, programified a real life Cartwheelie 7 track right through that interdimensional portal. First one out of the portal and across the finish line at Area 51.1 wins. Now we just need someone to wave a green flag to start the race. Uh, anyone have a green flag? Uh, no. Uh, not here. Hey, Gil, do you have a green flag? No, but it's a great opportunity to rip off my green shirt. <laughs> Meh, works for me. Go! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, I must be dreaming. Here, put this on, dream boy. <laughs> Johnny, watch out! It's a dancing disco ball! Don't worry, dog. <laughs> now we're trapped in a disco inferno! <laughs> but you gotta admit, this is fun. You know what else is fun? Winning! <laughs> Do you know what else, sir? What, Albert? You are going to hit a whopper, sir. What's a flopper? Oh, that's a flopper. Now I'm out of the race. Uh, hardly, sir. You just need a powered-up pumpkin to fix the cart like new. Since when are you an expert? Since I hold the online record in Cartwheelie 7, sir. You win! Huzzah. And now I shall find your pumpkin. Well, make it snappy, Albert. The car's got a real flat. Duh. This flopper's taking forever. <laughs> well, the programmer said that there were a few bugs in the system. <laughs> huh? Looks like we found another bug. One with a driver's license. That's Scurvy. He's a nice bug who brings double scoop power-ups. So much for your nice bug. Now we're stuck inside a giant waffle cup. Ooh, I'm going to win. And when I do, Susan will fall in love with me. No, you're not. And no, she won't. Point. Let's get back up. <laughs> you could have just used the brakes, you know. The two best racers are in the lead. High five! Once we win that trophy cup, we're gonna drink fresh orange juice out of it. I thought we agreed on apple. Orange, apple, orange, apple, orange, apple. <laughs> How about a Sony Pop instead? <laughs> Why is everything getting larger? It's because we're getting smaller. And shrinking soda allows me to take the lead. Ta -ta! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is one delicious prison, but it'll take all day to eat our way out. <clears throat> Your pumpkin, sir. Thanks, Albert. <laughs> the card's fixed, but I'm still trapped. You could try lifting the cone, sir. I can't lift something that heavy. You can't. <laughs> but my giant clown hand can. I'm beginning to doubt the usefulness of giant clown hands. Come on, dog. We got a race to win. Yeah! Hi, 
smell tanning lotion, but I don't see Gil. He's up ahead. Go, go, go! We need to go faster. Drive over that turbo ramp! Oh, doesn't he look dreamy with the wind blowing through his hair? And his shirt off. You know who else looks dreamy without his shirt on? What? Yes. Ah! La -da -dee, la -da -da. Ah! You know. Yeah, you're right. That was obnoxious of us. Oh. And so is this. <laughs> hey, girls have never met before. My name's Gil. Crazy dream, huh? Too bad we won't be together when we wake up. Then I guess we'll have to stay here forever. <laughs> Bummers, right? We're in last place! Yeah! Like that second to last now. Still, we'll never win. Sure we will. Grab those wings. Yes. Got him. Now what? I drive off that cliff. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Wait, you what? Yeah! Wings, activate! Yeah! <sighs> Try again. <laughs> How about some boot power, Dookie? Now to boot you back to where you came from. All right, we're in the lead. Yeah! Two gates, but which to choose? I'm guessing that lever opens them. But left or right? Let's push it to the right. Can't go wrong going right, right? The portal will close in 30 seconds. Anyone inside will be trapped for all of eternity. Thank you. Then put the pedal to the metal and get us out of here! Here's the finish line. We're gonna win! We're stopping. Why are we stopping? What, do you want to make it seem more dramatic for the racing audience? If we leave, we'll win. But everyone else will be trapped here forever. The portal's closing and we can't stop it! We just need a helping hand. <laughs> For once, it works! But it won't hold forever. Gotta hurry! Ah! What in army green underwear are you going to run away for? I'm trying to save everyone. Funny way of showing it. Wait, where's my sisters? They'll be trapped here forever! Got them, Jonathan! You don't think I'd leave my beloved Susan behind? Uh oh, cloud hands down. Portal's closing again. Let's move. But the carts are wrecked. What are we gonna do? Power up, I'm killing anyone. Let's zoom zoom out of here. We're never gonna fit through. We're too big. Anyone have a shrinking soda save? Sure, you can have mine, bra. <laughs> decided to save everyone, including you. Oh, okay, fine. Then I'm the world's second greatest racer in the history of the world's racing racers. This is the craziest race mare ever. <laughs> you know you're gonna have to wipe his memory of this, right? We know. Mask Johnny climbs to the top of the turnbuckle, and he drops the boom on the dog of doom. My name is Doom Dog, not the Dog of Doom. <laughs> oh no, I smell cleaning day. It's cleaning day! Dad 
listen, I'm really looking forward to cleaning day and... Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> How did you do that? The power of cleaning, son. And now it's your turn to use the power. On the entire downstairs. <laughs> so bored. No, cuz I'm gonna let you in on a family secret. The cleaning song! The cleaning song? Dad, whatever crazy song you whipped up in your head, it will not help me clean. With swish swish here and a scrub scrub there, it's time to clean up everywhere. To say goodbye to filth and grime, I'll clean this mess in double time. Well, it used to be a chore, but it isn't anymore When you got the secret to a super clean floor Now the dirt's all gone and it didn't take long When you sing along to the clean-up song When you sing along to the clean-up song Great job, son! And now that the house is clean, I'm gonna prepare a cleaning day feast! <laughs> Well, say all you want, but you gotta admit, the song was catchy. And now it's stuck, stuck, stuck in my head, head, head. <laughs> okay, calm down, down, down. It'll wear off. And it's my dog I grab and I take to the love. No, help me! Johnny, it's cleaning day, and we promised Dad that we'd clean and not experiment if he promised not to sing us some clean-up song. <laughs> He sang the song to Johnny. It's bad, but catchy. Dad will never, never know if you make the song go. Away from my brain, I'm going insane. <laughs> okay, 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 we'll help. But only because we love you. And it gives us a chance to test our bad memory eradicator, which locates all bad memories in the brain and zaps them out of your head. We hope. <laughs> What if the machine erases too much of his memory? Oh, calm down, Manic Mutt. It's not like he's gonna drool or forget how to eat or anything. With a switch, switch, cheer, and it's, it's the switch, it's a switch! Oh. 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 Johnny, the cleaning song. Can you sing it? <laughs> Raced his brain? There was a malfunction, yes. <gasps> Don't panic. I backed everything up onto a hard disk. All I have to do is reload Johnny's memories back onto his brain drive and... Why does it say not enough memory? How can there not be enough memory? It's his brain! <laughs> because we accidentally backed up Johnny's brain on the same drive as all our cute <laughs> photos. I'll delete them so we can restore drooling and falling Johnny's memory. Oh! Dad! Ah! Wow, the lab looks so clean, which means it's going to be the best cleaning day feast ever. Mm -hmm. Dinner's in one hour. And make sure you and Johnny are there and that you haven't done any experiments that would upset me. Sure thing, Dad! Restore Johnny's brain now! But his memories are mixed up with every picture we've ever taken of Gil. They're all on the same drive. From the first picture we ever took of Gil cleaning his pool to the last photo we took of him cleaning his pool. <sighs> You're saying your pictures of Pretty Boy are more important than Johnny's memories? We're saying we just have to buy some time to delete the not-so-important pictures so we can reload Johnny's memories. Well, what are you gonna do? Train Johnny how to behave at the dinner table so your dad won't notice you erased his brain? And dinner is in one hour! I was joking. Hey, uh... Now, Johnny, this is a napkin. And when you eat, you... <laughs> <laughs> just erase the gill pictures. He's a quick learner. Johnny, see how I put water in my mouth? Now you try. <laughs> no, technically he's right. Every one of these photos is delicious. Ah, blurry gill. Wait, I'll just delete some of the Johnny memories like I should have in the first place. But what are the bad memories? 
That's it, little Johnny. Go boom boom. <laughs> boom boom. Potty training. Yeah, I should leave this one. Darn it! Now, during dinner, the neighbor's cat will appear in the window and meow for a morsel. And that's when you always say, Kitty! Kitty! This is never gonna work. No, Dookie's a dog. Kitty will appear in the window. Kitty! No, Johnny, that's a garbage truck. Kitties are fluffy and evil and... Where's Johnny? Johnny? Kitty! Kitty! You had to erase his brain. We were trying to help! Now run, dog, run! Great. Now that I've separated Johnny's good memories from bad, I can just delete the bad ones. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Okay, we're not all his bad memories. Are we? This won't hurt a... Okay, perhaps we are. And if I erase them, then there'll be plenty of room for the new memories. Darn it, again! <laughs> He's gotta be here somewhere! There's danger everywhere, but no kitty! Kitty! Wow, he's really having a hard time with kitty. But he's safe and sound. <laughs> he's not safe or sound! Kitty! That's not a kitty! Kitty? Dad is gonna be really mad if we bring a squished Johnny to dinner! <laughs> Which means it's cleaning day festival feast time! Now, let's all dig in and enjoy a nice dinner as a family. <laughs> you erased Johnny's brain, didn't you? Not all of it. <laughs> Girls, we can explain. Kitty. 
to the kitchen computer. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, you did. Admire your high tech break in techniques. Dad told us to make sure you don't go on his computer. But Dad took my computer. And Dookie and I need to be on different computers so we can hang out on our own new mega awesome island. You have a mega awesome island? Yeah. Our island in Island Craft. Island Craft is the single greatest online gaming experience of this entire trend cycle. You get to create your own island paradise. We've got two waterfalls, a year supply of burritos, a hot tub full of pudding, and a Mount Rushmore of butts. It took us months to level up to Mount Buttmore, and no one's gonna wreck it this time. Not even the villainous Beach Bra 247. He might have every weapon upgrade and level up, but he's not wrecking Mega Awesome Island. It's got way more defenses than our old, just plain awesome island. Yeah, we added more mega. <laughs> Defenses destroyed. Island under attack. Johnny, it's Beach Bra 247 and an army of peepers. Ah, uh, peepers? Peepers are these things. Johnny, slammer hammer. <laughs> now we just got to do the same thing to those other 10,000 peepers. <laughs> Don't worry, I got your back. No, no you don't. No more wasting your days building fake houses to play in. You should do what I did when I was your age. Waste your days in a real house. Now go play. Okay, if you say so. Ow! Girls, let your brother out of his cage. Ah! <laughs> well, I can't beat these papers without Johnny. Well, where's the save button? I'm too scared to save. <sighs> well, at least Dookie's still guarding the island on the other computer. Wait a minute. On what computer? The one in your lab. I mean, uh, the one not in your lab? Ah! The Octoplasma Transporter! Ooh, that sounds cool. If Dookie makes one wrong click, he's doomed! Yeah, not cool. We're working on a beam that can put you inside any virtual world. Sweet. How come we're not using it? Because we can transport matter into a virtual world, but we don't know how to get the matter back out. Yeah, who cares about matter? Dookie is made of matter! What? Why didn't you say so? You know how I feel about matter. Oh, Dookie, you're safe. Of course I'm safe. Why wouldn't I be safe? <laughs> before Beach Bra 247 gets here. I already am here, dude. Surrender Mega Awesome Island now and live. Otherwise, you die. You have 17 seconds to decide. You don't need 17 seconds. Phew, I was hoping we'd surrender. <laughs> Cause we will never surrender! Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Very well, bra. I will begin crushing you in 11 seconds. To the tree fort! Keeper Army Dudes, prepare for battle! Cyborg Bazooka Dude, arm yourself! Oops, I guess I forgot to buy the dude part of the upgrade. Beach Bra 247 has leveled up too many times. We're nowhere near powerful enough to beat him. At least we still got the year supply of burritos. Yeah! Dig in, Dookie. These burritos aren't gonna eat themselves. Mm, good going in. Uh, rough coming out. I'll save the rest for later. Uh, Johnny, I just realized something horrible. We're out of guacamole? Worse. We spent all our upgrades on burritos, pudding, and Mount Buttmore. We've got no weapons! <laughs> Finally! I will crush Johnny Test and not get into trouble. Hey, how does he know our real names, Dookie? Because we keep saying our names, Johnny. Hey, what's your real name? Uh, I... Oh, look over there! Dude, not falling for it. <laughs> Fine. Keeper Army, attack! <laughs>
didn't save Johnny and Dookie, but at least they have three less peepers to fight. Great, but now we have three peepers to fight. Ah! Okay, Dookie, it's burrito time. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! You may have defeated my army of papers, Johnny Test dude, but nothing can stop my army of me! Does that mean you have clones? Uh, no. So the army's just you. Uh, we're not afraid of just you, Beach Bra 247. Oh, really? Well, how about. Well, how about what? Johnny, what's that rumbling? Yeah, probably just a burrito. Good going in. Bad coming out. <gasps> the Fable Drill Tank! <laughs> <laughs> the Fable Maniacal Laugh! Like it says bumping. Someone who drives a bumper car? Bumper! <gasps> bumper? <laughs> I thought I recognized that fabled evil cackle. <laughs> the fabled super deluxe iron suit package! And again, the fabled evil cackle! That's it. I was saving this for later, but on Mega Awesome Island is too awesome and too mega for this. You are going down, Bumper! Well, that was anticlimactic. Wait for it. It's glorious! How did you know that would work? Because these burritos are good going in and bad coming out. <laughs> Well, everything wrapped up rather nicely, I'd say. Oh, no, it didn't. <gasps> Behold! The deluxe iron suit package comes complete with gas mask and lava shield. Lava shield? Why do you need a... Oh. And now to finish you off, Johnny Tess. <laughs> Uh, is there a fabled invisibility upgrade? Who cares? To the drill tank, Dom! No! Unplugged before I could save. All my months of ruining are ruined! Huh? We're doomed! Hang on, Dookie! We're about to hit the hot tub headed for home! We're alive! And grounded! I told you to play outside! And this computer is going off! <laughs> we really need a better label for that button. What the? We'll save you, Dad! No, no, I'm good. Just let me neaten up a little first. So, 
what'd you do this time? Write your name in the yard with a lawnmower? Uh, yeah. But this is way worse. Don't you know what today is? Uh, no, but I do know the door's not gonna answer itself. Mook City, here we come. I think that Pomeranian down at the store was digging my dookie vibe. <laughs> Ooh, Valentine's Day is the grossest, sickest, barbiest holiday ever invented. It's not as gross as March 9th. Are you kidding? This is way worse than National Booger Eating Day. Girls are trying to kiss me. How awful. Nobody's putting their lips on me. This year, I don't even want to hear a smooch. <laughs> Yuck. Mwah, 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 mwah. See? This is what I'm talking about. It's the most disgusting thing in the universe. Mwah. No, that's the most disgusting thing in the universe. My parents are zombies? Sweet. Not sweet! They want to eat our brains! Hey, at least it ain't kissing. No eat brains. Only one kisses. Kisses. Yeah! Yeah! Susan, Mary, Mom and Dad got turned into zombies. Yeah, but they don't want to eat our brains. They want kisses instead. You two seem to know an awful lot about this. <laughs> Just because we know about it doesn't mean we totally caused it by accident and have no idea how to stop it. Right, Mary? Right. You guys are so busted. Day. So, we synthesized a pheromone to repress moral activity in the amygdala while simultaneously boosting oxytocin levels throughout the brain. Ah, got it. Yeah, he don't got it. We made a love potion so Gil would want to kiss us. <sighs> but it kind of, sort of, um, mutated into a deadly zombie virus that spreads by kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Best be ready. Nobody's kissing me or you today, Dookie. It's time to call in the big guns. You have reached Area 51.1. We cannot take your call right now because we are busy with super secret crises. We should do this more often. <laughs> Plan B. Can't you two, like, make some kind of thingy to make the kissy zombies go bye-bye? You mean an antidote? No, I mean a thing that... Yeah, he means antidote. We could, but the only known antidote is made with a rare chemical called rotosaban. And the only supply of rotosaban is found at the Institute. And the Institute's all the way across a zombie-infested town. We'd never survive. Even with the help of our newest invention, the Haymaker. Sweet! <laughs> a world where everyone's a zombie. And worse, every day is Valentine's Day. We're gonna get to that stupid lab and make that, that... Antidote. Antidote! It's not gonna be easy, but with your brains and my awesomeness, we are going to save the world! Stay close, and remember, no matter what happens, do not get kissed under any circumstances. Unless it's kill. Are you crazy? You become a zombie! He's right. No getting kissed. Unless it's zombie kill. I can hear you! Oh, it's okay, little girl. You'll be safe with us. This is... Tiny zombie girls are no match for this. This is... How about a tall glass of punch? <laughs> It may have a few bugs. Run! There's someone on the school roof! Shuffling walk, dead eyes, a brain barely functioning. Sounds like a zombie! Nope, it's just Bumper. Oh. Well, in that case, we've got to help him! No way! Come on, Bumper's tough! Maybe he can help us! Please, no! I don't want to be a zombie! Please! <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll be a big help. Come on, Bumper! We gotta get out of here! That's what I'm trying to do! I built a rocket! 
so I could blast out of this no good zombie town. Right. Well, at least you've got a plan. Ah! First, there's zombies everywhere. And now your dog is talking, Taz. Did this day get any freakier? <laughs> Well, I guess we're finished. Don't give up. I got an idea. But you may not like it. Say what? Well. <gasps> we're saved! Not so bad, Susan Test. <laughs> I'm here to rescue you if you'll be my valentine. Never! Susan, it's either you, Jean, or death by a thousand zombie smooches. <laughs> Only? Let's try this again. How about a tall glass of punch? Come on! Just say you'll be his valentine, or we're all gonna end up zombies! Never! Um, hello, valentine. <laughs> See, now that's a rocket. Looks just like mine. All right, the antidote's in here somewhere. The way we're gonna find it is with teamwork. Right, we're a team. We stick together no matter what happens. No matter what happens. Why are you covering your cheek? No reason, let's go. Bumper, catch. Ha, lipstick. It's uh, nothing, I'm fine. Somebody kissed you on the roof. Oh, this is bad. No, 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 I'll be okay. I promise. Well, I guess if you promise. Come, Susan, be safe with me in this totally dark, cramped closet. Ew, no. Oh, suit yourself. It's locked. I'm sorry, my love. You're on your own. I'm just too important to risk my life. Phew! Safe at last. <laughs> oh, the delicious irony. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> it's gotta be here somewhere. <gasps> there it is! Pertosa Man! This antidote is highly potent, and with the right dose, it should reverse the zombifying effects of our love potion. <laughs> it's ready! <laughs> Zombie! <Yeah. sighs> I know we're a team, but you have to save the world on your own! You can do it! We believe in you! Susan, Mary, I strongly advise you not to kiss the zombie! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop! Are we crazy? We need pictures so we'll always remember this magical moment. You can't do this. How are we? <laughs> it was worth it. Wait a minute. How are we supposed to get this antidote to the whole town? Forget it, Johnny. We're finished. Everyone else is a zombie and we're next. Well, we had a good run, though, didn't we? We sure did, kid. We sure did. <laughs> you know, I always thought I'd die in a pit of quicksand. Or strapped to the back of a rocket. <gasps> That's it! <laughs> They're everywhere! Not for long! Oh, I don't know what's worse, the zombies or that thing! Yeah, but if I aim it at you... <laughs> <laughs> A nice use of reverse psychology on an inanimate object. Now to end this zombie apocalypse. <laughs> hurry, Johnny! They're coming back to life! Or death! Or hurry! <laughs> Ooh, my last kiss is a living dog. Huh? And I'm all out of breath freshener! Johnny, do something! Not being zombies! Yeah, What'd I tell you, Dookie? We're heroes! And better yet, I didn't get a single kiss! Happy Valentine's Day, Johnny! Should you be 
watching this. Well, Mom and Dad didn't block this channel, so... Heck yeah, we should! Hank Anchorman here. Interrupting a movie you shouldn't be watching to report... There's a giant robotic metal main thing terrorizing Pork Belly! Okay, I had nothing to do with that. I'm here. You see me, right? I can vouch for you, yes. What is going on? Okay, we had nothing to do with that. We were here, innocently developing a temporal paralysis memory eraser. What did you do now? We're innocent! If you think for one second that we believe you had nothing to do with it... <laughs> cool. The temporal paralysis thingy works. But how do you undo it? We'll figure it out later. But first, we have to save the town! What? No, we didn't cause this. And hello, we were busy with things that are not saving town related. Yeah, well, we caused a lot of other mayhem and we owe it to the town. Forget it. I hate this part. <laughs> Johnny X and Super Food Joey! Wait! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a super bullet boy type thing! Who the heck is that? Unbelievable! The super bullet boy thing has saved the town! Don't worry, Pork Belly. If there's trouble about, just give Boy Drone Model X714G a shout! Who the heck is that? Boy Drone Model x G? Okay, here's the deal. Johnny and his secret hero identity, Johnny X, is basically unreliable and unstable. So, we've created our own Superboy to save the day because Johnny X and Super Pooch can't. Hey, unreliable? Really? Roll the unreliable videotape! What are you doing? It's terrorizing the city! I need nourishment, and this new Red Gosh Plus replaces the fluids I lose in battle. Hurry! Don't flush me! And Boy Drone Model X714G does not need Red Gush or chips to save the city, because he runs on Proton Cat Supercell! For your information, Johnny X is fashioned with the latest in DNA and molecular enhancements. And he can power poop. Oops. My bad. Oh, are you saying Johnny X is a better hero than Boy Drone X? We're saying yeah! Okay, let's not get carried away here, which we all know we can do. It's the X Hero Factor! Our teams agree to test their super heroic preteens to see who has that X factor. <laughs> and he said not to get carried away. And three superstar judges who will vote which X hero should protect the skies: the mayor, Speed McCool, and pretty choreographer lady. And it's all brought to you by Red Gush Plus. The plus is electrolytes, which does stuff and things. First up, our heroes will face off in the X Sing and Dance Off. The X What and What Off? I got the thing you want, and the thing is X. The one more hero that can truly protect. I save you from monsters and climb on the streets. And do it all with my fresh ramen feats. Yeah! Boy Drone X clearly has music running through his circuit board. But now, it's Johnny's turn. <laughs> If you ever in trouble, call Johnny on the double. I'll pull you from the rubble and put up fronts with bubble. Wow, Johnny X was uh, uh, bad. Let's hope he does better in the head to head combat challenge. Just blast him with power poops. It is truly your weapon. Just melt the X jerk circuits and prove that the test rules. <laughs> In our last 
contest. Our heroes have to chase down a runaway missile, dismantle it, and stop it from destroying a fake city. Yeah, uh, this should really determine who truly has the X-Hero Factor. Boy Drone, away! Super Pooch, away! Ow! Don't jump so hard! As you can see, Boy Drone X has rocket feet, and Johnny X needs an ugly dog to fly. I heard that! Now, let's stop that rocket! Wow! A Boy Drone X blew up the missile before it reached the city! He might be the perfect boy who's not a boy, but a Boy Drone who might be the perfect not real boy. Use your laser eyes! Then use your shape-shifting powers! How does me as a lion stop a missile? Pull the cover off the missile, disconnect the wires, and dismantle the warhead. Ha! Yeah. Ah, this'll be easy. Now, slowly pull out the blue wire. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Drone model X714G wins! I can't believe we lost to the general in black and white. I can't believe no more stretchy costumes. Yes, I like the costumes! And no more lighting things with my butt. But the good news is, no more general black and white screaming for us to save their butts when they mess up. They're probably having a blast with boy drone model X714G right now and gloating that they beat us. <laughs> we finally beat the Death Sisters. It was kind of embarrassing relying on teenage girls and a wild 11-year-old for our defense. But now we have an even better boy. And the year's supply of Red Gush Plus. Score. <laughs> Turbo missile mode activated. Target port belly. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Come in, test kids. Repeat, come in, test kids. What, did you call us up to gloat? No, we called to say... Help! We were toasting our victory with Red Gush. When Boy Drone Model X714G uh, sort of turned into a deadly missile and is heading downtown to, well, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Destroy it! <laughs> you didn't waterproof him in the wetness shorted its circuit board? Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's save the day! <laughs> Dismantle the missile like we failed to do in the competition! Uh-huh, yeah, but how do we do that? I don't know! I still don't know! I've never seen such bravery, but let's face it, we're all doomed if we don't get out of here fast! Ah! Okay, this time start slowly with the blue wire. Need to see that. Hurry, Johnny! I'm okay. Johnny X saved the day again! The town is safe and secure, General. Thanks to us, and not this. I'm sorry, Johnny. You really do have the X-Hero Factor. And that is, amazing sisters, a brave boot, and a butt that blows fire. Still, I feel we forgot something. <gasps> oh, 
right. Mom and Dad. I can't get it in reverse. Well, did you try the red button? How about the blue wire? Come on, we just saved the town. We can figure this out. Should Johnny Power boot them? Is it here? Is it finally here? <sighs> it's here. Hey, everybody, come see the family picture. <laughs> finally, we can take down that creepy old dude picture. Hey, that old dude is your great great grandpa test. And you're right, he really is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's... it's not that bad, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't take it! Dogs don't wear sweaters like these! <laughs> well, neither do Johnny's. <laughs> Come on, Johnny! I don't want to be late. Nothing's gonna spoil our perfect test family portrait. Do we have to take a family picture? Yeah, we already know what we all look like. Every year, it's the same thing. We try to get a family picture, but something goes wrong. Well, not this year. Nothing's gonna go wrong! <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong starting now. <laughs> The test family is right on time for their one o'clock appointment. No, the test family's booked for the 1.30 appointment. What? We gotta wait 30 minutes? No, come on, Dookie, let's hit the arcade. No, no, you don't. Nobody's going anywhere until the family portrait's taken. But arcade! Sweaters! Itchy! <laughs> yeah, and we want to go to the mall carousel. The mall carousel with fireworks. Come on, Hugh. Let the kids go kill some time in the mall. Besides, I could go for a snack. Oh, fine. But no matter what happens, you must be in front of that camera in 30 minutes. Got it? 30 minutes! Huh? Oh. First, I'm gonna beat that high score on Revenge of the Black Knight's Revenge. With a vengeance. Ooh, well, I don't know why they make these maps at the mall so hard to read, sweetie C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my! No, I'm sorry, lady. We're in a hurry to get revenge on a black knight. Oh, accidents happen. Isn't that right, Sweetie C? <gasps> Sweetie C? Yeah, uh, who's Sweetie C? My grandbaby. She was right here. Oh, now where could she have gotten to? Oh, Sweetie C, is that you? Yeah, uh, it sure is. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Isn't she just the most precious baby? Ah, oh. uh, precious baby? Just go with it until I can find the real baby. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, ma'am, but... Hey. <laughs> oh, ooh, wee, sweetie, see? You smell. <laughs> Better get you to the beauty parlor. Huh? Okay, now to find that baby. <laughs> Bingo! Stop right there, baby! <laughs> oh, hey, girls, I'm super positive I've never met. You want to ride the carousel? No, thanks. We'd rather just stand here with you and watch. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. You do? Yeah, I love watching the carousel. Mm -hmm. It's like my favorite thing. <sighs> Sometimes, I watch those horses and just imagine, man, wouldn't it be cool if they just, like, came to life and stuff? Hmm. One cheesy pretzel. That'll be two dollars. Two dollars. Um, wait! I have a full pretzel punch card for a free pretzel. Now, where did I put that punch card? Baby! Baby! Oh, dear. I need you to make my baby beautiful. Your baby? Eh. There! The artificial intelligence program is uploaded into the horse's new digital brains. All right. Hit it! <laughs> you brought the horses to life. 
You did it, Sarah and Melinda! You did it! Um, our names are at... <coughs> Quiet, Melinda. Pretzel punch card is somewhere. Oh, here it is. One free cheesy pretzel. Ride, Mr. Maple Butter. Ride. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. My pretzel card. Hmm. On the tracks. <sighs> okay, baby. Let's go. Ah! Now where'd she go? Baby? Baby? <laughs> ah! Oh, come on! Family pictures in three minutes. I gotta run for it. So long, Granny. It's been uh weird. Let's do this. Okay, if we triangulate an electric shock through the food court, it'll disrupt the horse's AI capacitors and shut them down. Which is really too bad. You look so happy. Mm. <laughs> it's now or never. Family picture is in T-minus two minutes! <laughs> well, we tried. Now let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> One cheesy pretzel, please! You know, I always 
Just like that creepy picture of Grandpa Test on the wall. Oh, yeah, we'll try again next year. Yes, again! We meet at last once more for a final time! Again! Prepare to be destroyed, Johnny Test! <laughs> oh, great! Really? The batteries ran out now? Oh, just forget it! Forget all of it! Uh, if you need to borrow batteries, Dookie has some. I don't go anywhere without my triple A's. <laughs> Yo, what's the point? I try to be evil, try to destroy things, and I never get anywhere. I think I've lost my evil touch. Really? How hard is it to be evil? Oh, how should I know? I don't know how to be evil anymore. Oh, come on, it's easy. Just find something people like and take it away from them. Like what? Dude, I don't know. Think outside the box and do it fast, because this is really boring. There you go. And it only took 15 batteries. By the way, that'll be $27. Fine. Let's get this over with. Ow! Ooh, great. And I just had it washed. We've got to stop those missiles from breaking the dam, monkey. Hey, Johnny, are you excited for Pizza Friday? Heck yeah. It's my favorite day of the week, right after Taco Tuesday. Oh, what about Meatloaf Monday? Oh, yeah, that's my favorite, too. <laughs> well, the pizzas are all ordered and should be here any second. Pizza! Yo, pizza delivery. <gasps> Where's the cheese? Where's the sauce? Where's the pizza? Whoa, that's weird. But you still got the breadsticks and salad. <gasps> salad. Hank Anchorman here with a terrifying news update. Pizzas are disappearing all over Pork Belly. And it's worse than we originally reported. As of now, there's only one pizza left in the entire city. I'll give you anything for that pizza. Take my car. Take my kids. Take my dog. Seriously. Sorry, that's my stomach talking. And now, now, citizens of Pork Belly, I'm sure we could settle who gets the last pizza in a calm and civilized manner. How? A riot? A mud wrestling death fight? A pizza eating contest? All right. Okay, and how about a death race? Welcome to Pork Belly's Hungry Games Race! The finest racers in all of Pork Belly have been assembled! Dookie, we are gonna get that pizza no matter what it takes! Right! About that. Don't you think there's another way to get our hands in some pizza, huh? A way that doesn't involve death races with weapons and potential death? You mean like making our own pizza? Or calling a truce and splitting the slices? Yes. Yes! Now that's lame. <laughs> nice ice cream truck. Why don't you take it back to the playground? It's not an ice cream truck, it's a frozen milk battle mobile! Complete with blaster and attack music! I believe that is your picnic music, sir. Beat it, Creamsicle. It's time for some seasoning and spice. Yeah, we may have to assault somebody. Or I'll pepper them. <laughs> I'll pepper them. <laughs> Get it? You're an embarrassment to the badge. Okay, move over. Make room for the claw crumblers. What the heck is that, Eugene? Uh, yeah, we're trying to go with a food theme here. Hello, it's a crab. Crab is seafood. Ah, you guys are so lower class. Okay, here are the rules. The pizza has been placed atop Mount Doomsday. The first person to the pizza wins. Yeah! Other than that, there are no rules. So, without further delay, ready! Set. Seriously, I don't think this is such a good idea. No! We're in the lead. My 
need for pizza has made me a little crabby. <laughs> Incoming crab fire. I may have to put seafood on the menu, Albert. Shall I heat the butter, sir? I'm gonna take him out with the pepper pepperer. No. I'll hit him with the salt shooter. Everyone knows salt's better. Salt stinks. Pepper is clearly the king of the condiment. <laughs> <laughs> Milk bomb! Oh, what's that? Salt melts frozen death? Oh, yeah! Salt's the best! <laughs> Johnny, maybe we should quit this silly race and spend our time trying to find out why all the pizzas are missing in the first place. Don't you think that's a mystery we should be trying to solve? Yeah, less thinky thinky, more racy racy dog. Uh, Johnny, I think we're about to get creamed. Now would be an optimal time to fire, sir. What are you doing? Making a soda pop float explosion. <laughs> no, they wrecked my precious frozen milk mobile. Come on, you have to admit that salt is a better weapon. Have you ever got salt in your eye? Hmm? That really stinks. This race is seasoned to perfection, so there's really no need for you to. Ah! <laughs> no condiment can beat the claw crumblers. Ta-ta, Spice Boys. I've got a pizza to win. Take that. <laughs> oh, what's that? Pepper sneeze attack? Pepper's the best. <laughs> Every pizza in Pork Belly. See, dog, I solved the mystery. Now everyone knows I'm the most evilest evil villain ever! <laughs> oh, by the way, thanks, Johnny. Me? Yeah, you told me to think outside the box. Take something people really like and blah 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 blah. Oh. What? I was just trying to cheer the guy up. Yes. And now I have all the pizza. And boy, is it good. It's like toast. With cheese and other stuff, you lose. I win. I'm evil. I cannot be defeated. <laughs> um, Dark Vegan, you realize pizza is not vegan, right? <laughs> hey, well. Yeah, dude. Cheese comes from milk, and milk from cows, and pepperonis are... Well, who knows what pepperonis are, but they're definitely not vegetables. Uh, no, no, it can be! <laughs> Here, let me help you wash that pizza down. <laughs> I declare the Hungry Games over! Yeah, we're all winners! <laughs> Everyone's a winner. Except me! <laughs> All I want to do is make people sad, but it seems I'm only good at making people happy. Which makes me really sad. <laughs> Sorry, not falling for that advice stuff again. Besides, I need a napkin. This pizza's really messy. <laughs> you need a napkin? Yeah, 
we all need napkins. <laughs> they all need napkins. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, I'll just use my sleeve. Oh, so hot. So thirsty. How do we beat the summer heat? Annihilate thirst. The Red Gusher! I am here to annihilate your thirst with the crushing power of Red Gush. Oh, so dazzling! Annihilate your thirst. This new Red Gush mascot is really violent. I miss the old mascots. You know, the cute little koalas. <laughs> eh, I don't know, I think the Red Gush is cool. Seriously, what does that have to do with beverages? Eh. And next time you crush a gush, check under the cap for a code to win cool prizes. Sea boxes, ice slabs, speed boats, thousands of prizes to be won. So head to the Red Gush website to see if you're a winner. <laughs> Hurry, Johnny! I peeked at your code, and my doggy senses tell me you're a winner. L zero five three R. I won! A Red Gush plastic flying disc. That's cool. I guess. Here, try mine. Another flying disc. Yay! Well, the TV said there are thousands of prizes. We just have to keep trying. Let's get more Red Gush, dog. I won. Another flying disc. Ugh, no more Red Gush. Hundreds of codes and not one cool prize. Now I'm starting to think this contest is fixed. If only we knew somebody, or two somebodies, smart enough to crack the code. Something's different in here. Uh, maybe it's the massive new supercomputer that takes up the entire room? Huh, that might be it. Say hello to the Enigmatron 2600, capable of analyzing and breaking down the most complex systems in the universe. Subatomic particle structures, microscopic genome mapping, extraplanetary solar wind patterns? How about contest coded bottle caps? You want us to use the fastest computer ever made to help you win a drink contest? How about a couple of plastic flying discs to sweeten the deal, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, fine. By cross-referencing a simple algorithm with the code database, the computer confirms that winning this contest is... Impossible. So that means there's no way I can win cool prizes? We didn't say that. We could write a script that emulates the code generator to rearrange the characters and produce an affirmative construct. Say what? Press this button and Johnny wins prizes. <laughs> but be gentle. This computer has a pretty sensitive defense mode and it could hurt you if you jostle it too hard. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Johnny win prize now! <laughs> Can I do it again? Huh? Can I, can I, can I? Huh? Okay, but don't go overboard. <laughs> hey, you don't think we're abusing the system just a tiny bit, do you? First of all, no. Second of all, the contest was rigged, and we re-rigged it. Third of all, I love prizes. Hey, Johnny, now you want a Red Gush speedboat. Thanks, Sal. Just dropping it to the Gush Copter. Prizes! Prizes? What do you mean we're giving away prizes? You promised me all we'd really give away are cheap plastic flying discs. It appears somebody has uh, cracked the code, sir. <laughs> There's more, sir. <laughs> Thanks to all the expensive prizes we've had to buy, it seems we don't have any money left. Who is winning all these prizes? It's a kid named J J Johnny Test, sir. I don't care how you do it, but this Johnny Test must be eliminated! <laughs> sure is home, Sloveny. I'm starting to think you have a problem. Don't worry, these are the last of the prizes. Okay, maybe there's one more. Oh, good, you won the Red Gusher. Eliminate Johnny Test. 
Oh, good. He wants to kill you. <laughs> Johnny test problem has been taken care of. Uh, we're, uh, we're working on it, sir. <laughs> Hank Anchorman reporting live from downtown Port Belly, where international spokespot Red Gusher is in merciless pursuit of a young boy and his dog. Let's see if we can get a comment. Boss destroyed Johnny Test. <laughs> Did anybody stop to consider that the world seeing our giant robot mascot trying to destroy a Red Gush customer might be bad for business? <laughs> we saw you on the news. Crack a few too many codes, little brother? Hey, everything's fine. Oh, yeah, everything's fine here. Don't suppose you could hack into the Red Gusher with your supercomputer or anything, huh? Possibly, but you'll have to get him back to the lab. No problem. We're all set to hack the Red Gusher. Did he follow you? Is he here? Huh? He's here. Not today, Gushy. the supercomputer having a defensive mode that's dangerous? It has a defensive mode, and it is dangerous! <laughs> defensive mode activated. Told ya! Threat identified. to do that? Red nullified. Look at all those prizes! No wonder they sent that thing after you! Oh, what a disaster! I know. That thing almost killed me! No, not that! The PR disaster! Nobody's gonna buy Red Gusher anymore after what's happened! How are we gonna get people to like the Red Gusher after all this? What if he gave away prizes? Real prizes! Not just lame flying discs! Kid, the company's broke. Where are we gonna get more prizes? <laughs> Crush the gosh with the red gosh giveaway. Well, that was a great idea, Johnny. You saved Red Gush. Hey, aren't those the Red Gush koalas? 
people really like them. Why not give them another shot? You got it. First thing tomorrow, we'll retire the Red Gusher and bring back the koalas. You know, I never really liked the Red Gusher know-how. Feelings hurt. Destroy, CEO. Destroy. Wow. For a giant gush-crushing robot, he's really sensitive. Oh, Feelings hurt. on the Crummy Commercial Channel. More Crummy Commercials. We should really change the channel. Totally. Where's the remote? I'll check under the cushions. There's usually all kinds of treasure under there. Hey! <gasps> Looks like an extra old, extra cheesy crunchy. Mm. Ew, now with extra fur. <clears throat> Let's see what else is under here. Whoa, Ghost of Birthday Pass! Five bucks! Sweet! Now, what should I blow this on? You shouldn't blow your savings on frivolous things. What's frivolous about a giant can of stupid string? Or an extra spicy gut bomb burrito? Five bucks can't buy happiness, Johnny. The most lavish, luxurious, meat-filled dog spa in pork belly. Ah! Relax, unwind, and indulge inside Paparazzi, the most exclusive resort for high society dogs. Membership's just $5. It's a puppy paradise! Oh, you gotta take me. It's just five bucks! You just said five bucks can't buy happiness. Yeah, but that's human happiness. Five bucks can buy loads of dog happiness. Besides, this pooch needs some pampering after all the hard work I do around here. Hard work? Like what? What are the chances? A truck filled with tons of candy crashed into only pond in Pork Belly filled with tons of electric eels. And you want me to swim out and get it? What? These are my school clothes. Fine. <laughs> totally worth it. For you, maybe. I still get a shock when I cross my legs. <laughs> ah! All right, dog, I'll take you. Right after this candy coma. Hmm. Hey, read the sign. The spa's but purebreds only. Surely you recognize my one-of-a-kind Duque. He was the winner of the Porkminster Dog Show. Oh, a pretty ribbon. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Uh, right this way, sirs. <gasps> Ooh, private puppy pool houses with platinum-plated pea plots. Swedish pooch masseuses. A meats of the world buffet. <laughs> Time for Doggy to dig in. <laughs> Not so fast. My father spent a fortune building this spa for the classiest of canines. Not riffraff like you. Hey, who are you calling riffraff? My dog's a champion. Hmm. First place, Riff Raff Division. <laughs> Doug Matronic's Super Sniffer app here has picked up the stench of mutt. That proves your dog's no purebred. <laughs> Big deal. Your dumb dog's not purebred either. He's not even real. Dog Matronic's better than real. He's a European import that costs 4.625 gazillion dollars. Now, prepare to be ejected. Tony, activate your Poopy Scoopy app. <laughs> Trotty, no! No, no, no! no. Ah! Four gazillion sure doesn't buy what it used to. Now, if you'll excuse us. This is an exclusive club, and it's time for you scrubs to be excluded. Oh, yeah? Who's gonna kick us out? You? No. Him. No. Didn't see that coming. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, dog recycling day? Monty said little McDuff was too drooly. And my Muffy was too stinky. <laughs> that snobby jerk can have his exclusive club. Let's go home. No, I've seen the promised land and I can't turn back. Well, unless you know a place that'll magically make you a purebred. Hmm. <sighs> you know, I think I know a place. You expect us to stop our mega important perpetual motion project just to get Dookie into some doggy spa? Uh, pretty much. And why would we do that? For all my hard work. <laughs> hard work? Like what? Ahem. Let's see. Okay, okay, we'll help. Introducing the Eye Collar. With over 10,000 apps, it combines functionality with fashion. Activate 
gingerbread hologram app. Is that snooty enough for you? Well, he might look like a pure bread, but he still acts like a pure dookie. Which is why the collar comes with this remote control. It activates a whole host of apps that control canine behavior. Whoa, you're leaving him in charge of that? Relax, buddy. I'm the master of bad behavior. Roll over. Play dead. Stop hitting Ow. yourself. Stop hitting Ow. yourself. Stop hitting Ow. Activate Supermodel Strut app. Looking good. Right this way. Ha! We're in. What do you want to do now? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Water tastes like meat. Super yummy meat. So relaxing, so Swedish. Massage over. Now time for wax. My dog's got a whiff of riff raff again. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Nope. Me and my purebred poodle wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> uh oh. I knew it! You're no poodle! You're just another punk pooch with no pedigree! Connie, attack! Activate Kung Fu app! <laughs> you useless hunk of junk! Bummer! Activate Gloating Dance app! Uh huh! You know it! You know it! Oh man, my dog is so much better than yours! You broke my dog, so now I'm taking yours. Unhand that remote. Get real. Who's gonna take it from me? You? No. Him. Oh. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Now, what's the meanest app in here? Ah, I found it. You're wasting your time. Dookie's my best friend. He never... Not for me. I'm gonna rip off that collar and get my dookie back. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna need a better plan. Activate Bungie Blast app. <laughs> Activate Bug Zapper app. in here. It's Monty's new guard dog. He's using him to make it the most exclusive spa ever. No way. Monty kicked you out too? I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time to take that creep down. You with me? Door's locked. We can't get Krypton Laser App. Sweet. Soon I'll be able to make this spa so exclusive that everyone will want to join, but nobody will get in. And I'll do it all with my new Dukinator. You made one mistake, pal. He's not your Dukinator. He's mine. We'll see about that. Activate Destroy Johnny Test app. There's no such thing as... <laughs> I really need to have a talk with my sisters. <laughs> Truly, Sneaky, now! <laughs> no, 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 no! Activate <laughs> Plan work to perfection. I'll just grab this collar and... <laughs> Meat flavored water! <laughs> Wait! That's it! <laughs> Johnny! Laser up! 
What's going on? Why am I not face down on the meat buffet? Dookie, you're back! And wearing leather in summer, apparently. <laughs> and now the club will be open to everyone! <laughs> and have we learned our lesson about behavior-modifying inventions? Yep. Nope, not really. Because everything worked out great. Right, Tronny? Stop hitting myself! Stop hitting myself! Ow! Stop hitting myself! Ow! Now that's worth four gazillion dollars. <sighs> Lunch, dinner, and now breakfast. <laughs> Meatloaf is so personal. <laughs> oh, no one at the door. Now, where was I? Mmm. And just a dash of salt. <laughs> What the? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Johnny, you know how I feel about salt-related pranks? Sorry, Dad. We're bored, and pranking seemed like a good idea. Listen, son, pranking can be fun, but it can be trouble, too. I know. I used to make funny prank phone calls back in the day, but... Wait. You? Funny? Prank? <laughs> oh, yeah. Prank calling was the best thing ever, until the day I pranked the wrong guy. He really didn't find it funny. Hear that, Dookie? Prank calling is the best thing ever. Let's do it! Thanks for the advice, Dad! So I skipped town, got plastic surgery, and changed my name to Dad. Ah! A call from the test house! This is it! Susan is finally calling to ask me out! <clears throat> Why, hello. Hello. <laughs> is your refrigerator running? <laughs> Well, I... Uh, what? Johnny test! Nice try, but I have caller ID! Well, that was terrible. Let me try. <laughs> Pork Belly Animal Hospital, how may I help you, Mr. Test? Yes, I'm looking for... Wait, you know who this is? Of course, we have caller ID. By the way, Dookie is due for his checkup. <sighs> uh, sorry, I dialed the wrong number. <laughs> that was more terrible. <sighs> How come Dad could prank call people and we stink at it? Because with today's technology, it's impossible to phone prank anyone. Too bad we can't prank call someone in the past when they didn't have caller ID. Doki, you're a genius! Perfect shot. Thanks, but it was supposed to make the target disappear. This is the worst dematerializing ray ever! If only we could get advice from an experienced inventor. Hey, sisters who I'm not trying to get something from. I was just wondering if you ever put a phone in the Turbo Tea House time machine? Why would we do that? Just seems like if you made a time machine, you'd also have a phone in it to call people in the past. <gasps> Best idea ever! We could call Thomas Edison and consult with him. Or prank call him. What was that? that? No, no, nothing, nothing. Uh, so about that phone. Uh, better get on it, sisters. Less talky, more history phone makey. We're already done. Hmm? <laughs> wow, that was inexplicably fast. Well, our work here is done. Uh, we'll just leave now. Hello, Thomas Edison here. <laughs> From the future, you say. Wonderful. How may I help you? <gasps> Fantastic! That totally resolves our dematerializing ray issues. Well, I hope you find much success with all your inventions. Thanks, Mr. Edison. Oh, before you go, I have hypothesized that in the future, everyone will have superpowers. Is this true? Uh, no. Not yet, anyway. Perhaps it should be your next invention. <laughs> well, gotta go. Later. Hmm. Maybe we should work on the superpower array in the future. In the meantime, wanna go dematerialize stuff? You even have to ask? <laughs> Hello? Is Mr. or Mrs. Wall there? No, there are no walls here. <laughs> then what holds up the ceiling? <laughs> Confound it! <laughs> <laughs> Free concert tickets. And all I have to do is run around outside with a kite? Ooh, Ben Franklin like it. <laughs> Revenge! <laughs> I bow it. 
Marie Curie's the name. Radioactivity is the game. This is an emergency announcement. Aliens are attacking. Seek shelter immediately! <laughs> Da Vinci Residence, Leonardo speaking. Hi, I'm looking for a Mr. O'Brains, first name Ivan. <laughs> Ivan O'Brains? <gasps> you have no brains? What? Hey, I know, I didn't mean that. <laughs> You're the one who said it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a time to invade some revenge. <laughs> the name Alexander Graham Bell will forever be associated with this magnificent invention. Hey! Oh. Hello? Hi, uh, do you have a blue shirt? A blue shirt? Well, yes, I do. Ah, then why don't you cheer it up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid telephone machine! <laughs> <laughs> Dookie, prank calling people from the past is your best idea ever! And don't you forget it, until everything goes terribly wrong. Yes, I'm looking for a Mr. or Mrs. Wall. Unoriginal scoundrels! You already used that one. But at least now I have your information. Huh? Information? I've tracked your telephone's location and call history. And I see you've been busy calling many of history's greatest minds. Yeah? Well, what are you gonna do? Build a time machine and come get us? <laughs> <laughs> Build one? No, I've already got one! <laughs> and now to assemble my team! <laughs> what? Oh, my rib, my rib. You couldn't build a bigger time machine or what? Ow! Hey, Franklin! Do me a favor and invent a big batch of Be Quiet! Now, off to future Pork Belly for the real lesson of history. Revenge! How could we possibly do that with our superpowers? Oh, I'm way ahead of you. It's taken years, but we've perfected the Super Power Ray! Edison's dream is finally a reality. Thanks so much! Bye-bye! Edison stole our invention! Yes! This isn't just a history book, it's a phone book! Who knew something from school would actually be useful? Attention, Park Belly! We are... The League of Exceptional Historical Figures! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Exceptionally old. <laughs> Look at the clothes. Oh, I'd recognize that cackling laughter anywhere. Oh, it's the goons who piped us. Historical figures, time to unleash our superpower pranks. Our superpowers combined, we shall seek vengeance on that flame-headed boy and his hairy friend. Attack! Run! Nuclear cream pie, not my favorite. This is what I call a long distance magic. Would you mind holding this? Why, certainly. We're history, Johnny. Not yet. Look, landfills prepare to be dematerialized. <laughs> we'll use that dematerializer to zap these guys back to the past. Not so fast, young prankster. Hey, duck! Johnny, what did you do? Nothing. Well, maybe I made a prank phone call or two. Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Well, it did dematerialize. Uh, hey, historical figures. <laughs> did I tell you uh, how good you look for your age? <laughs> now to paint another masterpiece of Frank. Hold the tight. Have a good fly! Okay, 
I'm no match for history's greatest geeks. Please, I'm sorry. I'll never prank again. That's what we want to hear. We're doing important work, and we don't need prank calls distracting us. You have my promise. I won't do it anymore. Apology accepted. Johnny, snack time! Bring in your historical reenactor friends for some tater tots! <laughs> and just a dash of salt. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Should we stop this? Nah, Dad needs to learn a lesson about the dangers of salt-related pranks. <laughs> What was that? Where am I? What time is it? Hey, Johnny late for school. Can't be late again. Tardy Johnny is grounded. Johnny! Relax. Today isn't a school day. Whew. We just gave you your mutant powers. Hank Anchorman here with another city-destroying robot alert. Smash. 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 Authorities are telling citizens that if they see the smash pot, they should immediately... Uh, what's that? Folks, I'm being told that this is officially the 100th giant monster to threaten the city of Pork Belly. Woohoo! Uh, oh! Smash! Smash! Then it's time for Johnny X and Super Pooch to suit up! Smash! Let's see if Smashbot can handle a flyby. Flyby power poot, that is. Hey, Smashbot, chew on this. Smash. Gonna take a lot more than a Smashbot to stop Team Johnny X. How about a stealth attack jet? Sorry about the whole snatching you up with a giant butterfly in that thing, Johnny. But the general has banned all self-proclaimed superheroes from superheroing. What do you mean, self-proclaimed superheroes? Have no fear! Mr. Awesome is here! What? Stand back! My proton piggy bank will change this money monster's attitude! <laughs> You get it? Money, change, little joke. Hey, those flame guys are robbing the bank. Help! Make way for Sergeant Savemore. <laughs> what the? Meaty Dino is no match for the Green Beam. Green Beam. Mr. Awesome, Sergeant, save some more. The Green Beam? Seriously? Why are Eugene, Brain Freezer, and Dark Vegan suddenly being good guys? They're not. You see, those heroes actually created those monsters. Just so they'd be able to fly in and save the day in front of everybody. Why would they do that? Why don't you ask them yourself? I did it for my beloved Susan Test. If she saw me being a hero, she'd realize what a swell guy I am. Swell guy? You've kidnapped Susan like 30 times. You say that like it's a bad thing. Yeah, I also did it for the babes. Chicks love hero guys. <laughs> I saved TGI Tuesday so they give me free toast. <laughs> and they did. Ooh, they did. So now you see why we have to outlaw all superhero activity in Pork Belly. Now you're all free to go on one condition. No more heroing, no more costumes, no more saving the day, and no, no more, more flying. flying. Uh oh. <laughs> late for school! Late for school! I... Wait. I'm not late for school. This is another Johnny X thing, isn't it? No, you're late for school. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna make it to school on time. Unless. Oh no, no, unless. I, I hate when you do unless. Fly me to school, dog. You still have your mutant powers? I may have the power, but you heard what Black and White said. No heroing, especially flying. Which means, doggy, no fly. Oh, come on. They'll never know. We don't have our suits. They won't even recognize us. But they did this thing! 
thing! But I'm doing this thing. Oh, fine. Hop on. Hmm. Something tells me they recognized us. Go! Perfect. Just perfect. Well, Johnny, don't think the rules apply to you, eh, Flyboy? Technically, it was just a dog that was flying. Oh, big facts. The military doesn't need any you wannabe hero types flying around. Now, you just sit there with the other cape-wearing weirdos and think about what you've done. Come on, boys, lunchtime. I'm thinking guacamole salad. Couldn't follow the rules either, huh? I was bored. I was lonely. I'm craving toast. Great. Could it get any worse? Now I'm gonna get grounded for missing school. Yeah, uh, actually, things are a little worse, Jonathan. <laughs> He's right. There's no way these bed sheets are an acceptable thread count. That, and we set up another wave of monsters to attack Pork Belly so we could save the day again. Oopsies. What? When are they gonna attack? <laughs> um. No ish. No. But we can't do anything about it as long as we're trapped in here. Hope you don't mind if we crash your party. Now say hello to the X Mobile, the official supercar of Johnny X. It's the fully loaded model, complete with super stunt buttons, locating GPS, and your spare suits are in the trunk. With a supercar, we won't have to fly. And the general never said anything about driving in to save the day. Oh, no. I've seen the way Johnny drives. I am not getting in that death trap. It's a convertible. Doggy love car rides. <laughs> I don't believe we've met. The name's Awesome. Mr. Awesome. Who wants to switch seats with me? Okay. Where to first? To the financial district, where we'll find my greatest creation yet. Gold Bar Boy! All right, let's see. Let's give this laser cable a try. Hold on! Supercar filled with superheroes in the process of saving the super day. Kinda looked like it, sir. Not on my watch. Come on! Ah! What was that? Uh oh, it's my fire bandits. <laughs> They're ramming us off the bridge. Quick, press super stunt buttons. I don't care which. Undercarriage blast. Let's go with that. <laughs> All right, two down, one more to go. Uh, Dark Vegan, the big scary tank yours? No, uh, no, I made another meat dinosaur. Mmm, uh, yummy. <laughs> Your superhero and days are done! That's it, we're toast. Ooh, a delicious way to go, though, huh? <laughs> wait, wait, what's that? Ah! It's, it's some kind of T-Bone Stegosaurus Rex! Ah! Ah! Spring-loaded axle blast! Supersonic solar panels! Ultra-thermic vulcanized seat warmers! Woo! Let's try that one! Ew! Wait, power poots? The x can power poot? Yep! Awesome! Ah, put me down! I'm a general! You let me go! X-Mobile Power Poop! Ah! Ah! Uh oh Out of... Um, gas. <laughs> oh, no! It's coming for us! What'll we do? You can oh. move over, for starters. <laughs> 
finish this the old-fashioned Johnny X way. Now we're cooking with gas. Hello, beautiful. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> all right, hold it right there. You all broke my super rules, which I do not like. On the other hand, you did save me from being eaten by a ginormous meat monster, which I do like. So, we're free to go and you'll get rid of the no hero rulesy stuff? No, sure, what the heck? All right! Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, if you'll excuse me, Johnny X is so late for school, it's not even funny. Fly me to school, dog! Super Pooch away! It's a bird! No! It's a plane! No! It's a taco! Now that's good salsa. It's the Red Gush Floopy Flow. The only air show where you can see things fly. And crash. Ah! If you think it can fly, you gotta try the Floopy Flow. Today only. Loopy Flog, here we come. We are so gonna win this thing. Johnny Test, you are cleared for takeoff. <gasps> huh? Clearance denied! Say what? You've just been grounded, son. Anytime you test kids go out adventure together, Pork Belly is paralyzed with peril. Well, please, name one time. There was the time you played paintball with real weaponic splurt guns. <laughs> <laughs> all right, name one more time. The time you all played Johnny Ball in the park. Here go! Oh, yeah, I still don't understand the rules to that one. <clears throat> in order to preserve the safety of Pork Billy, I am hereby confining you all to house arrest. But the floopy flog! We were gonna test our new flying robot at Pinata! And I was gonna crash it! Johnny! What? How else can I get to the candy inside? Flying and crashing is a big negativo. Agents black and white, lock them in the house till that floofy, floggy thing is over. Are you sure, boss? Rumor is there's candy in that giant pinata. Not one tiny foot outside the house, under any circumstance. But what if that circumstance was a giant robot filled with candy? You two rather clean the latrines? Ah, uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> House arrest. I guess it could be worse. Great! You're all home! I got a new recipe. Anyone want to help? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. good. Uh -uh. Okay, banana nut loaf it is. We can't take this line down. <sighs> I can. Now that you're trapped in the house, I'm free to nap, knowing I won't have to warn you not to do something ridiculously dangerous. If we can't leave the house to go to the floopy fog, we'll have to take the house with us. <laughs> and I spoke too soon. What a bum mission. We should be guarding something important, like pinata candy. Well, technically, we are guarding pinata candy. Besides, it's not like the kids will find some super genius way to use house arrest to their advantage. <sighs> if we could only put our keen sense of observation to good use. with an instantaneous airship building mode. Hey, kids. Anyone else feel funny? Like we're floating? No, no, no not at all. Let's your imagination, Dad. Guess this new recipe has me light on my feet. <laughs> oh, the power of loaf. <sighs> floating is boring. Where's the speed? Where's the awesome? I don't like where this is going. Houses weren't meant to fly, and neither were dogs! <laughs> Yeah, there's gotta be an awesome button on this thing somewhere. Like we'd ever put an awesome button on it. Here it is! My bad. It was a last second addition!
something's different, but I just can't put my finger on it. Pork belly's under attack from above! Deploy forces! Now! <laughs> <laughs> Look suspiciously hungry for banana nut loaf. No, 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 thanks, no thanks. Dad. I'm, I'm good. Well, if you change your mind, it'll be cooling off of the window. On the ground. You're all grounded! Two bogeys incoming. Sweet. If you need me, I'll be cowering in the bathtub. <laughs> Missiles locked in on a house? Hey, that looks like Johnny's house. Huh, so that's where it went. Oh. Fire deadly missiles at will! We can't fire deadly missiles at our friends. Okay, then fire the safety missiles! Which one's the hide from super fast scaling missile button? No, no time to hide! Let's go! Oi, which one's the hide from super fast? Eject! Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> Thanks for saving us, Johnny. And thanks for not holding a grudge about the whole missile thing. You're talking like a munchkin. Oh, no. We've turned into munchkins! Calm down. You're not munchkins. We're just leaking helium. We're leaking helium! We're going down! We need something big and sticky to patch those holes. Something sticky like safety slime. You do owe us for the whole shooting missiles at us thing. My nose itches. Can you scratch it? No! Oh, if you want something done right, you gotta shoot it yourself! Passengers, this is your captain speaking. If you look off to your left... The poopy Fog! We made it! Huh? I gotta destroy them before they destroy the town! Fire missiles! I have no business flying this thing. He's heading straight for us! can find one, but Dad's got to make the biggest loaf the world has ever seen. <sighs> I've waited my whole life for you to say that. Dinner's ready.
that's not good. We could cry. Just use your finger. <laughs> You're all going to the brig. Huh? You broke the rules. You left the house. But we didn't leave the house. Not even one tiny foot. It's true, boss. They're on the up and up. But, but... It's all right, General. Have a piece of candy. Mm. I'm a sucker for suckers. Now, how do we get the house home? We're going to need a bigger loaf. Well, here we are, Abominable Ski Lodge, the greatest ski lodge a tiny bit of money can buy. Ho-ho, mm. oh, I love a bargain. Abominable Ski Lodge. I bet it's named after the Abominable Snowman. He must live around here. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as an Abominable Snowman. It's called the Abominable Ski Lodge because it's actually an Abominable Ski Lodge. I mean, look at this fireplace. Win free pants! Win free pants! And this arcade game is super lame. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yeah? Well, the cocoa machine pours perfectly drinkable brown water. Okay, the lodge stinks, but I'm sure it's named after the abominable snowman, and I am going to find him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, go find your abominable snowman. <laughs> I will, and it's going to be totally awesome. Dookie, prepare for the adventure of a lifetime! Johnny, are you sure the Abominable Snowman even exists? And if he does, is pushing you and a sled four inches at a time really the best way of looking for him? The Abominable Snowman does exist. We just have to keep looking. So let's talk more. <laughs> face, all right? That is definitely a face. An abominable face? We need to melt him out of there. Say no more, compadre. This tongue was made for licking, and licking's just what it'll do. I immediately regret this decision. You know, I was skeptical at first, but this tepid brown water is fantastic. So brown. So tepid. No more cocoa for me. From now on, I'm switching to brown water. Oh, yes, sir. I'm a brown water man. That's nice, dear. <laughs> Come on. He's just an ancient snow Neanderthal imprisoned in ice for hundreds of years. What's the big deal? He's perfectly preserved for science. But what about my tongue? Yeah, what about his tongue? Oh, fine. We'll thaw the ice, but just enough to unfreeze Dookie's tongue. <sighs> Besides, that abominable snowman has been frozen in there for over a millennia. It's not like he'd instantly spring to life and roar or anything. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Hey, he's not so abominable to me. Who's my favorite legendary snow behemoth? It's you. Yes, it is. You're my favorite legendary snow behemoth. <laughs> Abominable snowman, you and I are going to be best pals. I think you mean second best pals.
really knows how to make up for lost centuries. <laughs> heard a little commotion in here. Nope, uh, no commotion. Just winning pants. <laughs> Oop, excuse me. <laughs> Come on, dear. You two have fun. <gasps> Look at all these pants. Pleated, double pleated, triple pleated. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a code 792. Yeah, we're picking up some sort of cryogenic colossus. Looks abominable. Definitely abominable. That's true! <laughs> Johnny, we have to refreeze your abominable snowman. What? Why? Because he's abominable and wrecking the place! <laughs> yep, textbook abominable. He's not abominable. He's my friend, and the place was already wrecked. Besides, he's not hurting anyone. Sorry about that, Johnny. Sweet snowmobiles. You want to race? Wish we could, but we're here for the abominable snowman. I'm sure you had buckets of fun with your big, crazy snow ape, but playtime's uh, over. Don't fret, Johnny. We'll take care of him. You'll be subject only to the safest of painful testings. Abominable snowman? Nope, I haven't seen one. I don't even think they exist. Uh-huh. Then what's that big, hairy thing? Hey, I resent that comment. Oh, you mean him. Oh. Well, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that because we're not run dog! Dip it brown water! <sighs> Slide, snowman! Launch! Launch! Go! Go, go, go! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Here, snowman, snowman, snowman! What are you doing? Luring the abominable snowman! <laughs> Not like that you won't. You have to use the proper dialect when calling an abominable snowman. <laughs> that only made him angrier! <sighs> I guess he's just not that into me. They just won't let up. We've thrown everything at those guys. Almost everything. <laughs> Ten four. We're taking projectile beaver fire. Invasive action. Invasive. Wait. We just went in a big circle. Who cares? At least we lost him. Not quite, Johnny. We also have a recon attack helicopter. Sorry to do this to you, Johnny, but this thing is a monster, a menace. He's a monster, all right. Look what he did to our room. <laughs> Guys, please don't do this. Sure, maybe Abominable Snowman looks a little scary, but when you get to know him, he's actually a pretty great snow guy. He's sensitive, fun, and wouldn't hurt a fly. Really? He threw a family of beavers in my face! He was scared. He's just misunderstood, not abominable. Look in your hearts and do the right thing for me, please. Nah, sorry. No dice, Johnny. Hey! You can't! He's not an abominable snowman! He's my abominable snow friend! Uh-oh. To the chopper! Did you get gas? Check the parking brake! Jiggle the ignition! Oh, for Pete's sake! I can't fly a recon attack helicopter when you yell at me like that! He was a snow hero. Huh? <laughs> Abominable snowman! Abominable snowman! <laughs> 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 
Giant snow beast thing, you may have destroyed the entire lodge, causing me to lose my deposit, but you saved our lives. You're A-OK -okay in my book. You were right, Johnny. Once you get to know him, he's not so abominable after all. We're sorry for thinking you were so terrifying. Well, now what? We can't just refreeze him and put him back in an ice cave. No, oh, I think we can find the perfect job for him. <laughs> He's scoring off the charts! We've never seen a snowman with such incredible spy skills! <laughs> with one stamp, our brave mayor honors founding Father Thaddeus Porkelly with this lovely statue. And what a lovely day it is here in Pork Billy. The sun is shining, birds are singing, flowers are blooming. <laughs> Batter up! Oh, and another epic battle between two robot-wielding boys threatens to destroy our peaceful hamlet once again. Yikes! This is the most destruction we've seen since, oh yeah, yesterday! And the day before that... And the day before... Oh, you get the idea. Cool, stop them, I ask. Well, that's all for me. I gotta get home for dinner. To be continued? Count on it. You have a good one. Best to the family. Oh, yeah, you too. Huh? A surprise party for me? Awesome! It's not even my birthday. Sorry, son, but this is no surprise party. We need to talk to you. Johnny, your destructive habits are destroying our town. Hmm? Say what? It's not your fault. You're an overly energetic young boy, but we're gonna make it better. What do you mean it's not his fault? He took the Destructobot without asking again. You heard, Dad. I'm overly energetic. Yeah. In the best interest of you, your family, and the city of Pork Valley, we are hereby confiscating all of your destructive toys. Um, why is Gil here? I got a weird phone call saying he needed my shirt. Hi, Gil. Don't change the subject! Now hand them over, Johnny. Mm. All of them? Mm. <laughs> The bazooka, too? Uh -huh. This thing's got Wi-Fi. We know. We made it. Hey, wait. What about Bling Bling? What if he attacks first? His mother asked us to bring you together before things get worse. Turns out I'm an energetic young boy, too. Dear Mama has confiscated all my weapons as well. Even the bazooka? Even the bazooka. Now, the key to overcoming your destructive tendencies is to turn them into constructive tendencies. But I like things that go crash and boom and kapow. Oh, me too, me too! Well, not anymore. You will have to find calmer, more artistic outlets for your creativity. Calmer? Artistic? Don't you mean boring and lame? There's nothing lame about jamming hot licks on super rad musical instruments. Like the flute! Violin. Lame. Cooking is a great hobby. Cleaning is a great hobby too. Knitting? We're not grandmas. Breathe. <laughs> Yoga hurts. I'm dying of boredom. Good news, Johnny. After extensive research, we found the perfect hobby for you. It's constructive, productive, and super mellow. Bulldozer racing? Topiary. Topi-whaty? Topiary, the ancient art of trimming shrubs into shapes. 
It began in ancient Rome when you... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Bushes aren't fun. I'm out of here. Look, Jonathan, we get to be mellow with these. Specially designed to let you trim hedges. And nothing else. I'm in. <laughs> Start with something peaceful, Jenny, like a teacup or a flower. Okay, or how about... Watch it! A swamp monster with claws. Hey, I feel mellower already. Woo, my turn! <laughs> 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 not bad, but not exciting enough. We gotta make these bigger. And scarier. Bigger and scarier don't sound very mellow to me. Exactly. <laughs> you need Hydro Hyper Fertilizer? What can I say? I'm totally mellow now. And that junk's the key to good topiary. Dearest Susan, if our shrubs go dry, we'll have no choice but to return to our destructive ways. Fine, you can have some, but do not touch the cans of possibly illegal growth hormone right next to it. Wouldn't think of it. That would be unsafe. <laughs> And might give someone an unfair advantage in our non-existent topiary competition. It would be like cheating! That's not the way we roll. <laughs> you gotta love instant results. Good thing neither of us took the possibly illegal growth hormone. We're just better than that. <laughs> what's that? What? Uh, what's that? What? What, what? Oh, just dump the stuff on already. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that stuff does? Of course not. I love surprises. It says here that this stuff brings life-giving nutrients to boring plants. Sweet. Well, this kind of stuff never works anyway. You didn't just make a kind of swampy, monstery noise, did you? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Not awesome. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I still think you're awesome, Mr. Swamp Claw Monster, sir. <laughs> Again, chaos and panic is the new normal here in Pork Belly. I would not call this calming or particularly mellow. No, but it's awesome to watch. Johnny! Johnny, did you unleash these monsters in our city? It's not my fault. I was just enjoying Topiary and feeling mellow when... Jonathan Test, you must fix this monster mess this instant. Wish I could help you guys out, but you took away all my fun stuff. Anyway, I'm off to finish my needlepoint. I'm making a pillow. Okay, okay. We'll give you all your destructive toys back. Just save this town! Pillow can wait. Yes! Hmm. The bazooka? Right, the bazooka! <laughs> Ready to do some gardening, partner? Hey, what's with the eye patch? Dramatic effect. Although I must confess, it does make it harder to drive. <laughs> Time for some old-fashioned destruction. <laughs> hey, shrubs! Time to make like a tree and leave. <laughs> See that coming? <laughs> no shrub eats me and gets away with it, no matter how awesome it is. I'm thinking we need a better plan. Hmm. Hey, since those shrubs become whatever their shape is, how about we just cut them into boring junk to save the city? Hmm. Works for me. Shall we commence? Ooh, it's topiary time. Ha <laughs> ha!
just like that, they beautified our park with a flower, a sun, even a pork chop. Pork belly's official cut of meat. Look, another beautiful shrub. A toilet? Really? It's perfect. I don't think anyone's ever been attacked by a toilet. Well, <laughs> funny story. At least Johnny finally put his destructive habits to a constructive use. Constructive use? <laughs> Who uses a topiary toilet? Greetings. My name is Thaddeus Porkbelly. Is there a place where I might wash my hands? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that's good juice. And once again, you have failed to scare me. Darn it! Johnny, I've seen it all. And you're gonna have to try a lot harder than that if you want to pull one over on your old man. <laughs> uh, still with the dad pranks? I can't even get him to flinch. It's like he's some kind of scare prank ninja. <laughs> but I'll get him. Oh, I'll get him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably be interesting. Hit it! Oh, dude, you're the one and I'm choosing to get with it, and it will make me a mess. This is terrible. You have to do something. What is Eugene doing out there? Wooing you? And you didn't think to do something about it? We are working on a very delicate experiment with particle acceleration, and that is very distracting! Why is it my job to get rid of him? Because you owe us big time for saving you last week. Or did you already forget about getting your head stuck in that time vortex? <laughs> Hang on, Johnny, we'll think of something. Uh, do you think you could hurry? <laughs> Okay, fine. Let's go, Dookie. Yeah. Hey! Go home, Eugene. Oh, but I'm not done wooing. La da dee, la da da. You're the best until you're mine. I shall not rest. Woozy, yes, yes, Susan, my girlfriend now. All right, lover boy, let's go. Huh? Sorry, stopped off at the kitchen for a snack. What I miss? Mm. Mm. I think we figured out what happened. Crazy things that frighten Dookie. Johnny and Eugene's accident with the particle accelerator caused the molecules in their body parts to speed up, thus weakening the bonding properties. Is it say what? <sighs> it means I can do this with his head. Cool! Now you two just sit here and be quiet. While we figure out a way to reverse the accelerator and keep your body parts from popping off. <laughs> you know that I Heart Susan shirt is too small. What are you talking about? It's just how I like it. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> now give me my arm back. Okay, here. Hey! Hey, Dookie, check it out. Handstand. Nice. I stop that. Girls, Johnny's making light of our hilarious condition. Johnny. Fine. Seriously, your shirt's too small. It is not. Here, let me show you. Oh, yeah, your shirt is too small. Wait a minute. Let me try something. Ooh, a perfect fit. Sorry, Jonathan. Your body is more satisfactory for my current shirt-wearing needs. I'm keeping it. Ta-da! Get back here! Hey, 
I'm gonna have to go with plan B. Johnny in a while. He's not out planning another scare prank on me, is he? No. All right. Hey, that looks dangerous. You're not messing around with some sort of particle accelerator, are you? No. All right, then. <sighs> so, how do we get inside that thing? Pick me up. I'll see what's on the other side of that fence. You know, this would be easier if you had your old body. Yeah, not helping. Oh, I can't reach the top of the fence. <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I see the keypad that opens the gate. Maybe I can hit it with something. Uh, stop going down. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! 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 If you make a that's using your head joke, I will bite you. Well, that's using your <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> Hello, Jonathan. I couldn't help but notice that my new hands are quite dry. Has no one taught you to moisturize? Give me back my body! Well, not if you're gonna have an attitude like that. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I have lasers, by the way. How come we somehow manage to encounter lasers everywhere we go? Get it? Feed the rest of me through. <laughs> when we're done here, you owe me something. I'm not sure what, but it's definitely gonna be something. I've been waiting for you, Jonathan. Come at you! Uh oh. Uh, hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> I think you'll find escape is quite impossible. You know, when I built this thing, I did not plan for that. I'm switching us back, bling bling. Over my dead body? Or. Your body, or that, well, you, you, whatever. Sweet. Hey! Ugh. All this upside down time is making Doggy dizzy. Hey, that's mine! Kind of. Oh no, you're not ganging up on me! <laughs> Also, ow! Computer, assemble body. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to wooing your sister. Oh, that's weird. For some reason, I don't really feel like pursuing my beloved. You just rolled your own head across the room like a bowling ball, and that's what you think is weird? I don't know what's the matter with me. It's like... My heart no longer beats for Susan Test. That's because your heart is beating over here in your body. Hmm. Oh, darn it. The talking head is right. I hate that. If the heart that loves Susan is inside the old bling bling, then old bling bling I shall be. You can have your body back, Jonathan. Aw, oh, that's really sweet. 
Hey, here's a thing. Somebody get me down from here! Okay, we've altered the machine to correct your molecules and make it so your arms and legs will stay where they belong. Ah, <sighs> beautiful and brilliant. Susan Test, you are a dream. Yeah, whatever. Who's first? Johnny, your turn. You think you can hold off on fixing me a minute? Sure, why not? Hi, Dad. Huh? Ah! Oh, gotcha. You must focus, Johnny San. Only then will you achieve your goal. <gasps> I'll never master the fabled sonic burp. It's easy, Johnny. Just imagine something truly disgusting. And your guts will do the rest. Observe. Um, now I'm thinking about cats. Um. I bow to you, Burp Master Dookie. Ah, shucks. It's nothing, really. The Turbo Tea House Time Machine? What's up with that? Hey, that guy stole my hair. And my skin! That's because I'm you, from the future. Four weeks in the future, to be exact. I'm here to warn you, whatever you do, don't use the stairs. Huh? Wow, a warning from future you. Better not use the stairs. Nor your bed, for that matter. Yeah, I don't trust anybody older than me. Especially me. That's weird. The top step broke when I stepped on it. Also weird. Why are you just standing there? Go get help! Still skeptical of future you? Uh, slightly less now. <sighs> Nothing better on a hot day than some frozen meaty pork pops. You know, I never thought society would accept the marriage of pork and ice cream, but I'm so glad it did. <laughs> Don't go in there. Yet. Future me again? Now, oh, why should we listen to you? Wait five seconds and you'll see. Out of the way, Jonathan! I'm in need of some scrumptious frozen pork! Okay, now go in. Congratulations! You're this store's one billionth customer! That means you win a year's supply of delicious pork pops! What? Hey! <laughs> Man, I can get used to this. Huh? Oh, man! Thanks, four weeks from now, me. No problem, oh, four weeks ago, me. Seriously, though. Open a window. Focus on what's most disgusting. Let your stomach do the rest. No more time travel. Whatever you do, do not time travel. Uh-oh, Johnny. Looks like you've got a severe beating in your future. Oh, no. Future me has been too awesome to get a beating. Follow me, Dookie. Blindly? As always. If anyone can save me from getting beat up, it's me. Hmm. Ah, all fixed. <laughs> Ow! Is why I told you not to time travel. <laughs> well, I guess we've learned a valuable lesson about being more specific, huh? What's this racket about? I've never seen this racket before. Also, what's with the loud noise? Mohawk? Wow, future me has cheesy lines, but it's so cool. Actually, I'm just going to a costume party later. Party? Wow, future me is so cool. Hey, sorry about that whole severely injuring you thing. Eh, I'm over it. Wow, the future's super advanced. Yep, Susan and Mary were really busy the last four weeks. Out of the way, out of the way! I'm late for my laser hoverball match! The future's totally awesome, but Bling Bling's still lame. <gasps> Wait a second, what's laser hoverball? 
Laser Hoverball is like volleyball plus tennis without the lameness. The idea is to keep you and the ball in the air at all times. You shoot the ball over the net with Air Armor Hand Blasters. Two key points. Don't get hit by the ball or land on the laser grid. So what you're saying is it's chock full of awesome sauce. Oh, well, it is, but it's also chock full of pain sauce. The ball and the grid are electrified. Ah! Pain sauce! Wow, the future is intense and pain saucy. Wow, Test, oh. you look like you were hit by a house or something. <laughs> Man, I'd like to shake your hand for that hilariously painful blink apocalypse. <laughs> future sissy? What? There's two of you? <laughs> Bring it on! Victory tastes sweeter the more tests I beat. Yeah, I was supposed to go up against Sissy in the laser hoverball tournament tomorrow. The ultimate tournament to determine who wins the title of Supreme Laser Hoverball King or Queen of the Universe. Yeah, laser hoverball requires limbs, and my limbs are out of commission, so... Looks like you forfeit. <laughs> Nobody's forfeiting anything. If future me can't play, then me, me will. I mean, I, me. I mean, oh, you're going down, sissy. Yeah, well, I hope you like pain sauce, because I'm going to cover you in it. <laughs> I leave for five minutes to get corn dogs, and you're already in trouble? No, I'm not. I just challenged sissy to a laser hoverball match. <gasps> but she's the best laser hoverball player in all of future pork belly. You're doomed for sure. It's only 24 hours till the game, and laser hoverball is impossible to master without a lot of hard work. And we both know how we feel about hard work. Fear not! I will become the supreme laser hoverball king or queen of the universe. But preferably king. Okay, the first thing you have to master with laser hoverball is the hover part. We'll start slowly. No, 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 don't! I'd say somebody's ready for some laser hoverball. Oh, 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 me, me, me! Oh, right, that's no, not me. <laughs> okay, no pressure, but everyone Sissy plays winds up in a full body cast speaking gibberish and getting attacked by swarms of bees. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any bees. <laughs> I prefer my body cast on you. Oh, this is so tense, I can't even eat my corn dogs. I can help with that. It's a figure of speech. You taste failure yet? All I taste is victory. Mm. And a bit of pork pop that was caught in my teeth. <laughs> Score's tied. Next point wins. I'm so nervous I can't even watch. <laughs> John is best. John is best. I win. I win. I win. Uh -huh. Yeah! Why all the gasping? Sheesh, you think showboaty dancing is against the rules. It is! Foul! Huh? No showboaty dancing allowed in laser hoverball! Say what? Your last point doesn't count. And you have to replay it with a penalty. <laughs> hey, my arm blasters! How am I supposed to play? No way he can win now. Win? He'll be obliterated! Wait a minute. If past Johnny is obliterated, that means future Johnny will be obliterated too. And that's me! <laughs> Johnny san, remember, you must focus. Something disgusting. Yes, Master Dookie. Focus I must. Um. Supreme laser hover.
Super Bowl king or queen of the universe for now. That's Mr. King or Queen to you. Ugh, stupid Johnny. That was the most epic belch I have ever seen. I couldn't have done it without you, Dookie. I have to ask, what was possibly disgusting enough to make you burp like that? Bees in a body cast? Nah, the grossest thing ever is the thought of Sissy beating me. <laughs> Even now it makes me... Come on, guys. Let's go celebrate with some delicious pork pops. Yeah, actually, future me, we gotta head back to the present. Yeah, I have to get ready for that costume party in a few weeks. Did I mention I'm going as future Dookie? <laughs> and I guess we both learned our lesson about traveling back in time. We sure have. I'm from the future with an urgent warning. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's so funny? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> Sorry, Johnny, but it really doesn't translate to human. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. To the lab. So let me get this straight. You want to understand what animals are talking about? What's the big deal? I already talked to Dookie. No one said that's normal. Well, we do have our brand new interspecies interpreter. We made it so that parents could understand what teenagers are saying, but I guess it could work with animals too. But make sure that you only listen and don't talk to the animals. You could upset the natural order of things. So no teaching monkeys how to make waffles. Hippos don't need to know how to hip hop. And yaks don't need to yodel. Johnny. <laughs> Hey, look who's back. The kid who wears the same clothes every day. <laughs> Don't talk, just listen. Don't talk, just listen. Ha! I've dug up bones to look better than those pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it! Hey, dog, at least I have pants. All you got is fleas. Hmm? Huh? Flamehead can understand us? Uh, no. No, I can't. Oh, this is bad. If humans can understand us, then we can't play dumb about stealing food or rubbing our butts on the carpet. Mm. Let's get out of here. So, I'm guessing your sister's had something to do with this. This interspecies talky thing is so cool. I'm going to find out what it's like to be an animal. Uh, hello. You could have just asked me. Yeah, not as much fun. Let's go see just how good this thing really is. To the zoo! <laughs> Any particular reason we're inside the cage? Shh. I know you're there. Uh, yeah. Uh, just so you know, I'm not gonna teach you how to escape. You understood what I said? Uh huh. And I'm definitely not gonna show you where the guard leaves his keys, so you can. Not interested. Trust me. Wait. What? You don't want out of here? Are you kidding me? This place is marvelous. You like the zoo? Everyone loves it here. If I had two thumbs, they'd both be up. We get a lay around while one person feeds us and another washes our butts. <laughs> oh, chipmunks. Johnny, there you are. Not talking to any animals, I hope. Nope, just listening and learning. Good. Then we want you to ask the zebra how they got their stripes. Thought you're not supposed to talk to animals. Natural order and junk. Yeah, but this is for science. <laughs> well, it was either stripes or plaid, and stripes make you look thin and less tasty, so... Right. I'll pass that on to my sisters. Thanks. Hey, don't talk to them spoiled brats. They don't know nothing. Yeah, you want to know what it's like to be a real animal? Then talk to us. We ain't pampered like princess here. <laughs> yeah, it's tough on the outside. Come on. We got chipmunking to do. Huh. Chipmunks, so negative. Ah, what's the use? We're doomed to a life of scrounging for nut scraps. 
Yeah, that never works out for us. Johnny wants to talk to Tiny Sad Chipmunk. Johnny wants to talk so bad. Honey? What? I haven't destroyed the city or anything. You haven't destroyed the city or anything yet. <laughs> Watch! Come on, guys. It's not that bad. Cheer up. <laughs> you gotta think positive. But all this nut collecting is so hard. Well, you could make it easier. Huh? How? Think about it. You're tough, street smart, and there's thousands of you. If you guys pulled together and got organized, you could have all the nuts in town. You can do this. Hey, maybe he's right. Come on. <laughs> Johnny! What? I didn't teach the lion how to escape or anything. Then what are you doing? Just cheering up those poor chipmunks. They feel left out. Well, if they weren't so negative, they'd realize if they pulled together and got organized, they could have all the nuts in town. That's what I told them. What? You told them? <laughs> chipmunks and pork belly! Unite! Really? They're just chipmunks. Suppose chipmunks learn to drive, do you? Huh, so they got a tank. Big deal. What are they gonna do? Rob a store? <laughs> what did he say? Who knows? Just give him the nuts! Chaos reigns as chipmunks attack Pork Belly's nut stores. Nuts and such, completely nuts, totally nuts, nutty nuts, nuts nuts, and of course, the nut store. Can you tell us what's going on here? Uh, no idea. Chipmunks, they're so unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He told them that if they got organized, they could take over the town. <laughs> Oopsie. Hey, kid. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Listen. We were thinking that maybe you could stop and have everything go back to normal, huh? Well, we were thinking first we'd take over a few stores, then we'd take over Pork Belly, and then... Don't tell me. You're gonna take over the world. Take over the world? Great plan, isn't it? They've taken a tank, stolen all the nuts in town, and now they're gonna conquer the world! Good thing we have an army to stop them. I sure could get used to this lockdown thing. Oh, wait. We don't. Hmm. Then we'll have to make our own army. To the zoo! <laughs> Come on, guys. Only animals can fight animals, and you're all we have left to save Pork Belly. Ooh, I haven't swung a paw in years. My tail hurts. <sighs> okay. Think of it this way. After the chipmunks finish off the town, where do you think they'll attack next? It rhymes with the word zoo. Oh, wait. It is the word zoo. Oh. Let's take them down. <laughs> eh, I'm just not feeling it today. <gasps> As a lion of honor, I have been called to duty and shall serve. That's why he's the king of the jungle. <laughs> Just give them what they want! Okay, time for plan B. Stop! A new exhibit at the zoo? With heated toilet seats? 
Shrimp cocktail? I bet those spoiled brats have free Wi-Fi, too. That's it. We're gonna finish this off once and for all. To the zoo! <laughs> I had a feeling that would get their attention. Chipmunks charge! Look! Welcome to Chipmunk World! An entire exhibit just for us! This is awesome! <laughs> I got a butt washing appointment at three! Cannonball! Oh, there goes the neighborhood. We'll take this, thank you. And there goes my ability to talk to animals. So will you be able to handle only understanding one animal from now on? I sure will, Fuzzy Buddy. At least you won't drive me nuts. Nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Give us a kiss, Johnny. <laughs> okay, this is officially the weirdest monster I've ever faced. <laughs> Please tell me there's a reason I almost got smooched to death. Uh, we were trying to create a smear-proof lipstick and accidentally made a monster. But it's not a total loss. The monster doesn't have any lipstick smears on its teeth. That's because it's smeared all over me! Ah! Ah! Any chance we can just hold hands? I'll take that as a no. All right, Smoochie. Time to kiss you goodbye. No, not lemons. They make me pucker. <laughs> nice work, Johnny. I guess we can kiss that monster goodbye. <laughs> I already said that. Uh, I'm not so sure you did. Actually, Johnny did say it first. I found it rather hurtful. Oh. Well, I stand corrected. Another monster defeated, and in record time. Now to properly dispose of the monster. And this is the part where we leave. Actually, Johnny, you could be a big help if you just... Break for lunch? No problem. Come on, Dookie. <laughs> hey, you ever wonder what your sisters do with those monsters? Nah, I wonder what kind of sandwiches Dad made for lunch, though. Ooh, I hope they're BLTs. Susan, Mary, Dad said you have to eat lunch. <laughs> Someone ate the last BLT. <laughs> hey, get your tentacles off my sisters. Kiss them goodbye, Johnny. <laughs> Wait for me. Whoa. Johnny, this place is weird. You know I don't like weird. I think that lip monster used that portal to capture the girls and transport them to his whole planet. Well, then they won't mind me eating their sandwiches. <laughs> Come on, we've got to find my sisters. Well, if it isn't our monster creations. <laughs> You've brought us back to our island of failed experiments so you can destroy us. <laughs> no, no. We've got something much worse for you, too. <laughs> We're gonna leave you stranded on this deserted, boring island. Yeah, see how you like being bored every second of every day. I miss you! So, you're not gonna destroy anyone? Oh, yes we are. We're gonna destroy your brother, Johnny. He's the only thing standing between us and Pork Belly. Yeah, where we're really gonna have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, boys. <laughs> hey, my shoe! <sighs> yes, Trevor, we know. They may be dim-witted, failed experiments, but they're dangerous. I hope Johnny's all right. Don't worry. Our little brother is tough. Nothing gets past him. Ow! Hey, this alien space junk looks familiar. Johnny, that's Invention B-171, the bubblegum blaster. Susan and Mary made it, and you used it to defeat that hair monster. What makes you say that? It says it right there. You're right. Now I remember. Ah! Ah! 
Less of a monster and more of a shoe. I'm a shoe! I'm a shoe! I'm a shoe! All right, Flatfoot, you're about to be tied up. I'm a shoe! Man, you've had some great action star one liners. And here's the super duper dowser I used on that lip monster. Uh, can we please skip the flashback? Sure, Dookie. Because this isn't an alien world. This is where the girls store their extra inventions and monsters. Are you telling me this place is full of evil, crazy, nasty things your sisters created and we defeated? Yep. And I bet they'd love to get even with us. Heck yeah, yeah we would! would. Uh, hey, guys. Funny thing, we were just talking about you. All right, hand over my sisters, you monsters. I've beaten you before, and I can do it again. <laughs> That worked before. <laughs> Lip gloss. Liquid strip right off. Hmm? What's going on here? My new condition that makes my hair gum proof. Not to mention silky smooth. I'm a shoe! You heard Trevor! He has Velcro instead of laces now, so you can't tie him up. Wait. His name is Trevor. We've overcome our weaknesses, Johnny. You can't stop us now. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're going to enjoy this. Oh, this looks bad. I hope you have a plan. I sure do. <laughs> Those monsters know all our moves. Don't worry, Tuki. I'm sure if we use teamwork, we can stop them. Together, we're unbeatable. Johnny, your teamwork plan is at work. that Johnny doesn't have his sidekick dog, we'll beat it for sure. <laughs> sidekick? I always thought of Johnny and I as equal partners. Dookie, I can't believe those monsters captured you, too. I'm so sorry, girls. No, Dookie, this is all our fault. We didn't have the heart to destroy our creations when we had the chance, and now they're gonna destroy Johnny and rule Pork Belly. What? No, 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 no. I'm sorry I ate your sandwiches. <laughs> Okay, just need to lay low and think of a plan. Those monsters won't be able to find me up in this tree. Found him! He's up in this tree! So, uh... Hello, Johnny! This is the most fun we've had in a long time! Yeah, or like ever. Prepare to be destroyed, Johnny Test! Oh. Having to see we poopery soap. That gross. Hmm. You may have fixed your own weaknesses, but not each other's. Uh oh. Time to wash your mouth out with soap. Oh, it's gross. It tastes so gross. Uh oh. Looks like someone's having a bad hair day. No. You'll give me split ends! I'm a shoe! I'm a shoe! I'm a shoe! Oops, you stepped in something. I'm a shoe! Hmm. <laughs> ah, you're out of weapons and puns, Johnny Test! Lemon juice isn't gonna stop me! You're right! So it's lucky I found this flamethrower! A flame rock? Oh! <laughs> Johnny Four, Monster Zero. I may be a heap of crustiness, 
But that was kind of fun. Could we do it again? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Better get used to being slaves, girls, because without me, Johnny will never beat those monsters. Ahem. <clears throat> Johnny! Johnny? Uh, <laughs> funny thing, I, I was just... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I knew you could do it! Girls, wasn't I just saying Johnny could do it? <laughs> Thanks for the save, little brother. Now, to deal with these monsters before they destroy Pork Belly. <laughs> Wait! I have a better way to stop them. And there's plenty of fun at their New Island theme park. Camera's coming up. Everyone smile and say... Choo! Cheers! I can't believe it. Pork Belly finally has its own totally gnarly, ridiculously dangerous crazy bike stunt park. I'd be as excited as you, Johnny, if I wasn't so ridiculously terrified. Sharks? I mean, seriously! <laughs> It's the unjumpable Mega Gap. <gasps> oh, crap. Johnny must jump it. To the garage! Good old two wheels. Takes a lick in and keeps on. Okay, maybe it took one too many lickings. To the lab! Johnny, we can't fix your bike. We're sick. How <laughs> do oh, I know you're not faking just to get out of helping me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're not faking. Our science project is due. Mm. If you don't deliver it for us by the deadline, we'll fail and end up being tour guides in the Museum of Stinky Socks. Ugh, been there. It's way overrated. So will you help us? Mm. No. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to find someone else to deliver our project on the Strike Bike 4000. <laughs> Composite frame and unlabeled mysterious buttons. I'm in. You can ride it on one condition. You go straight to the Institute with our project. No dilly dally. What? Me? Dilly? Ah, uh, we'll go straight there, right, Dookie? Yeah, sure. Hey, where am I supposed to sit? The handlebars? <laughs> nope. There's a button for that. <laughs> oh, squishy. <laughs> There's pretty much a button for everything. Cool. Got one there for a double-decker pizza? We're serious, Johnny. No fooling around. Our project has to get there for first period or we fail. So go straight there. Relax. What do I look like? Some guy who wouldn't go straight there? Just leave it to Johnny. What are these for? They will let you ride the BMX park without them. BMX park? Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Don't worry, dog. This bike's got rocket boosters, which means we can go to the park first, and I can be the first to launch over the Mega Gap, and we'll still have plenty of time to get to the Institute. Oh, well, I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure all those firsts don't add up. They do to me. To the bike park! <laughs> Jonathan. Hey, bling bling. Nice outfit. Could I perchance have that package? What? Why? It's just a stupid science project. Yes, but it's your sister's project. Half of it smells like Susan. Huh. I'll give you a million dollars. A million dollars? Whoa. With that much money, I can buy a bike park. And your sisters will flunk? Try again. Sorry, Eugene. No package for you and no Susan either. I see. Then prepare to suffer the wrath of Sir Bling Bling, the Black Knight! Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Baseball cannon! Punch a button! Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Might take a little while to get the hang of this. Let's try again. How about the button that takes us away from danger? Gotcha! Ta-ta! Ah, 
Ah, you just had to go to the park, didn't you? Relax, I'll get the package back. Let's try this button. Huh? A glove? What am I supposed to do with that? Throw it at him? Uh, maybe you're supposed to use it to do, like, some nighty stuff. <laughs> cool. Charge! Gotcha! Hey! Oh. All right, we still have time for the BMX park. Johnny Tess, we meet again. We do? Yeah, I don't think we've ever met. Yeah, I'm Tim Burnout. I stole your sister's technology and created Mr. Mittens. Oh, Mr. Mittens, yeah. I know him. Still don't know you. You will now! Hey! Sorry, but I gotta stop your sisters from winning all the scholarships. Oh, I don't think so. But we've got orders to seize that box. It's a matter of national security. But you don't even know what's in it. Exactly. Imagine if it fell into the wrong hands. Thank you. Hey! I can't see! Hit the glasses, wipers! Our glasses don't have wipers! Johnny, the project! Ah! There's got to be something we can use to catch that package. Ah! Oh, there it is. This is not what I signed up for! <laughs> yeah, got it! Wait, who's got me? Ah! I do! And backside airbag system. Cushy on the tushy. <laughs> but tushy doesn't like that! Or that! Or that either! Sorry, do something! Rocket booster! Oh! Ouch. Oh. What's your problem, guy man? I almost had it. No, no we, we did, did dude guy. guy. Well, it seems we are all after the same thing. But none of us are gonna get it as long as Johnny has that bike. Right, you are sparkle, dude. Maybe we should work together. Combine our weaponry. Ha! Us work with you, but we're the good guys. And you don't even have suits. Ah! Stop arguing! Let's just get him! Johnny, the clock is ticking. Half the city is after us, and your sister's future is at stake. Do you really think this is a good time for the BMX park? Relax, dog. There's always time for dangerous jumps over man-eating sharks, right? <sighs> Fine, we'll go to the Institute. Johnny, look out! Ah! Give us the package! Time for Burnout Laser Blast! Time to give that bucket of bolts a new paint job! Oh, this might hurt. Johnny! Where's the Save Your Best Buddy button? You're right. This is pretty tush friendly. Johnny, that was too close. Let's just quit, go home, and hide from your sister's wrath forever! No way! I promise to deliver that package, and that's what I'm gonna do! Oh, now you care about the promise. The girl said there was a button for everything. Well, if one button doesn't stop it, maybe all of them at once will. Or it could explode and destroy us in a fiery mess! We're just gonna have to take that chance. to throw a strike. He's out! The project! Ah, we're out of buttons! But not out of rocket fuel! Got it! Sorry, Johnny. Our orders ordered us to get you, and now we've got you. Ha! The 
bet you don't have a button for this. No, no, I do not. Any chance you guys have something to stop us from crashing? No, no, we do not. <laughs> Very nice. This antibacterial ball pit will cut down on spread of pink eye, red measles, black plague, and seven other colorful diseases. A plus science indeed. <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny. You made it. Hey, you're not sick. You fakers. Sorry, but we needed you to test our real science project, the Strike Bike 4000. You get an A++. It was the bike the whole time? Huh. Yeah, I think we would have figured that out. So our intelligence reports were fakes? Super fakes. Buy us. Yeah. Hey, we could have been killed. Or worse, really hurt. My feelings are hurt. And who are you again? Tim Burnhouse! All right, you hurt Tom Burpout's feelings. Not cool. Oh, relax, Johnny. You get to keep the bike. Okay, I'm good. What about us? <laughs> Everybody ready? Ready! It may take them a while to get the hang of the buttons. <laughs> Got a button on there for shark repellent? <laughs> Sissy? 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 Right here, Mr. Teacher Man. Oh, there you are. Johnny? 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 Sorry I'm late, Mr. Teacher Man. <laughs> I was trying to think up an excuse for being late, but... Yeah, I got nothing. Well, normally I'd say at least you try. But this is one tardiness too many. There's no excuse that could have saved you this time, Johnny. Really? So if aliens landed and started fighting ninjas on your lawn and only I could stop them from smashing your flowers, that wouldn't be a good excuse? Of course not. Everyone knows there's no such thing as ninjas. Now go to the principal's office. All right, fine. But don't call me when your flowers get kung fu <laughs> I like you, Johnny. But if everyone was late like you, we wouldn't have any school. Cool. No, not cool. Because now I've got to give you detention. Detention? But it's not my fault. The halls are insane. I can barely move. Never mind making in time to be bored by class. Give me a B! Hey, give me an O! <laughs> Come on, move it! Come on, move it, move it! Some of us have places to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on! <laughs> That kid should deliver pizzas. If you want me to get to class on time, you've got to fix the problem. You're absolutely right, Johnny. Yeah. Which is why I'm making you the new hall monitor. <laughs> no way. That's lame. It comes with this badge. <laughs> Toss in some mirrored sunglasses, and I'm in. Time to introduce this school to Johnny Law. Stop! In the name of... I'm gonna need backup. <laughs> You're the hall monitor? Oh, the irony. That's like putting me in charge of the meat fridge. <laughs> Say, that's a good idea. No way. This badge is about justice, honor, and more justice. I'm here to bust violators. So, let me get this straight. You're just doing this for the satisfaction of helping your fellow man. You've got it, dog. And I'm gonna clean up this town. Uh, don't you mean hall? Hall. Town. Intergalactic Space Depository. It's all the same when you're busting bad guys. of Johnny. Huh? <laughs> Who the heck are you? Tell the principal Johnny sent you. <laughs> Tell the principal Johnny sent you. <laughs> Keep it moving, Chauncey. Watch where you put that gum, Fred. No nitting in the halls, Ida. Thank you, Officer Test. You're my hero. I never thought you could pull it off, but you proved me wrong, Johnny. 
Good for you. Just doing my job, sir. Now move along. You're slow in traffic. Well, I suppose nothing's perfect. It will be on my watch. I appreciate your can-do attitude, Johnny, but no one's ever been able to catch the speedster. No one. Until now. With this badge and these glasses, I'm unstoppable. You sure you don't want to quit while you're ahead? You don't even know who the speedster is. I know how I can find out. <laughs> want to stop by the nurse's office on the way? Yes, please. Um, is this hall pass guaranteed? It's guaranteed to make me mad if you don't buy it. Party's over, Bumper. I need some information. Why should I help you, Test? Because if you don't, I'm taking you down. Down where? To the big house, the clink, the slammer, the pokey. The hokey pokey? No, he means detention. But you help us out, maybe we forget all this. No way! I'm no snitch! All right, detention it is. Pad of hall passes. What's that gonna get him? Looking at five days for the pads. Ten for signing as the principal. What's that add up to, Bumper? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't make me do math! Anything but math! Then tell me who the speedster is. <laughs> the speedster is Sissy! Yes! Who's gonna be late for class now, Sissy? You are. Uh huh. That's right. Uh, who's he talking to? I'm pretty sure he's lost it. This bust is gonna make me a legend. I'll be put in the Hall Monitor Hall of Monitors. Yeah, look, I'm sure everyone will be happy you caught her, but don't you think you should just tell the principal it's Sissy? No way! This is my collar, dog. <gasps> hey, Sissy! Or should I say, Speedster! <gasps> Busted! Tell the principal Johnny sent you. But you can't catch Tess. Wow, that pump really works. Get back here, Sissy! Slow down! Stop in the name of Johnny! <laughs> I'm losing her. Dookie, where's my eye in the sky? Coming online now. Scanning. No traffic on the railing. Use it! <laughs> What's the matter, sissy? Nowhere to run. Hall's blocked off. No way out. You've got her, Johnny. <laughs> why can't I catch her? I've got the badge. It's shiny and powerful and shiny and... Why can't I catch her? Don't take it so hard. There's a reason every other hall monitor couldn't catch her either. She's just too fast. Then I have to be faster. I need to borrow something in the form of a super security guard, speedster, stopping megabot. Got anything like that? No! Well then, what's that over there? <laughs> it's our non-lethal sentry suit, which the general just rejected for not being explosive enough. But it's perfect! It's big and fast and scary, and we'll totally stop Sissy. This suit's designed to secure a weapons compound, not help you with Sissy. Fine. Don't help me. It's not like I'm trying to save one of your biggest fans. Uh, all I want is for someone to stop the scary speedster so I can get to class and study and be as dorky and brainy as Susan and Mary Test. She wants to be like us? Yeah, but since you won't let me use a suit, she's gonna fail out of school and have to live under the bridge with all the other kids you wouldn't help. You can use it! Yes! But only if you promise not to hit the button marked lethal. That's only for emergencies. Relax. I don't even know what lethal means. He really needs to get to class on time. Huh? Hold it right there, sissy. Oh, come on, Test. Haven't you had enough? This answer your question? Hey, grab me a red gush, would you? You've met your match, sister. There's no escape from whatever sweet weapon this button fires. Gum? What kind of dumb weapon shoots bubble gum? A great one. You're late! Again! Now you really met your match, because I found another button, and it's gonna fire the best weapon ever! Stinky, 
these sock rockets? Oh, oh come on! No wonder the general didn't buy this suit. It doesn't work! Well, that, and it shoots gum and socks instead of missiles. Maybe I'm just not hitting the right buttons. Johnny, what are you doing? I have to stop her. The badge says so. Oh. And they drank tea happily ever... Never mind. Gum, socks, and rockets, and still no sissy. Looks like you're out of bad ideas. Wrong. I got at least one more. Face it, Test. Even with your suit, you'll never bust me. This badge said you're wrong. Will you please help me to class? That robot scales me. Of course. See what you're doing, Test? You're scaring kids, you're not helping them. I'm pretty sure I'm helping them. What? <laughs> Sorry, Speedster, but your luck just ran out. I, I can't believe it. She totally fell for the little girl bit. Worked on my genius sisters. Why not Sissy? I'm the best hall monitor ever. You are the worst hall monitor ever. But I caught the Speedster. And destroyed the school in the process. I quit. From clearing out the halls to cleaning up the halls. Start working, Johnny. Let's go, Speedster. Well, at least nobody's ever gonna be late again. Johnny! 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 Rocket boots! Laser belt! Atomic comb! Oh, I'm probably gonna regret asking, but why are you naming and throwing inventions over your shoulder? Because it's Easter, and I need something awesome to win the annual Easter egg hunt. Ah, the egg hunt. That magical candy tradition where your sisters beat the pants off you every year. And the winner of the Easter egg hunt is Susan and Mary Tess. <laughs> Yeah, they cheated. Turning me into an egg-laying chocolate chicken is not exactly in the rules. Perhaps not, but your eggs were delicious. <laughs> we agreed to never <laughs> speak of that again. Besides, this year, I'm totally gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> no way, little brother. Oh, yes way. Cause this year, I'm not gonna be your egg-laying guinea pig chicken thing. Don't need you to. We've got Easter inventions covered. Behold! The Turbo Easter Egg Imager with satellite tracking to pinpoint all egg locations. And our new 4D vision goggles. Complete with x-ray, infrared, and laser precision vision. Everything needed to spot Easter eggs. But don't feel bad, Johnny. There's a scientific reason we always win. Yeah, we're awesome. Yeah! Uh -huh. We're geniuses. Yeah. Then I challenge you to a test family egg collection contest. Go on! Whoever collects the most eggs and wins a contest gets the other test kids candy. You're on! Hope you enjoy losing candy, Johnny. Woohoo! We're They're right, Johnny. Those inventions look particularly sciencey. Oh, yeah? Well, so does uh, this awesome rotten ray. Yeah, with this baby, I'm totally gonna win. No running. Only one basket per kid. That's not chocolate! Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, son! No weapons or rays allowed in the Easter egg hunt. What? But Susan and Mary get to use their stuff. <laughs> I'm sure whatever they have is harmless. Besides, Easter is about hugs, love, and candy. Not rays, weapons, and destruction. Sorry, Johnny. Without your sister's inventions, I don't see how you're gonna win. Don't worry. I have a backup secret weapon. My egg-sniffing best pal. Hey, I thought I was your best pal. Uh, dude, you are? And I need that super sniffer of yours. Nah, I'll pass. I'll split the candy with you. Ooh, I'm in. Let the Easter egg hunt begin! Johnny Tess, prepare to be destroyed. Oh, great. Not today. I have been waiting for this day for... No, oh, no, you don't, Mr. Dark Vegan. This is Easter, and Easter is a fun, happy time for kids only. 
But this is destroy your nemesis month. See? I'm sorry. You'll just have to try to destroy my son another day. Shoo, shoo. Go on. Go on. Out, 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 out. That was sweet, Dad. You're like a fluffy, fuzzy bunny superhero. It's all part of being an official Easter bunny. Now, let the Easter hunt begin. <laughs> I think I've got something. Go, Dookie, go! Mmm, bacon breakfast burrito. <laughs> Would you focus? Susan and Mary are beating us. Right! Found one! Nice work. Nothing's gonna stop us from beating Susan and Mary. No, nothing is gonna stop you except me, Johnny Test. I'll play your little Easter games if that's what it takes to destroy you once and for all. <laughs> Ooh, an egg. Hmm, the signal seems weak. Better activate satellite laser positioning. It's still not working right. We did connect it to the right satellite, didn't we? Oh, there we go. Ah, here it is. Another egg and another championship. Sorry. That's one weird-looking kid. I have you now. Oh, sorry, kid. Mustache? Let me switch my gamma setting. <laughs> I'm horribly allergic to gamma radiation. Painful, itchy, hives! Yeah, uh, hold on. I have a soothing white light right here. <laughs> oh, I can't see. <laughs> no rocket blasting. Curse that meddlesome bunny. Mm. Uh -oh. What did I just say about rockets? That's it! You're coming with me! Is it me, or are the kids in this neighborhood getting uglier? You are in a timeout, little boy, until you realize that Easter is about hugs, love, and candy. Attention, egg hunters! The hunting is over, so please report to the table for final count! Uh. Oh, it's over, all right. Over for Johnny Test! <laughs> all right, it's 11, uh, 12. Get ready to lose, Johnny, again! No way. You're going down, and I'll be eating all of your sweet candy. So you like the taste of candy eggs, eh, Johnny? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see how you like the smell of rotten ones. <laughs> Kids got my rotten ray. Oh, I'm no ugly kid. It is I, the handsome dark vegan, come to ruin your Easter. Dude, seriously? Ha <laughs> ha! Smell my vengeance! <laughs> huh. I just smell candy. Huh, guess the ray didn't work. It just doesn't turn things into the kind of rotten you're thinking. Now might be a good time to leave. Oh, rotten as in mean little sucker. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> This is better than I imagined. Go, my egg army, and destroy Johnny Test! No, wait! I am your leader! No, 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 no! not the jelly beans! We've got to stop those eggs before they destroy all the candy! And pork belly! One thing at a time! Let's roll! Hey, grab them! Are vicious. 
So much for Dad saying Easter was all about hugs, love, and candy. And I guess we should kiss candy goodbye forever. <laughs> goodbye, sweet friend. <laughs> Hey, it's normal again. And delicious. Wait a minute. Dad might have been onto something with that lovey junk. The positive emotional reaction to the eggs must have overpowered the rotten ray's crabbing effects. That's how we can beat these rotten eggs. We have to love them back to normal. Yeah, can that not be it? Because kissing's not really my thing. <laughs> Start loving! <laughs> 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 you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Happy Easter! That looks like the last of them. Well, except for those pummeling dark vegans. Yeah. Ah, stop! Ooh, watch out! Stop that! Ooh, I gave you life! Ooh. Johnny just saved Dark Vegan. Who are you, and what have you done with our little brother? Well, you know what Dad says. Easter's about hugs, love, and candy. Wait, all the eggs went haywire before we could finish counting. So how do we know who won the contest? According to the Easter Bunny guidebook, if candy eggs sprout legs and behave badly, all contestants are declared winners. That's oddly specific. What does that mean? It means we all win and get to eat candy. You may be safe on Easter, Johnny. But tomorrow, I will destroy you! But first... Are there any more jelly beans? Yeah, there's more over there. Best Easter ever! <laughs> ha! Ooh. Kick Slapper 16 is awesome! I hope you're hungry, because you're getting served a crazy combo! <laughs> and now, for the ferocious finisher! <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, no, not all right. Going down. <laughs> Looks like a case of combat cramp. Don't worry, I know just what to do. Right, left, right, up, down, up, down, thumb, pinky, thumb, pinky. Now press start. You fixed me. How did you do that? Let's just say every true gamer in the early 80s knew the secret to overcoming combat cramp. Wait, you were a gamer? How is it that I never knew this? And why aren't we playing video games together like right now? Because something happened to be so awful, so painfully unbearable, that I vowed to never, ever play video games ever again! Forever! Whoa! What happened? Were you attacked by a game? <gasps> Someone lose a pinky? A thumb? A whole body? No, worse. <laughs> I can't even talk about it! <laughs> Drama! Dookie, I think there's a lot more to this story. We gotta find out what happened and make it right. Well, that's impossible, unless we were somehow able to travel back in time to the early 1980s. Exactly! To the Turbo Tea House time machine! <sighs> Me and my big mouth. <laughs> what do you want? No, oh, nothing. I just left some things and stuff in the Tea House time machine that I, um, need right now. Johnny, there is no way we're letting you travel through time. You clearly we don't understand the potential consequences of altering the space-time continuum, and, 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 and... Hey, girls I've never seen before. Yeah! Oh. Johnny called and said there was a total emergency. Yeah, emergency over. Thanks, Gil. There's no way people actually dress this dumb. We're gonna totally stand out. Yo! Gnarly dudes! You guys here to join in the totally righteous to the max tourney? <laughs> I think the language is English and he's saying hi. We are looking for a person named Q-Test! The wicked awesome so rad gamer! <laughs> he's over there. <laughs> hey! Look at this! 
the leader of the Dark Brigade. <laughs> Why don't you, like, take a hike, Bopper? Oh, I'll, like, take a hike. I'll, like, take a hike after I, like, completely humiliate you because this tournament is mine. You got it, dweeb. <laughs> no one talks to my dad like that. I'm gonna take Bopper down in that tournament. Uh, Johnny, I don't think joining the tournament is such a great idea. You could mess up the whole space-time continuum thingy. Good! I want to mess it up, because Bopper's the reason my dad doesn't play video games anymore. That's all gonna change when I crush him myself! <laughs> How do you even know you can win the whole thing? Look what game it is! Kick Slapper 1! I've already beaten Kick Slapper 16! So that means I'm 16 times better at this game than everyone else. Yeah, I'm not sure that's how math works. You got a box against the wall. Time to make this right. We're tired of getting pushed around. We won't go without a fight. Cause it's us against the world. No kidding, no many world. Except ourselves. game plays you in the championship game. I know. The weird thing is, Dad seems like the better gamer. So how can Bopper ever beat him? Another chop, a slap, and I win! Ow, 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 ow. 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 Combat cramp! Yes! No one beats the Bopper! Just a crazy combo, and... Yes! Johnny's the winner, Buffer's the loser. <laughs> we get the trophy. I told you, no one beats the Bopper. That trophy is mine. We better run. <laughs> There's no time quite like the present time. Huh. And you were worried about the space-time continuum. Uh, yeah. Johnny, something doesn't seem right in here. Hey, my sisters must have redecorated. I think we set off the decorations. <gasps> Susan, look! Ah! A couple of lab rats transchanged into humans. Wait, what? Ah! They like talk! <laughs> the lab rat apocalypse is finally upon us. Set up! I'm searching for my teeth. It's hard to bite your toenails without your teeth, don't you know? Dad! What's going on? Everybody's freaky! Dad? I think you have me confused. No, you're my dad. You're married to her, my mom. Only the version of her that has all her teeth. I'm not married to her. I'm just a housekeeper. But if you're not married to her, then... Hey, Lila! Oh, there you are. Yeah. Who are you? Human lab rats who want to exact their revenge on us! Okay. That was Bopper, but not my dad. But it was my mom and kind of my sisters, and. And now what's happening to my hand? It's disappearing! Cool. No, not cool! Don't you see what's happening? Your mom never married your dad, which means you were never born. Now you're being erased from existence. And if you're erased from existence, it means you never saved me from the pound. Which means... Ah! I'm being erased too! It's okay. All we gotta do is re-alter reality to the TL's time machine! Oops. No one breaks into my house. Oh, he missed! He missed because we're fading from existence! Dookie, that's brilliant! That's how we'll get in! We may have timed that wrong. You think? Please don't hurt us! We're not mutated lab rats! We know! <laughs>
We checked out your new Fandangle tea house. This is a time machine, isn't it? Yes. Did you go in the past and mess up the space-time continue? Whatever. Yes. In our alternate reality, are we smarter than we are now? And do we have this ridiculous hair? Yes to the first question, no to the second. Well then, get back to the past and fix reality <laughs> and our hair! Now all we gotta do is not join the tournament, which we've done. The future should be fine. You can't beat me! <laughs> Take that and that and this and that! Look, everyone's cheering for my dad. And he's winning. Oh. Ah, take that. And another. Ah, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna. <laughs> I got this. Johnny, don't do it. This is how the past should be. No, I'm not gonna do it. Dad is. <laughs> Who are you? I'm here to help. Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, thumb, biggie, thumb, biggie. Now get up there and beat the popper. Awesome. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I win, I win. What's the matter? I don't want to get out because you altered the past again. Ah! See, now your sisters are cyborgs. We're not cyborgs. We're testing an electromagnetic converter so that we can read Gil's mind. Now read my lips and get out of the lab before we test something painful on you too. See, normal. Mom? Oh, hi, Johnny. Sorry, no time to talk. I'm getting in some speed yoga before an important meeting. See. Normal. Johnny, there you are. I just cracked level 18 in Kick Slapper. Suit up and get ready to go down. Okay, less normal. You play video games? Play? No. Dominate? Yes. <laughs> and you were worried we changed the world. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, no. <laughs> Let's move, move, move! I gotta get to Meat Loafs R Us before all the good loaf is snatched up! Don't forget you're dropping us off at the Institute. We've got a bar on nuclear servo for an experiment we're conducting. Girl, thanks for the enhanced hair conditioner, but it was supposed to give my hair more body and more life, not a body and a life. You get me to the salon now. This stuff is growing as we speak. Later, skaters. Have fun! Get in the car, Johnny! I don't want to go! Besides, I can take care of myself. I'm super responsible. I've got all your emergency numbers on speed dial, and Dookie is part guard dog. <laughs> yeah, I trained him to do that. Look, your mom and I aren't comfortable leaving you alone. Oh, come on. How old were you when your dad left you in charge? Uh, well, uh, probably your age. Hmm. Honey? Okay, here's the deal. You're in charge for the next hour, but it comes with a few responsibilities. One, no friends in the house. Two, no overeating and keep the kitchen spotless. And three, stay out of the lab and away from our latest experiment, the micro beetle. It's highly destructive and can burrow through anything. So don't let it out. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No labby beetly thing. Sound boring anyways. <laughs> Look, we've been there before. Being in charge is a big deal. If you get in too deep, there's a last resort, a secret password. For the love of fiddlesticks. What kind of stupid password is that? Oh, that kind of stupid password. Okay, it's go time! Susan, what's the sitch? We are raring to go! Sorry, General. There is no situation. Johnny accidentally said the secret password out loud. So you're not in imminent danger? Not this time. Sorry, boys! Pause alarm! Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ice cream! I hope they got my favorite flavor, caramel flush. <laughs> okay, Johnny, you're in charge. Don't let us down. Right, Johnny now in charge. Now you go, vroom vroom. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, house, Johnny's in charge. Johnny's in charge of lunch. Johnny's in charge of fun. Johnny's in charge of everything. 
You know, out of all the meats, I think pastrami is the most aerodynamic. <laughs> uh -oh. Look at this mess. Relax. Johnny's in charge. An automatic vacuum cleaner. Nice. Now let's move this bad boy into the other room and get our game on. Mistake. This was definitely a mistake. <laughs> Your dad, thanks for participating, trophy from the Meatloaf Olympics! No! Johnny's in charge of catching. Okay, on board, what's next? Hmm. To the lab! <laughs> Which your sister specifically told you to stay out of. So let's go. <laughs> Boring. Anti-boredom device? So boring. Still bored. Hey, what's that? Oh, nothing, 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 nothing at all. Except for your sister's deadly micro beetle. This thing is dangerous? Back away from the box. What? He looked bored. Speaking of which, I'm bored again. <sighs> of course you are. So, how's the weekend treating you? Yeah, mine's pretty good. <laughs> Just stocking up on the loaf. The wife's at the salon. Daughters are doing their thing. <laughs> My son's at home. Left him in charge. <laughs> in charge? <laughs> When I was a kid and my parents left me in charge, I spilled grape juice on my mom's best doily. That's lame. Hm? Oh, I've got to pick up the others and get home now before Johnny destroys the place! Interesting. Chirping fun little facts about your day looks boring, but it's so not. I know, right? Home alone. Johnny's in charge. <laughs> What did you just chirp? Home alone, Johnny's in charge. Why? Oh. That's why! Johnny's in charge of partying! Time to chit chat. We gotta get home! Don't take this the wrong way, Magda, but for some jobs, depth perception is really important. Oh, let's go! You're not done? Ah, it takes time! There is no time! We have to save our house! Huh? <laughs> My hair! We can glue it back on later. Let's move, move, move! <laughs> Now Johnny's in charge of touchdowns. Awesome! Really, really bad. Johnny, your parents are gonna be home in 20 minutes! It'll take 15 to clean this place. Relax. Johnny is totally in charge. It's not bad. Oh, this is bad. Well, you're in charge, all right. In charge of getting grounded for life! I know that, dog! Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, dear. Just checking in. Everything okay? Couldn't be better, Mom. Everything is totally under control. I told you. Everything's fine. We should be home in about ten minutes. And I'm bald. So we'll see you soon. Okay. Gotta run and, you know, be in charge. <laughs> Bye. It'll be home in ten minutes. Could this get any worse? Choo, 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 choo. 
Johnny, we have to stop that micro beetle before he eats through the entire... house. Okay, I'm not in charge anymore. Everybody leave! Oh, where are we gonna party? Davey's in charge of his house. <laughs> There's no way I can fix all this in time. Ugh. For the love of fiddlesticks! Go time! Wait a second! Did we do this? No, we did this. And by we, he means he did it. I need your army to fix my house! Well, you see, armies are kind of better at destroying homes than building them, so there's that. Johnny's in charge now! Help me fix my house or I'll never help you again with anything, and I help you a lot! Roger that! You heard the man! Ha -da 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 -da. Traffic jam? On a Saturday? It's a mood thing. <laughs> move, move, move! <laughs> Voila! Your brand new house. Woo! Ice cream! Reward time, boys! <laughs> Time really does fly when you're having fun. Not that I had any fun while you were gone. Hey, what happened to your hair? And I thought you were getting Milo. Hmm. The kitchen is spotless. No sign of any friends over. Huh? The micro beetle looks fine. Well, we're proud of you, Johnny. We left you in charge, and you proved that. Hmm. Who moved my trophy? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> hey, test! Davy's party was lame. Yours was way better. <laughs> Johnny! Well, what were you thinking, leaving me home alone for an hour? Johnny! Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Johnny, quit leaving your toys out. Johnny, quit taking tiny bites out of my cheese. Johnny, quit chewing the wire for our inventions. I didn't do anything. I didn't leave toys out. I didn't bite cheese. And I haven't chewed invention wire since Dookie dared me. Dare me to chew these invention wires? No, that sounds incredibly dangerous. You got it! <laughs> Woof. It's obvious what's going on here. We're being invaded by tiny cheese-eating, wire-chewing, time-traveling cyborgs! Right! More likely, we have a mouse in the house! <gasps> I don't care if it's from the future or the forest. Just get rid of that mouse before I get home. Whoa! And pick up your toys, Johnny! Hmm. How about we invent a robo-cat to catch the mouse? Or maybe a mouse-seeking cheese missile! Or how about a couple of chairs so you can sit this one out? I handle all the cleaning, cooking, and mousing around here, girls. <laughs> Seriously? You think you can catch a mouse better than science? I don't think. I know I can. In fact, I bet I can catch that mouse first. You're on! Well, let me know how the whole stupid mouse thing goes. Not so fast, Johnny. You heard your mother. Clean up your toys. What? No fair. <sighs> There's no way Dad will beat us once we invent... <laughs> invent a bunch of nothing, because that mouse chewed everything! Hmm. Wait, here's something he didn't chew. The shrink ray. You thinking of shrinking what I'm thinking of shrinking, sister? Cue the Johnny music. So you want to shrink us to mouse size so we can capture a mouse. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. This is a great idea. I'll get even with Cheese Breath for getting me in trouble. And we'll keep an eye on your progress through our Tiny Vision mouse cam. Let's go, dog! Why would a mouse chew up every other invention but the shrink ray? Because shrink ray wires taste bad and make things explode, duh. Now, where 
Where is that mouse? Montague! Out of the way! You're blocking my driveway! Your driveway? Hey, dude, this is my bedroom, and these are my toys! Hey, what's the deal with the doll? Eyes off, dog! That's my girlfriend, Babs! <laughs> now move it! Me and Babs have a big date! Oh, yeah? Well, I'm just gonna go get big again, and... Good luck getting big now, Anarchy! Uh, okay, fine. I'll beat Montague at his own game and his own size. Hello, that's Fort Numskull. We'd need an arsenal of weapons to break into it. Oh, we have an arsenal. An arsenal of toys! Ha! Our tiny Johnny's using an armory of toy weapons. That mouse is as good as caught. Better tell Dad he's about to lose. Huh? Impressive, huh, girls? That's, That's one, one way, way to put it. it. Yep, your old dad can invent quite the mouse trap. Oh. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. We've got this. <laughs> Nothing like a sticky hand and some ninja action to sneak up on a rat. Yeah, but there's something just wrong about <laughs> naked ninjas. Intruders! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Fab, now! <laughs> yep, I was right. Naked ninjas are totally wrong. Energy! This means war! All right, Montague, let's see how you like the big guns! Get very headed! Dookie, hit the ejection button! I can't! It's a sticker! <laughs> <laughs> The beauty of my trap, girls, is its layers and layers of effectiveness. Uh-oh. Johnny's tank attack was a washout. Maybe we shouldn't have trusted our perfect science plan to our less-than-perfect little brother. There. Perfect. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Now I'll just gently sneak out. Ow! 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 Ha! This is perfect. Once Montague sees this, he'll have to let us in. And why do you think that? Duh, it works in the movies. Nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> I really hate that word. <laughs> uh, Dad, are you sure that's gonna work? And not break every bone in your body? Oh, no, girls! You won't stop me from finishing my mouth! Stop! <gasps> Success! Dad did it, Dad did it, Daddy, Daddy did it! You've got to be kidding me! Dad actually finished his trap! Well, Johnny and Dookie are wearing sailor suits! They formed our scientifically perfect plan! That means we might lose to Dad! Stealth attacks, sneak attacks, silly sailor attacks. Nothing can beat that weirdly genius lab rat. <gasps> That's because he beat our attacks one by one. We just gotta hit him with everything at once. You, sir, have a plan. First, we'll need to lure him out. Hmm. And what do all mice love? Pretend girlfriends? Yeah, that. And cheese. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez! <laughs> a dumb trap like this won't stop an evil genius like me! Oh, oh but that might... Beat me! 
Johnny. Test? Chap? Barry? <laughs> you traitors! Sorry, Montague. Playtime is over. All right, Mouse. Let's see how you like the smelly green goo in the prison pit. Uh, no. Do what you will with me. But please, spare my friends. You are officially the craziest mouse ever! Oh, anarchy. No, he's not crazy. Yeah, are you seeing the doll dinner party? Okay, he's nuts, but his real problem is he's lonely. Lonely? Lonely? Are you telling me he went through all this wire-chewing, cheese-biting toy trouble just to get us to play with him? You know, you could have just asked. Well, I tried to invite you to my birthday party. Uh, yeah, try making bigger flyers next time. There's not gonna be a next time, Johnny. Your mom and dad want this mouse out of the house, like now. Fine. Toss me out into the cold, cruel world. And just when our toy battle was getting good. <laughs> yeah, it was totally getting good. Hey, wait. Y you letting me go? Not quite. I have a crazy plan that only a crazy mouse can pull off. And to start, we'll put on a little show. Oh. It defies the laws of physics. An ironing board should not be able to hold a 7,000-pound amble. Pshaw, it'll never work. And then, the beast took one step towards me and stab! <laughs> I caught him in my trap. Wow, Hugh. I'm impressed. Hey, we also had a super impressive, scientifically sound and flawless plan that would have worked, too. Except for one thing. Johnny. Johnny, where is your brother? Outside playing. credit for cleaning my toys, Montague has a place to live, and we get to have awesome tiny bottles! Oh, it's good to be Johnny! Get wild! Mountain Leon Wilderness Wildman is just like being in the wilderness, but wilder! And realer! Oh no, super bitey snakes! I can't watch! Don't worry, dog. Johnny's about to get wild! Ha! Who's playing video games again, Johnny? When I was your age, I went to outdoorsy camp and experienced the wilderness for real! Now turn off the Z-Box and find something real to do. You got it, Dad! Let's go, Dookie. Turning games off without a fight? Okay, who are you and what did you do with the real Johnny? I can play Mountain Leon anywhere, anytime, thanks to the wonderful invention of the internet. <laughs> I love you, internet. Johnny, get out the computer. Okay. Huh? Johnny! Oh. Get out the eye slab. No problem. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What? I'm not on a Z Box computer or eye slab. Just like you told me. That's it! No more video games! No more screens! It's time to play outdoors! But Mountain Leon's just like the outdoors, only better. He can ride a rhino! I don't care if he can ride a fly! You've got a whole garage full of stuff you begged me for, so go play with that! Outside! Uh, fine. Okay, I played outside. Going back to video games now. You've only played outside for 20 seconds! Yeah, the 20 boringest seconds in history. Son, you need to do something that doesn't have a cord or a screen or a remote control. Something real! Hey, excuse me. Any chance you've seen a rhinoceros walk by? Nope, haven't seen it. Yes! The Hyperhydrosis Simulator has arrived, and it comes complete with bonus toe. Now let's get back 
back into the lab, we've got problems to solve. Not our problems. <laughs> Just problems. Hmm. How come I get stuck in the crummy outdoors where the girls get to play on the computer all day? They're not on the computer all day. Hello, dear sisters of mine. Can you please tell Father how long you've been doing stupid science stuff on the computer? Only 47 straight hours. Say what? And it's not stupid science stuff. We're simulating the synthesis of plantar hyperhidrosis. Double say what? We're working on a cure for stinky feet. Which we do not have. Yeah, definitely not. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got to stare at this computer screen. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Yes, the real outdoors. No screens, no plugs, no... Fun. Thanks a ton, Johnny. Hey, don't look at me. I just wanted to play video games. This is way better. Now get ready, kids, because adventure's around the band. <laughs> ta -da! So this is adventure? Well, it must be around the next band. Keep walking. Come on, Dad. I could have been on, like, level 24 of Mountain Leon by now. Oh, you can't get this kind of adventure from a video game, son! <laughs> Nothing like a summer sprinkle, kids. More like a hurricane. Watch the branch, kids. Don't want anyone getting hurt. <laughs> Face it, Dad. There is no adventure out here. That's where you're wrong, son. I happen to know that a fabulous adventure awaits us just out of this tall grass. Race you all to it! <laughs> <laughs> they must have just added that cliff. Be honest with me. We're all gonna die out here, aren't we? No, we just need to do what Mount Leon does. Don't worry, kids. I've got outdoorsy camp knowledge. And who cares that we're lost? We're making family memories. Say adventure. Now, when I was a boy, I loved... I hear running water. That means there's a river. And that will lead us back to Pork Belly. Or lead us to Fun Belly. Last one there has stinky feet. Stinky feet? Fun Belly? Seriously? <laughs> No stinky feet for us! Oh! Johnny's got stinky feet! <laughs> uh, oh, look! A thin, brittle log has fallen over the river! Let's cross over it! Bad idea, Dad. I've played this level on Mountain Leon, and log bridges are always traps that snap... Johnny! I have more wilderness expertise than your video game guy. I say it's safe. Now let's go, hikers! <laughs> This fun, kids? We'll be back in Pork Belly in no time! Wow! <laughs> this log is really starting to move! We're headed towards a waterfall! <laughs> you saved us! How? Level 7, ride the raving rapids. Huh. <laughs> Why are we stopping? Shh! Look, a sleeping honey badger. They're extremely ferocious. Do not wake it up. Oh, come on. Look at its cute little nose. It smells something. Come on, everyone get close in for another timeless family photo. Say, badger! Dad! No! Quick, ah, throw it some food. But I'm saving my pimento loaf sandwiches for later. To him or there won't be a later. <laughs> okay, it stopped chasing us. <laughs> Must have really liked my pimento loaf. Or died because of it. <gasps> Why are these trees getting taller? Because we're sinking in quicksand! <laughs> no need to panic, kids. Let's run together, like now, across! <laughs> Stop! Running just makes you sink faster! Well, then how do we get out? Easy! Just hit X, A, left, up, Z. We don't speak video game! Flop like a fish onto your back, like you're floating, then roll to solid ground! <laughs> and just like that, we're safe. Oh, <laughs> groundy ground! <laughs> you beautiful heart ground, you! <laughs> yeah, I 
I'm hungry too, boy, but eating dirt is out of the question. <laughs> Ooh, these berries look super yummy. Not only on level 12, wild berries are very, very bad for you. Your dad, level whatever. I'm starving and I'm eating them. Sure you don't want any? No, thanks. I don't want to turn purple. <laughs> Amazing! Our botanical compendium said it's extinct, but this looks like a hydrosis hydrangea! Known mainly for its bright purple pigment, the berries are also used as a natural deodorizer for things such as stinky feet. Not that we need a foot deodorizer or anything. Grab as many as you can! Oh, hello! How about curing purple dad? Aha! I got this one open wide! <laughs> Don't tell me, Mountain Leon. We gotta admit that game's saving our butts on this adventure. No, I'm not gonna admit it because my skills are gonna get us home. Now, this way. Ah, great skills, Dad. Now we're stuck on top of a mountain. Oh, relax. I'll use my trusty ram's horn and yodel. Someone's bound to hear it. <laughs> Dad, I don't think you should yell on top of mountains. Why not? Because Mr. Wilderness Wildermanly said so? <laughs> no, because the mountain lions don't like it. Stay back, lions. Back, back. <laughs> Why do I have to be so tasty? Why can't I just be too stinky and disgusting to eat? <gasps> stinky and disgusting. That's it. <laughs> Who knew stinky feet would save our lives? Oh, oh this ram's horn really did a good job on those mountain lions. <laughs> Guess we won't need it anymore. <laughs> okay, kids, follow me. <laughs> I mean, run! <laughs> These are not the family moments I want to remember. Okay, fine, I give. How would Mountain Leon handle this? He'd ride a rhino out of here. Where are we gonna get a rhino? Just call for one. <laughs> Spingo! Everyone ready to get wild? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fun. And I'll admit your video game guy came in pretty handy. And we admit we have stinky feet, but they saved the day. Okay, get wild on three. One, two, get wild! Please let me babysit him. His name is Clyde. I've always wanted to be a monkey sitter. Orangutan sitter. He is not a monkey. Whatever, I'll be great. Aren't I great at everything? Most people would say yes. Please! Last time we let you keep an eye on something, we never saw our whoosh ray again. Hmm. Okay, me next, me next. Refreshing and undressing at the same time? We are never giving this whoosh ray back. I see England, I see friends, I see Johnny's under... <laughs> My finger slipped. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that whoosh ray, but must have just, you know, I mean. Right. We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to leave him with Johnny. We have to go to the Institute to present our observations on orangutans. And Professor Slopsink will be here today at 5 p.m. to see Clyde for himself. So until then, keep him out of trouble. Don't forget that. Five o'clock. Oh, yeah, and whatever you do, do not let Clyde watch TV. And now, back to Booger Battle! Should I ask? His name is Clyde. <laughs> and I'm babysitting him. Looks like you're watching TV. Well, just like all good babysitters, we're becoming friends through the power of watching television. Works for me. We've been in cheese it before a knickerbocker's fought the twist, see? Uh, should you be letting Clyde watch this? Yep. <laughs> Wow, 
He really likes this show. Bank robbers, car chases, bags with dollar signs on them. Who wouldn't? Clyde, isn't watching TV the best? <laughs> Monkey friend, watching TV. Monkey friend, hanging out with me. Hey! Technically, he's an orangutan. Whatever. We interrupt this program for an urgent news bulletin. This morning, Pork Belly's only chimney sweep officially left town to... I'm sorry. To join an all-chimney sweep singing and dancing troupe. This is breaking news? Ah! Dancing on the rooftop, sweeping each other mad drops. Sweep, 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 sweep! So dirty. How will Santa Claus bring us presents? Hey, where'd our monkey buddy go? Orangutan. And why is the front door smashed through in the shape of Clyde? Dookie, we have a problem. Clyde, where are you? Clyde! I hate to break it to you, pal, but you're not winning any awards for best orangutan sitter. <laughs> Dookie, is today National Howl Like a Monkey Day? As a matter of fact, it's not. Then that must be Clyde. Come on! <laughs> Clyde, we gotta get you home before the girls show up with that science dude. Here, at least put this on. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants to open a low-yield savings account to plan for his future. How responsible. <laughs> Susan and Mary's whoosh ray. Did you take that from my secret hiding spot under my bed? I, I mean, from the girl's lab? <laughs> There's a huge monkey robbing a bank! Oh, I was wrong. He wanted to rob a bank like in those gangster movies we watched. Rob a bank like in those gangster movies we watched? Hey, you think you'll split the money with us? We're not splitting anything. Clyde's going to jail. Yeah, Susan and Mary won't be cool with that. <laughs> Officer, you're just in time. Uh, we're not with him. Nope. <laughs> Don't even know the guy. You're all under arrest. This is all a misunderstanding. <laughs> Clyde, you are a bad monkey. A rank attack. Whatever. In pursuit of bank robbers, suspects are two hairy males and a flame-headed boy. You are the worst orangutan sitter ever! Either we're really fast, or that car is really slow! I never should have let him watch TV. Susan and Mary are gonna kill me. Dookie, what do we do? We have to turn him in. You're his accomplice now. Me? We're in this together, buddy. Yeah, the thing is, I'm just an innocent dog. Woof. Oh, what are we gonna do? Ah. Would you look at that? He's grooming you. How hygienic. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Clyde. Unless someone just gives us a getaway car, we're gonna spend the next 100 years in prison. Is this the Palace Hotel? Park it somewhere, Shady Valley. No, I am not driving a getaway car. <laughs> I knew you shouldn't have let Clyde watch TV. Hey, monkey friend, looking sharp. That's orangutan friend. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the old guy's suit? <laughs> Should I drive us to jail just to get this over with? I know this looks bad, but I got a plan. You do? Well, no. Sarge, I'm naked. Can I go home? Clyde, as your babysitter, I should tell you, no naked blasting the police. Johnny, we have to turn him over to the police. Clyde is my monkey friend, and friends don't let friends go to prison. <laughs> Besides, the girls will kill me if he's not home by five. Now drive, dog! I think he has to use the bathroom. Okay, pull over. He can use the bathroom up there at that bank. Now, Clyde, promise you won't rob it. I'm serious. Promise most sacred monkey promise. Swear on a million bananas. Well, I guess if he swears on a million bananas. <laughs> Hypothesis. Your research with Clyde is very intriguing. Conclusion, if everything goes smoothly, you could be looking at ten Nobel Prizes. Yes! Ah! What, what is, is that? that? Ah! <laughs> Alternate conclusion. If something went wrong, you'd never touch a lab in this town again.
You had to stop at the mall for ice cream. Hey, Clyde and I deserve a last meal before we get carted away forever. <laughs> All right, come out with your hands up. There's no way out of this, Johnny. Clyde's running around with stolen money. A crime's a crime. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Where'd you get that from? A book of crime sayings or something? Uh, it, no. Hey, where'd Clyde go now? Huh? There he is. Oh, no. If he imitates more bad TV shows, there's no telling what he'll do. Clyde! Clyde. Where'd he go? He was right here. Clyde! Clyde! Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary Lumpus! We have to shut down the TVs or he's going to keep changing. Hey, he's not so bad. <laughs> Susan and Mary want us to bring Clyde home now. I had one job, and I blew it. If only we could do it all over again and not let Clyde watch that stupid gangster movie. Too bad we can't rewind real life. Yeah, too bad you can't... Aha! Donkey, you're a genius! I am. <laughs> Stop imitating what you see on TV. Okay, seriously! We're coming in right now! We mean it! Johnny! Gotcha! Hey, Clyde, look at this. We've been in cheese it before a nigger focus. Now look at this! <laughs> What's Clyde doing now? If watching a movie forward made him rob a bank, maybe watching it backwards will make him unrob it? This better work! I like that shirt. <laughs> That monkey returned all the money in yeah! All right, boys. I guess we can go home. Johnny! I can't believe you let Clyde watch TV! Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have listened and been a better monkey sitter. No, you proved our theory. Monkey see, monkey do. Don't you mean orangutan see, orangutan do? Correct! 100 Nobel Prizes for everyone! Clyde unrobbed the bank, we were involved in a high-speed backwards chase, and my sisters are mad at me. Everything did work out great. Not everything. Porkbelly still lost its best chimney sweep. Wait, wasn't that a movie? Yep, I got it right here. Now, <laughs> 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 well, Santa Claus can come down the chimney again. Thank you, chimney sweep. He is enthusiastic. Okay, that stuff is terrible. But can you take over the world with it? Donkey Cat! Yeah! So that's what I have to do to get rid of her. Or use the bad fairy tale spray on her and freeze her forever! If anything, the spray is too good. Once its hypnotizing effects hit the brain's neurons, it sends every sense far, far away. And the only way to break its effect is to complete whatever fairy tale it puts you in. Okay, well, since I had to be kissed to be snapped out of it, I have to scrub my face with disinfecting soap. And I'm gonna run away too before something goes wrong with that spray again. So you're saying if you got hit with the spray, you think I'm a prince and love me ever after? Or you could be an evil king who locked me in a tower. Or better yet, a toad. Well, the spray's effect is random. There's no telling what it will do. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of that spray before it wreaks its ugly fairy tale havoc again. Or use it on the lovely Susan so she will catch me! No, 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 no. Don't blast it! What was that? Are the girls experimenting? There are no experiments at dinner time! Stand back, peasant! For I am here to save Susanzo from the evil king! Uh, yes, what he says. Talking cat! Ah! Help! There's a talking cat dressed like Puss in Boots and an old mask guy with swords in the kitchen! Come again? Ah! For so evil King Blake, release the long-haired maiden from the tower! 
Methinks the explosion we heard was the fairy tale spray. Okay, but where'd they get the horses? Excuse me, but I'm looking for the royal ball and my prince. I'm not a prince, I'm your father, and what is going on? What I can gather, Evil King Bling, that's Eugene, has trapped Susanzel, that's your other daughter, in the tower. What? We don't have a tower! Yeah, that's probably the lab. Well, I'm putting a stop to all this nonsense right now. To the lab! Yeah, this is gonna get ugly. Huh? Uh, what sayest thou, peasant? I'm not a peasant. And where's Susan? Help! Eugene, get her out of that tower thing and go home. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Or I could... Green Knight! Yes, King Bling. Green Knight! Expel this peasant from my kingdom! Your kingdom? This is my kingdom! <laughs> 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 I'm not a prince. Alas! We must join us forces and save the long-haired Susanzel from King Bling's evil clutches. Forsooth! I tell you what, you go save the Susanzel, and we'll make sure Dad Dad is alive live. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, he's breathing. That's a good sign. Okay, more broccoli, please. Now get him inside <laughs> where it's safe. Well, if it isn't Prince Johnny. Again, not a prince. Nice boots. Ah, they fit a little big, but they're really my style. Prepare to do battle. A battle, <laughs> sure. Uh, let, let us just go get some swords and run! Okay. After them! <laughs> I hate these boots. You really should have purchased the correct size, uh... <laughs> Help us, Prince Johnny. King Bling has this green knight who uses floating magic to make you fall out of windows. Wait, where are your horses? <laughs> They'll be fine. Okay, Prince Johnny, you realize what we have to do, right? Well, just like a horrifying kiss snapped me out of my fairy tale trance, we have to rescue the fair Susanzo from King Bling's tower. And that should snap everyone out of their fairy tale trance and get everything back to normal. Oh, I was gonna say close our eyes and pray this is all a dream, but your idea is probably best. Excuse me, are you the Prince Charming I seek? I'm your brother. Well, I've been looking everywhere, but I can't seek much longer. My feet are killing me. Cause you're wearing glass slippers. Who wears glass slippers? No one, cause they're made of glass. Now, off to save my sister from the evil King Bling! <laughs> and that's a wooden kitchen spoon. No, it's a sword! Fine. We'll need some backward aprons, too. Evil King Bling, it is I, Prince Johnny, and my trusty sidekick, the, uh... The uh, Duke of Dookie! Now, release the fair princess person thing from the tower. Susanzel shall not be released until she agrees to be my queen. Never! Charge! <laughs> All right, the green knight person type thing. Now that was just rude. Prince Johnny, are you okay? Nope, not okay. And I won't be okay, and you won't be normal until we rescue Susanzel from the tower! Hey, Susanzel is like Rapunzel, which means all you have to do is climb her hair to rescue her. Right! Susan! I mean, Susanzel! Let down your... Ow! Now it's time to start climbing, and... It, it's too slippery! Maybe gloves would help. Or boots? Not again. <laughs> Destroy them! <laughs> okay, no fair. We only have spoons. Okay, guys. A little help here? Of course, as knights, that's what we did. For we shall save Susanzo. <laughs> that's not what we meant! Yeah! Wooden spoons make bad swords. You think? Now, prepare to! Oh, that was close. Now, where was I? You were forgetting about the horses? All right, I was... Uh, oh, no. uh, 
I hate those boats! He'll be fine. Ha! Hang on, Suits Adult! Prince Johnny will save you at... Hmm? Ah! Nice try, Prince Johnny! But you're just a... Hair late. <laughs> and we'll never save the fair Susanzo! Will somebody please help me? <laughs> We've got to storm the tower! I mean lab! I mean tower! With what? Any stuff that we can use to defeat King Blaine and his green knight is in the lab! And I'm really not keen on flying out the window again. Can anyone please tell me where the ball is? Because my feet are killing me! Yeah! Because you're wearing glass slippers, you psycho! Hey, I'll have you know that they are magical glass slippers. Wait, what do you mean, magical? I have no idea. I just know that there are a bunch of buttons and triggers on the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, yeah those will work. Everyone stay here! Do not enter the house! I mean, castle! Save the princess! Uh, I still don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna put a stop to that! <laughs> King Bling, release the fair to Sanzo, or face our slippers! Glass slippers? <laughs> really? Oh, Green Knight? Float them out the window! Whoa, what's going on here? Nah, this is not how it's supposed to work. No, no, no. Nice trick, Prince Johnny, but you will never save Suzanzo if you can't get her! <laughs> What are you doing? Seeing what else these glass beauties can do. Prince Johnny away! Okay, glass slippers are cool. And hot! <laughs> are you my prince? No, I'm your brother. And now to break the spell. Hang on! You may have gotten in, Prince Johnny, but you will never get out! Huh? Why are we all outside and dressed like this? It's a long story that happened in a land far, far away, but was actually in the lab. Hey! Are we stuck in a fairy tale or something? Yep. Ooh, did I kiss Susan? Nope. Darn it! I want to know, what is going on? Nothing. Oh, well, I got a sworn I heard horses. Yeah, uh, you must have just been hearing things, Dad. The talking cat? Meow. <laughs> well, dinner's ready. Who's hungry? Is it meatloaf? Actually, I made turkey legs. Turkey legs? It sounded like a feast fit for the kingdom. Okay, this is fun, but now I'm seeing horses at the table. <laughs> Test family, it's dinner time. Smells good. I wonder what it is. Meatloaf is served. Yay! Yeah. Yummy. What? Meatloaf? That's what we had last night. Supper time. Meatloaf! <laughs> Again? Woof! I made a special dinner tonight! Let me guess. Meatloaf. Nope. Oh. Really? Seriously? Is it spaghetti? Please say it's spaghetti. No, better! We're having mini meatloaf! <laughs> that way everybody gets their own! Aren't they cute? <laughs> You can't do this anymore. Speak for yourself, compadre. I like meatloaf. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go crazy if Dad doesn't stop with the meatloaf. Hmm. If Dad won't stop with the loaf, then we'll have to stop him. And I know how. Explain to me how blasting your dad with a freeze ray is gonna solve your problem. I'm not gonna freeze Dad. I'm gonna freeze his meatloaf. It'll take days to thaw out. And in the meantime, we can slip down some spaghetti, dog. 
Spingo! Johnny's ready for some spaghetti. Test family, it's dinner time. Kids, I have some bad news. There's been a terrible accident and there's no dinner tonight. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> We're gonna have to skip right through to dessert. This worked better than I planned. Oh, is it ice cream? Chocolate cake, chocolate cake and ice cream? Close, we're having meatloafsicles. Start licking, kids. <laughs> I don't know, frozen meat on a stick is a pretty good idea. Refreshing and filling. What's not to like? There's gotta be some way to get him to give up meatloaf. But he's had so many good times with meatloaf. That's why he loves it so much. Hmm. So if I make him have a bad time with meatloaf, he won't love it anymore, and he'll never make it again. Well, sure, that's negative association. <laughs> so, what's a bad thing that can happen to my dad that has to do with meatloaf? Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, Dookie, you're a genius. Hope you guys are hungry. We sure are. <laughs> Whoa, that sure was a negative meatloaf experience, Dad. I bet you'll never want to see meatloaf again, huh? Who wants spaghetti? Johnny, did you have something to do with this? Johnny? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. You remember that today is National Prank Your Loaf Day. Prank your what? <laughs> I've never been more proud of you, son. Oh, you sure got us good. But don't worry, I made a spare. <laughs> meatloaf, 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 Johnny, bring it out! Hey, nice job blowing up the meatloaf. You were attempting behavioral modification through Pavlovian conditioning? Johnny made meatloaf go boom. Sure, same thing. But it didn't work. I just want spaghetti. It was a good idea. I think we just need to try something bigger. What is it? Do you really want to know? Because it involves very complicated terminology. Or should I just say science -y stuff? science -y stuff works. All you have to do is sprinkle a little bit on Dad's meatloaf. And then what happens? Let's just say we're going to be having spaghetti tonight. Oh, this new meatloaf recipe should surprise everyone. Okay, loaf, time to get cooking. Ah, who could that be? Huh, nobody there. Very strange. Ooh, I can smell it already. <laughs> what the? This doesn't look like the picture in the cookbook. <laughs> I'll never make meatloaf again! <laughs> it worked! Spaghetti for everybody! You made a spaghetti gun? I love my sisters. Thanks. Okay, Meatloaf, your work here is done. <laughs> to have spaghetti. <laughs> Would you excuse me for one moment? Um, apparently his work here isn't done. <laughs> so girls, when does the get rid of the scary meatloaf monster part of your plan kick in? Um, we may not have thought this one through. I know what to do. Johnny, what are you doing? Like most of life's problems, this one can be solved with spaghetti. Okay, spaghettis, it's time for a food fight. Go get that meatloaf! Stop making food monsters! Hey, you're supposed to be on our side. They look kind of angry. Yeah, we should run now. <laughs> so, instead of just eating your dad's meatloaf, you'd rather create giant food monsters that want to eat you. I don't think you understand how much I hate dad's meatloaf. 
Hello? Meatloaf? Mr. Monster? We have to figure out a way to stop them. Think! What's the best way to fight back against food? Supercharged, ultra-powered kitchen utensils? Come on, Johnny, this is serious. Actually, you might have something there. Johnny! <laughs> Susan! I'm sticking with what I know. Get ready, spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I like this fight. <laughs> gotcha, pasta. Awesome. Are you gonna finish that? Time to deal with the meatloaf. And you know how much I like meatloaf. <laughs> All right, meatloaf, we're serving you a plate full of trouble. We just checked your expiration date, and your time is up. Heat up the oven to 350 degrees of taking you down. Hey, nobody said anything about using action movie type lines that are food related. I'm not ready. <laughs> Oh, look, he has a friend. Well, this isn't good. He's got my whole family. Hold it right there! If you think for one second that I'm gonna stand by and let you eat my family, you better think again! I beg your pardon? There is no excuse for this behavior! Really? Just remember who carefully mixed you, put you in a pan, and popped you into the oven, mister! I brought you into this world, and believe me, I'll take you out! Do you understand? <laughs> a little help here, Dad! All right, Meatloaf, go help my family! He saved us! Thank you, Meatloaf! I always knew there was good in him. We forgive you, Meatloaf. And we're sorry we tried to replace you with spaghetti. Uh, Meatloaf, where are you going? Whenever food is out of hand, I'll be there. Goodbye, test family. Wow! Not only did Dad's meatloaf save the day, he's like a superfood. And you didn't believe me when I said meatloaf is good for you. <sighs> oh, you would not believe the day I had at work today. I'm starving. What's for dinner? We're eating out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's another freakishly awesome day of summer vacation. <laughs> what should we do with all this freedom? Surfboards or skateboards? Both. Water balloons or water cannons? Both. Pirates or ninjas? Um, both! <laughs> <laughs> You can throw all those old clothes out, Johnny. I bought you brand new stuff for school tomorrow. Wait, what school when what? School starts tomorrow? No! Just one day of summer left, then it's back to prison. Uh, don't you mean school? Back to quizzes and books and studying and tests and teachers and quizzes and studying for all my other tests. We heard you the first time. 
just one more day and it's back to quizzes and books and studying and tests and teachers. Yes! yes! And this is going to be the best school year ever because of the time-stopping stopwatch. Utilizing the principles of randomized chaos theory, the gears inside this watch bring order to chaos and stop time. With it, we can take even longer study breaks to come up with the perfect things to say to you. We have been striking out lately. Hi, girls. I've never seen before. <laughs> Make mouth move. Thanks, say. I like soup. Darn it! If only we had more time. Oh, yeah, that's all you needed. How'd you sneak in here? I hacked into the mainframe, reverse polarity on the electron. You left the door open. And there was also that. <laughs> Sweet watch. What's it do? With just one click, you and whoever you're touching can stop time. And no, little brother, you can't have it. That's cool, because I don't need some dumb watch to stop time, make summer longer, and never have to go to school again. Ew, what happened to your pants? <laughs> cool. Oh, I should have been touching him so he didn't get time stopped. Come on, Pooch. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah, I'm not sure. Right. This is all too weird, Johnny. More like too awesome. Infinite summer equals infinite freedom. What should we do now, best bud? Run through sprinklers? Or have a snacky snack? Okay, I think we're a safe distance from your genius sisters now. What are you doing? If time moves, summer ends. If summer ends, I gotta go back to school. Uh, may I reiterate from previous lectures that school is a good thing, Johnny? Uh, I don't like where this is going. And there's no way anything good can come from this watch. Yeah, it's too bad, because with just one click, you can snip all the butts in town. Oh, you play dirty, Johnny. And I like it! I'm in! <laughs> I waited two sweaty hours to get this ice cream. Sweat no more, sir. I've got a full crate of ice cream to cool you off. Ooh, they have my favorite. One of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Little something for your troubles. Uh oh, out of ice cream. No ice cream? Hey, everyone! He's out of ice cream! <laughs> it's gonna be a good time stopping day. <laughs> Too young for this movie. Too young for this movie. Too young for this movie. <laughs> Uh, we were too young for this movie. My eyes are too scared to see. They say it's impossible to win the grand prize. Oh, you mean that sweet clown costume? Everyone loves a clown. No, no they don't. I'm winning us those two motorized super scooters. Super scooters are nice too. <laughs> <laughs> from little kids? Not on my watch. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Time stopping stopwatch. I love you. Okay, I'm bored. What else can we do with this thing? Okay, lawn is mowed, and now it's time to pop this taste-tastic super loaf into the oven. Huh? 
What's that? <laughs> oh, now, I could have sworn I... Oh, well. <laughs> Back you go. <laughs> now, I know I just put you in there, little fella. Wouldn't want you to get cold after all. This loaf has a mind of its own! <laughs> Time stopwatch pranking dad is fun. Hey, uh, Johnny, the watch! It's smashed! Nah, it's just a scratch. This stopwatch is too tough to stop working. I just stopped. Watch? <laughs> dad? Dad? Hello? Dad! The watch is broken! We can figure this out. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? Your dad's frozen. That means no dinner. You mean no meatloaf? Hmm. I'm good with that. The sun's frozen. That means no sleep. Sleep is overrated. The TV's frozen, which means no TV or video games! <laughs> You really need some new material. I got the endless summer I always wanted, but it's become a TV and video game free nightmare! I think this is the definition of irony. What's irony? Fix the watch, go to school, and maybe you'll learn it! Right, got it. I've got a plan. Help! Help us, please. Please, I'm a baby. Tell me that's not plan A. No, this was plan A. You just had to go and mess with time. The first thing they teach you in school is don't mess with time-stopping watches. No, they don't. And I don't remember you trying to stop me while you were sniffing all the butts in town. We need to stop worrying about who sniffed what and fix this watch. <sighs> okay, okay. The watch's hands are stopped. So all we have to do is get them moving again, right? Well, it doesn't necessarily sound wrong. <laughs> the hands won't budge. <laughs> It's moving! It's moving! Hmm. Um, Johnny, which way did you pull? I don't know, why? Because everything's going backwards! <laughs> Time won't stop running backwards. If we don't stop it, we'll go all the way back to the Paleozoic Era, where we'll get eaten by Megatooth Giant Lizards! What's the Paleozoic Era? If you were back in school, you'd go... Yeah, I'm not the only one who needs new material. We're out of options! This is chaos! Chaos? That's it! The girls built the watch using randomized chaos theory. So maybe we can fix it using randomized chaos. Like this! Works for me. Uh, by the way, how'd you know that theory? I just thought of it randomly. Now hold on to your butt, dog! Random, 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 random. What do you know? Randomly shooting a bunch of random rays at it randomly worked. And it's school tomorrow. I'll learn why. And no, little brother, you can't have it. Yeah, that's cool, because I don't want it. Summer vacation can't end soon enough. Who are you? Kids, dinner's ready. Come and get your meatloaf. Meatloaf? Ugh. Ew. He's out of ice cream! Again! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a little ice cream dinner on the last day of summer. To summer vacation! <laughs> <laughs>